Maybe there's a withdrawal, then you and I can, but I'd like to skip that. Yeah, I want to break a trophy, I want to break a trophy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, honey, the beer. Yeah. 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 Ye
uh, to a very close game. They won both his set 7-6, seven, 7-6 six, seven, six against Pambia, but they up against a great combination of Neil Burkett and Vainant Quilt. This will be a very, very exciting game. Yeah, not only will it be exciting, I think I think this will set up uh, uh, the section. It will either open up the section, uh, because Neil, I think Neil and uh, Vainant got off to a rocky start yesterday afternoon, but yeah, this could, uh, this could open up that section completely. Absolutely. Uh, Eugene, then in section seven, you've got the evergreen Colleen Picketh teaming up with Pietro Briet. Um, they're in a fairly strong section. They've got Johnny de Sousa, uh, Steam, and, and Tyler Pitcher. That's a strong section. Yeah, they got off to a great start yesterday. Also happened to to be around to see a couple of those ends, and her and Pietro actually played quite well. So, yeah, yeah they've got a decent chance in that section. As the tournament has progressed, Colleen's just playing better and better. Then in section eight, uh, Jerry Baker and Hayley Rasmus, current SA Mixed Pairs champion, they were involved in a humdinger yesterday against Herman Heisarman and Zandre Hasselman. Jerry, with his last yeah. bowl, played an absolute cracker in the tiebreaker to get up in that game. And I haven't seen that excitement uh, from Jerry on the green for a long time. He actually threw up his arms and um, happy, happy, happy chap. Yeah, they were up against it uh, from the start of that game. Uh, I mean, I was in between the two greens and he played an absolute uh, corker to, to win that game. And I think it just brought a bit of excitement, you know. Absolutely. Anyway, uh, thanks Eugene. And uh, we'll hand it over to Alan Lofthouse that will do a pre-match uh, interview. Thank you. Thank you, gents. Johan, Eugene, thanks for that. Uh, day three, session one. I think we want to get the game on the way as quickly as possible. So if I could ask Mark and Cully to join me. Morning, gents. Morning, Al. Morning, morning, morning. morning. Uh, looking forward to being on the TV ring? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> now, we go back a long way. Yes. You two have been playing together forever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably, you know game? probably 20, 25 years. 20, 25 mm. years. Yeah. And mm. lots of, I mean, you've had lots of assist, uh, success together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have. In all formats? Yeah. Fours, bears, yeah. trips. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. rounder. All round. <laughs> and uh, your opponents today? Oh, yeah. Um, well, of course, I mean, everybody knows Neil, um, one of the legends of, of um, Protea Bowls. Absolutely. And then, and then Vainan Poel, um, he's a top bowler um, playing out of Caledon, um, skips, skips the one uh, inter-district side, yep. so a very, very strong combination. Okay, so we've got three Boland boys on this ring. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very, very much. Thank okay, you. Cheers. If I can ask Neil and Vainan to uh, join me. Come, Bobs. Okay, I've been told I must get a little bit closer to the microphone. Um, Neil, first time here. Didn't yeah. make it last year, and uh, you must be extremely excited. I know, I know Neil Burkett. I've known you for years. Yeah. I mean, the, the passion will never die. No, yeah, well, Alan. Last year I was sitting in Port Elizabeth and saw the coverage and how well it was done, and I made a point of it to try and get in this year and I was fortunate to get an invite yeah well I think everybody that's involved in this competition is extremely happy to have you on board Neil and yeah. uh, Vainant if I can just uh, move in a bit closer Vainant what's it like for you playing with a legend no it's it's absolutely fantastic playing with Neil I'm also having the um, fortunate to play in Mowbray in the premier side with Neil as the other skip so you learn a lot yeah. you can take a lot from him only by watching him you can take a lot absolutely. home gentlemen uh, good bowling. Enjoy the game. Let's uh, let's set this rink on fire. Thanks. Play good. Play well. Thanks. Cheers. a little bit up um, so looking forward to the day's play you on very much so uh, Nick thanks for coming through starting off your 
proceedings this morning as our fellow commentators. Lovely to have you here. Uh, yes, this this game is uh, going to be very, very exciting. Two great couples, two great pairs, teams. Um, really looking forward to it. And um, what we've done, Nick, is a matter of interest to all our viewers. Added a bit of a flavour to our commentary this morning. We've mic'd up um, Neil Burkett. You say he's on no, on the green job, with uh, an attached wow. mic. So we'll hear some comments from him uh, during play. It's, it's, it's an exciting innovation. Yeah, it's a wonderful innovation. I remember when I went to Potters, they, they mic'd me up. It was a very strange, uh, it was strange because you had to, you know, you had to watch your P's and Q's. Um, as Gully opens up with uh, two short ones, you know, still feeling the game, maybe not as fast as yesterday at, at its premium at 12. Bain on uh, walking after he's watching it intently. Yeah, similar as, as his first, so. Bit of a nervy start from both of them. Yeah, uh, quite interestingly, you know, um, Aero is, is predominant amongst the bowlers, but only one one only one only player playing with Aero today on this ring, which is Bain on. He's playing with the Aero grooves, Kali, Neil, and uh, Mark playing with, Pro, um, with Drake's Prize. So let's see how the woods react. Yeah, they, um, uh, Mark has got a set of uh, proteas that he had re-stamped um, of late in order to qualify or be eligible to play with those bowls at the SA Vet Masters. So those bowls were actually sent to the factory during the uh, Potters Resort right. World International Singles. Right. Uh, Peter Harvey took the bowls up uh, on behalf of Mark and, and he got them um, sort of stamped and authorised. Yeah. So, now those are the bowls that Mark have played with for many, many years, and um, so he's happy to have them back. Well, uh, you can see he's happy to have them back because he's drawn a great first wood. A couple of inches from the white, so nice steady start from Mark. Now, Mark uh, has been around the circuit quite a bit, and um, he's uh, really enjoy watching him play. He's all action. Got the comments, you know, I love it. And then Berkey replying with a, with a level ball. What do you think Neil will play? Do you think he'll play inside? Yep, I there think we go. He's got, he'll be on the four with yep. uh, with White. Yeah. He's got two, two receivers there from Eugene. Yeah, he's got yeah, it's only one down. And he's close. All he's right. close. Oh Berkey. Great effort by Neil. So yeah. Just uh, just out of interest, uh, you know, I heard you as you watched the action replay. Ah, very good effort. Nice start from Neil, got it away beautifully. Just for those viewers out there, we, you heard us talking about um, Mark having his wood stamped. You know, your, your woods are, 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 uh, have got a date line of 10 years, and if you want to play international bowls, you have to have your wood stamped every 10 years, or your woods become illegal. Um, in South Africa, we don't have that facility. So when we go into provincials, you know, the guys that are playing with woods that are 12, 15 years old, they can play with them. But if you make the South African side, then you've got to go f to, a, to a, a more later version of the wood. So just a little bit of uh, fact. Again, Kali opens with a very good one, just behind, just about a yard wide. Watching the bowls, yes, watching the, watching the games yesterday, uh, I found the direction they're playing now, the heads were a little bit tighter than going back up. Uh, I don't know, yeah. what, do you, what did you find? I'm not sure why. Um, the rink has been moved up to the uh, inside by half a meter. Um, and as I alluded to in the uh, my pre-match, the you know the, the green speed will be running at 12 due to perhaps over uh, uh, conditions out there, uh, slightly cloudy conditions. But as we go along um, through the day, the green speed will pick up and probably get to about what it was yesterday, 15 seconds. Okay. But the, the, the rink, uh, everybody has uh, been very complimentary about the green conditions this year. Not that it, it was bad last year, but just a bit better this year, Nick. Um, Speed-wise as well, they're probably up by two or th two yards or so. And this particular TV rink is playing a lot better than last year. Last year we were probably too close to the ditch side with a massive bend, uh, which is slightly more equal. And it's been interesting to see um, which side the players have preferred. You know, some have gone ditch hand, others the other hand. Uh, it's been sort of a, 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 a mix-up, you know, of, of, the, of the two options. 
early doors here is Kali Sita settled on the weight there on that end, drawn two very good ones, both level, half a meter wide and narrow, so they're lying possibly two. Oh, Mark settled in his in his rhythm here quickly, he's drawn another cracker. Yeah, Mark looking good, early doors. Let's see, he's asking the early questions of Berkey. Mark has indicated it's only once, so okay. Vaynard's actually got second shot with his oh, back bowl. Just short on the draw, oh, just a good bit on the shy, line. shy on the way. Oh, you'll very rarely see Berkey miss a line, it's unusual Absolutely. for him. So let's see if Mark can add to his first good his first good draw. He's, you know, he's, let's see, he's close again. He's close again. Ah, oh, well played, Mark. Turn, turn. Gully in for two. Turn, Gully in. Very good weight. Mark's definitely settled. I think he's inspired to be playing against the legend in Burkett. Superb. Superb. Right, good start from the two boys from Burland. They yeah. take a three-nil lead after two. You know, you you know them pretty well, uh, Johan. You know, they're both from uh, uh, Robertson, where you played a couple of years out of. Um, I've played many years against Cully, known him for a good few years. And Mark, fancy their chances in this game, or do you think the experience of of, of Neil and Bainon? going to pull it through you know uh, Nikki they uh, I think it, it's, it's all going to depend on the two leads it's uh, it's it's whether Wayne and Paul can match Cully on the draw uh, and as in singles the two ball pairs um, you'll know that the the opening bowl is very very important and in fact the two first bowls count for more than 50% um, and um, yeah, I think that's the, it's going to it's going to boil down to to the two leads. See, uh, like Kelly's opened with there, just a, a meter behind. So it's easy, it's easy to adjust from behind. Balance has responded with uh, so a good opener. You know, you won't know. I've been listening to the commentary all all through the weekend. Been very good. It's actually, and I don't think. If the viewers know if, uh, if how they've done your introduction, so please do excuse my ignorance. But you know, you want is the convener of selectors for the South African side, and you know, be before we went on air, I was, you know, I asked him what, he, what what is the South African setup and, and what is their five-year plan. Well, um, thanks for asking that, uh, Nikki. There's uh, on behalf of the panel. A uh, few things to say regarding that. Look, um, you know, at the moment, uh, for starters, our men's uh, side as a as a nation playing bowl side, we we out of the top 12. We we currently lying 13th. It's certainly a spot that we don't want to be in. We we need to get back in the top six. Uh, according to some info that I received before coming to the tournament, the World Bowls Board will be having a meeting on the 15th of April to clarify some uncertainties regarding tournaments ahead of us, such as the Commonwealth Games. As you probably know, um, I think it was, um, was it Malaysia that withdrew from the from the bidders hosting the tournament. Um, in, uh, I believe that um, Birmingham has put in a, a, a spot. I'm going to interrupt you. Yep. Mark has really hit, hit fire early doors. He's drawn another cracker. I think out of the four, six woods, he's only wasted one. No, he's been hot. So Birmingham has, uh, has, has put their hands up to, to possibly host it, but uh, in all fairness, I don't. We believe it won't happen. Um, and in, in, in that case, uh, World Bowls will, will most definitely host a tournament of their own in 2025. So uh, to get back to our position um, where we are currently, I'm talking on behalf of the men's side. Watch Mark as he Mark didn't like that. Was scuffing the oh, ground. he's in the area. Is um, he going to be up? Ah, oh, good. Maybe what I call a good dumper. What is that white man? Of white light. Played Mark. Look at that. There we go. Got a bit of a Ronaldo kick, as we call it. <laughs> Berkey, Berkey's under pressure. He's been under pressure the first few hands. I think Bainham must start uh, up in his game ever so slightly. You know, he hasn't been far out, but he's just been under pressure. Holding it. Hey. Good point from Berkey. A solid three from the boys from Robertson. Yes, them in a convincing lead. So, just to get back to our position, you know, the, uh, in all probability, it's going to be of utmost importance for the men's side 
to have a good solid performance at the African States later this year. The ladies are in a far better position. I think they're lying fifth or sixth. Uh, but, you know, we've got the green squad going, we've got the gold squad going, so uh, Tians Fraser and the, the academy, Simon Werther, they're putting in a lot of hard work on our, on our skills. I mean, basically, that's where it starts. You've got to start somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, we're just lacking some in, uh, incoming tours, but it's been addressed by the likes of, of uh, Bobby Donnelly, our CEO, etc. Uh, and that's really what we're looking for. You know, the, uh, we, need to, we need more game time out there against internationals that will boost our confidence uh, and increase our experience. Um, from a selection point of view, the, the selectors are certainly getting around to, to our tournaments. Francia Kuhn has just attended the, the junior competition and, uh, and as you know, that's where it starts, at junior level. So uh, we're acquainting ourselves with, with the, our juniors, getting to know them quite well and um, uh, from what I read uh, and saw on TV, the junior competition was in Bloemfontein was sensational. A lot of great talent, and uh, so it all looks good. But um, yeah, the hard work lies ahead. I think we've got to start nurturing um, as we watch a bomb, a bomb from Cali, as they say in Australia, a Ripper, and as they say in Afrikaans, awesome revenant. <laughs> Um, as, yes, uh, you know what was wonderful too, I watched quite a bit of that uh, junior interprovincial as, as I've got a bit of interest, you know, uh, and, um, and they not uh, attacking the one, very close. Um, what was lovely to see was, was the camaraderie there, but we need some of those youngsters, 15, 18, 25s, to be the next Jerry Baker, to be the next Neil Burkett, to get us back on the map. And I think that's where Tian, Simon, and yourself will have to start nurturing that talent to come through to show them that you, know, you can see the world if you're good enough. I mean, uh, I it was a wonderful interview that you had with Jerry um, on Friday, um, where he said, you know, you've got to come and beat me. And uh, that's, that's what I want to see. Uh, I'm an Oscar who's here. I want him to be the next Jerry Baker. I want him to beat Jerry to say, I'm the man. You know, you must come get me. And I think we're just lacking that ever so slightly. You know, we've got a lot of talent. We've got Nixa, we've got Brendan Ferns, we've got Bradley Robinson. We now need, uh, need to start pushing those guys to be world beaters. Yeah. Well, having put in place um, a camp like the Green Squad Camp, that's basically what it's yes. for. Yes. Identifying yes. Um, not just uh, youngsters, also slightly seasoned players that might have just been unlucky not to yeah. get the nod at, at, at uh, yeah, international yeah. level. Yeah. There, Kali calling a good shot, trying to say, let's get, let's try beat uh, Maynard's back ball, back ball, you know. Nick with a score, it's 6 0 after 3. I know it's early days, uh, and they, they're in a very good position here. Kali right on top of the jack and mock. He's got a lovely receiver. But are you in agreement with me that uh, Neil will start feeling the pinch here, that uh, the absolute urgency to, to get onto the board and possibly right now? They won't uh, want to be chasing, um, so very important uh, end for for Neil and Vainan Puak. No, you, you know, and the nice <coughs> thing for Mark and Cully is they can. Cully's playing well. Mark's playing exceptionally well. First, first four or five ends, and uh, that's a good that's ball. a very sensible ball from yeah, Mark. That's a toucher, um, as I would say. Um, Vainan still calling Berkey to try chop and lie. Um, you know, now at six 0 up. In four, you know, if they score two here, they can manage the game. You know, they can drop four ones and they'll still win it comfortably. He's wide. Is wide, yeah. Just not. not hasn't settled on the on the line. And the reason why he hasn't settled on the line is because uh, they haven't allowed him to, to get into his room of drawing, and that's what the beauty is of two wood pairs. So that's uh, an eight 0 start after four. Sorry, uh, These two boys from Boerland off to a cracking start. Thanks for all your comments so early in the morning. Nice to see the folks commenting early. Obviously, you've done your Easter egg hunts with the children and, and, the, and the like. 
right, we'll get the message across to ask the players to stand aside if, if they possibly can. Yohan's just going to give them the yellow card. Raynard's still struggling to find him. He's back to find his weight. Um, Cully uh, through by two meters. But unusual, he's been solid, given a good platform for Mark Beva Chandler to, to play from, and he's encouraging this one. Has he got that extra meter to run on? Uh, he immediately changing Vainon's hand. Chance for Vainon. Vainon doesn't have much chance to draw close. Let's see if he can capitalize, give something for Neil to play to. Yep, Johan's back after. After issuing the yellow card for the players to Alan stand aside, Ellen Loft just really lay the message. Uh, Nick, I think you'll agree with me that uh, Neil will be looking at Vainant, um, you know, tidying up quite a lot, getting into the head a lot better because Neil's that sort of player. He likes bowls in the head, um, likes to work off bowls, uh, etc. So he's going to rely uh, hugely uh, on, on Vainant to, to get him those type of bowls in the head. Oh, I like to see this. Mark staying with the hand that he's been playing well, hasn't changed, so he's sticking to his back hand uh, 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 towards the C green. Um, so he's confident. There we go. Nice. He's, he's trying. Can he get back? Can he get back? Oh, good weight. Good weight. Nice and settled. Yeah, just nice and close to the hand side. Imperative that Neil and Vaidan try score this end so they can change the length. Um, and it just shows you, okay, has Berkey got that last meter and a half? No, not quite. The one. Only the one down. I think Mark, Mark should, uh, I think should stay on the back end. Turn Cully two rolls. If he's inside, he gets the white. If he's around, he draws it clean. Uh, right, right. Yes, he's staying on his back end. Staying on his back end. He's, he's played that end. And he's on a good line again. And he's on his good line again. Struggling with the players. Uh, I think uh, Alan will address it when they come down. And it's a look for shot. Looks like it's still down. Yep. Bainon indicates. Let's see if Berg, Berg can adjust that four or five feet to add a bonus. It's a bit wide to me. All weekend hasn't been bending that much. And there we go. Neil and Vaynert are on the board. And on the board. Immediately they change the length. Going to a bit of a shorter length. Let's see if Vaynert can set it up for him. Just um, coming back to, to, to the setup. Um, you know. What about players? Well, let's use myself as an example. I'm 51 years of age. Is there still an opportunity for me? Are we looking at that? Or are you predominantly looking for players, say, between the ages of 18 and 40? Not at all, Nick. Um, you know, um, at the age of 51, I mean, I went to the Commonwealth Games at the age of 50. Uh, and I'm here in a good shape, as an example, uh, playing good bowls. Um, so if the record is there to back it up, uh, at the age of 51, there's no reason why you, the selector shouldn't be looking at you. So, like, you know, and you browsing the greens and stalking the greens. Uh, Wayne York having a good run here. Yeah, Wayne is, Wayne is um, you know, he's been awarded his colours in the past. Um, he's had a, f a very good pairs record over the last couple of years. Um, so he's not out of the mix, you He's know? not out of the mix. He yeah. probably needs... Uh, to win a singles event of note within his district or even at higher level, um, and that'll certainly put him back on the on the table. On the radar, yeah, hundred percent. So, so to us older folk, there is still opportunity. I mean, yeah. uh, I take and I'm very sad. I take the the, the very late Rudy, the late great Rudy Yankos. You know, he, I found he played his best bowls between the ages of 15, between 50 and 60. No doubt. I think I said it in one of my, com uh, my sessions early on, uh, doing some commentary, that 
you know, if you look at, if you speak to Neil Berger, Neil says he played his best bowls of his career between the age of 60 and 70 in Australia. Now, if you relate that back to Jerry Baker at the age of 63, uh, with that great delivery of Jerry's, uh, the longevity is there, and uh, Jerry's playing and he's showing it. He's, uh, he's competing at the highest level. He's winning at the highest level. There we go, Burks. Well played, Burke. Well played, Neil. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, 51 versus the 63, etc. Um, no reason not to. And a great replay there from our man. Just seen it. Uh, this is the first time that Mark's been asked a question. Let's see if he can respond. Uh, he, he plays with the Pro Tier, which is a bit more of a bending bowl. So you think, oh, he's wide, but I don't think so. He's not far out. What a good response from Mark. Good weight. Good receiver. Look at that. Straight so, down the line. Yep. So Burke's even been down 8-1. You know him. We all know him. He's a fighter. He'll grind it out. Yep. Give it his best shot. Yep. It, yeah, that's right. Just needs that little bit more support from his, from his played, head. And he's played another cracker. Turned it oh, that's behind. good. Very good. Maybe just out for a second, unfortunately. He's left a bit of a gap for, for Mark to draw. The way Mark's been drawing. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets close. But with that jack moving slightly, it's just made that angle a little bit more trickier for Like we say, he just has to scrape, the, just has to scrape the paint off the orange ball. And I think he'll be close. I think he's narrow. There goes oh, the hand. The hand goes out. Uh, yeah, we both know he's narrow. But look how good the weight was again. He's really settled on his weight. Question was, the question was answered, and it wasn't answered. There we go. Like you say, maybe Vaynon can start putting a bit of pressure on. We might see a little bit of a comeback. Match gone up uh, a little bit. Again, yes. You know, they changed that length, they scored. And, you know, any, it's nothing about, I might have spoken about it last year, but again, you don't realise how important the white ball or yellow ball is, is in a game, in a team game. The lead sets it up, you know, you're dictating. Remember, you've thrown it, so you've, you've got the advantage of the field. You know, so, like, right there, pulled it, he's kept it in play, and he's starting to settle now. So, and Neil likes it. Ah, you can hear Ber Berkey on the mic saying, well, ball. Well, Nicky, at 8-2 after gotcha. 6, one's got to say that they need a multiple as a minimum. Yes. Um, yes. One's just not going to do it for them. I like, like I said earlier, you know, they were 8-0 up, they can drop 4-1s and, and win the set comfortably. You know, don't have to chase the shots now, so you're not under pressure. Cully's responded very well. What a very good response. Half a metre behind. Waiting ball. Nicky, as I alluded to uh, going through the pre-match summary of yesterday's games, um, Jason Evans and, and Sean Thomas were down 7-1 yesterday in the first set against Eddie Phillips and wife. And um, when, I, uh, when I came back to get an update, they actually got up in that set from being down 7-1. And then you know, obviously they went on to win that second set, but that was a bit of a scare for the two of them. Back to the action, and Vainant has oh. played two cockers. <laughs> Good stuff there, Vainant, really setting up for the for, for Berkey. Is this the multiple that we're talking about, Johan? Is this the chance? Perhaps, perhaps. Business end of the, of the set? What Berk's going to play? Is he going to just slip in behind uh, uh, with about of a foot of weight, or is he going to try and just... Uh, be an irritation to Mark on the forehand. I would play here and try and get into that area. Yeah. You know, in there, you're in the count, covering. Probably either that or sort of a, a, a front toucher uh, on the professional side just to make that angle a bit more difficult for, for Mark. I yeah. think he's going to play the turn, maybe vein on behind. He's got half a meter to join. He drew two this crackers last season. Look at this. As we said, look at that. Oh, he's just made the head a bit fatter. It's counting, it's Nicky, counting. it's counting. It's the pressure on. Mark, he failed ever so slightly. He hasn't failed often on his forehand. Has he played this hand before? And he's let it go. He's he's watching it. And he's got the... I think he's on a good line for the pro tier. Nope, that hand has been holding all weekend. He's the just sliding past. The weight's just caught him. Yeah. The weight's caught him. Too much weight, perhaps. Yeah, yeah maybe. Not allowing the ball to come back. Maybe a bit I'm zealous. Cut you know, his weight yeah. just over. Same line, sitting there. If he drop one, drop one. Perky and Vainan having a good chat. There is the men behind the whole tournament, Audrey and Bradsler. And the man on the extreme right, in, uh, responsible for all the finances. Okay. Does all the travel bookings. Fantastic. Haven't they just done a marvellous job Brilliant again job. this year? As we watch Perky, uh, Vainan. Sit Vainan now. He's asking to, for sit. The ball to sit. Yeah, that's that's a, that is a great ball. ball. Yeah. That's a great ball. Yeah. 
Still a biggish target for Mark. Can he adjust the weight? I, I keep the line, adjust the weight, quite right. It's on his way, he's watching it. Watch your hand hasn't gone out, so he must Don't like it. Wide, Get out of the way, Gully! And here we go. No, he's still heavy and wide. I think that was too too overzealous. Sets back on you. Yeah. That'll, that'll put a smile on the face of Neil Burkett. Okay. Yep. Four absolute fantastic. Best Eight, best. six, two to go. They're back in the game. And look at that change of length. Change of length has uh, definitely made a difference. As they come up for a little conflab. Kali Pencil Fort. Just has to reset. Score a one year is good. Yeah, defending three on the locks. Playing that forehand well. There we can hear the comments from Berkey. Very happy with Feynman's forehand. He's just playing it well. Important that he keeps the jack in play on the length. They've just scored a very good four. A very well played four. This is what we expected. Uh, Nick. Uh, Anu Pool shouting for his dad. Come on, dad, he says. Well, he's hitting his straps. Looks like Maynard's playing around the clock. Perfect. Uh, just that hand is bending a bit more. Maynard's starting to settle on the weight. But can Kelly respond? Can he, can he set it up as he has for the first six hands? He failed one hand. Kelly's talking it. He likes it. Playing with his aero grooves. I think they call it a quad, you know, it's two sets of squares, so it can be right over, just over the yeah. correct weight. Quite a bit. But it still lies the shot. Lots of room to draw in. I'm sure Curry will get closer with his bowl. Well, he's tight, I tell you what. Maybe the pressure's getting to the. Maybe the pressure's on the first day. Looks like it's shot. Looks like it's shot. Nobody lies, Nick. Nobody lies. At that level, nobody <laughs> lies. <laughs> Both those bowls, good weight. They're just missing their line. Just missed the line ever so slightly. Maynon just strolling down the green. The boy from Caledon playing his balls out of Armanus. Right, this is a shootout between the two skips. Berkey um, on, his, on his forehand. Don't be, you know, don't be... Uh, very good line, yeah, Nicky. He's on a very good line, yeah, Nicky. Found his weight. Well, what we saw in the singles, Nick, was uh, as the greens got quicker, Neil just started playing better and better. He was almost back in Australia. You know, he just likes that 15, 16 speed green. Now look at the difference that year in line. Alberti was at least two, three foot inside of Mark's so look how Mark came back to the centre point. Is that going to make Berkey change? I think it would change because he likes to hold the wood up. You know, we call him fingers for a reason. Yeah. Because he plays with the wood in his hand. You know, he likes to hold it up, which is always advantageous. All on the way to Nicky. He's a bit fast, eh? Yeah, yeah. Can, can hear him on the mic. Said he got her weight too good. What would, I wonder what Mark would play. Would he stay on his foot? No, he's Sorry. changed his backhand first time he's playing that hand. We wonder this, is it? Yep. Yeah. Burks will be happy with that. Yeah. yeah. yeah considering the situation, the position they were in, eight seven after eight, so it's all to play for. All to play for. Now then, more than ever, will just Neil be asking Vaynan to uh, nail his first bowl. Well, so important. So important. And he's just thrown it. He's thrown it a meter short than what he did last thing. <laughs> But uh, let's see, playing around the clock, sticking to his forehand. Last time coming down, he played two corkers. Let's see what he can do. He's on a good line. I like this. Perky likes it. Can he slow down? Oh, great opener. Great start. Great start. Great, great, start. Start. What a great opener. That'll make, that'll make Andrew Poole happy. Yeah. Moi pa. Moi pa. Moi pa. That's a big Afrikaans one. Afrikaans. Uh, two stowers. Let's go, Afrikaans. Two stowers. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I see his the, line there. Just wish, you know, you know, pressure building. Pressure that uh, Bainant is trying to 
to honing his little bit of pressure and Kali and Kali is just wavering ever so slightly, but like you know, in balls. Slight momentum changer. You yeah. feel that, Nikki? Yep, 100%. It's good again, yeah. The, yep. This weight's even better. Well played. That's Coming down. Two great balls. Mainland has really played two crackers. Again, can Kali respond? Can he respond? He's watching it intently. Oh, he's, he's on. Has he got the weight to come back? He's on. On his watches. He'll come back. I think he's just over, over zoomed it. Great effort. What a good effort. Gave himself a chance. You know, in the majors, you're going to Augusta. If, you, if you're putting for a major and you drop it a, a, in short, it's no good. If you put it two foot past, you're giving yourself a chance. Absolutely. And that's what uh, Cully did. <coughs> you know, Mark, let's see. Short putts don't go in the hole. 100%. Neither do long putts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there we go. Bit of Sunday Easter humor. Berkey, will he try to turn Vane on to, uh, around the corner? Oh, Put a front touch on it. Just he's, a touch, on, it. touch on the ear, yeah, finish behind. He's egging it on. He's trying to turn that pole. He's Nicky. egging it on. No, I he's pulled up short. Yeah, Great sorry, line. <laughs> Over to Mark. Mark, I think, has been pretty good, although you rightly said momentum shift, you know, pressure on. Takes his time, yes, definitely taking his time. Gets all beautiful delivery. Beautiful delivery, Mark. Ball on weight. Ball on weight. It's not short. Not short. Right, Neil's going to look at changing it slightly. You Even think if that maybe, that maybe, that maybe you would like to go in the back? Yeah, absolutely. What about the best back? Mark well, the I, fancy, the I fancy him to go in the back end and duck the white. Okay. Or the yellow. Right. Holding two. Holding two and set. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. good option. Uh, good option. I called it. I called it. Let's see. And if Mark has a little yeah. run on the other set. hand, you know, he draws for the set. By the line, two and set. Two and set, correct. Line two and set. So let's see. The, let's see the experience of Berkey. The game to the back. I think that's a good call. Makes um, makes uh, Mark play a more perfect shot. There we go. He's got to miss that one. He's got to miss it. Oh, will Mark run it? Take one out. Peel the set. Put the white in the box. You win it. Live by the sword, die by the sword. What's Marky? What do you name? Is he on his forehand? Yeah, he, yeah he, he likes to run it on the four. I, I think he's under it. I think he's under it. Oh, what oh a, set to Burke it off to be 8-0 down. What a comeback. What a recovery. And there'll be a change in the commentary team. You're going to have the subtle voice of Trish Young taking over from me. Enjoy it, and ladies. Thanks, Nicky. If you feel happy, yeah. Lovely to have you back, pal. How you feel happy? Mark and uh, Kali will find it hard to uh, keep these boys down in the second set. I think one spurks he gets his tail up. Like a good front run in a race, he'll be hard to catch. I'm happy to. You're all just saying how happy he was with that. Good start. What an exciting first set, Trish. Amazing. Amazing. Great comeback from the boys. Kelly was leading so well, not played well. And suddenly, Mons Vaynor came on stream. Oh, good reply from uh, Kelly van der Merwe. Tricky window there. Yeah, it's it's sitting on the stoop there. Yeah. And it's it's kind of white. Yeah. Yeah. Dusty. Yeah. Yes, Trish, so uh, Nicky and myself uh, were total agreement there that, uh, you know, Vaynant had to lift his game. He had to start matching uh, Kali in order to give Neil uh, a better chance of playing his type of shots, and, and Vaynant did exactly that. Well, he's uh, very close here. Yeah. Yeah, another ball in the head. Neil won't be too unhappy. He's lying second shot with Vainas Jack High ball, but he's got a good receiver. So Neil will certainly be at it.
message from Francia Kuhn, my fellow selectors. Good morning, Francia, and thanks for the uh, compliments. Sit back at home and enjoy it, Francia. I'll kneel as close here, looking for a full jack. Yeah. So they're lying too, but there's a lot of space, a lot of room for Mark, and I'm back into knowing Mark, Me back into draw pretty close. Slightly under the line, but the weight, the weight might save him. No, not quite. He's dropped that yard in a bit short. Well, I got the two. Mark, you uh, would have had a good look at Mark's line. Oh, that's a great, great opening ball from Neil Burkett. A lot of pressure now on Mark. The boys from Bullant will be shouting this home, Carl Wood and Company. I think it's just maybe over on the white Trish, but maybe good enough for second. Good morning, Claire Pollock. She switched in. I'm sure you're enjoying the game. Um, and hopefully, a starter in the next year's field, Claire. Happy with this opening ball from Weinant. It's a very good ball. Slightly past Jack High. It's for those beginners out there. So Cully, with his experience, even though he's failed with his ball, has done the right thing. He's stayed on his hand. That's his, that's his hand, he hasn't, uh, that ball from Bainant hasn't forced him to change, um, you know, stick to the hand you know. I would have been tempted to change, I must admit, especially now, there's so much more to arrive on to. Yeah, yeah certainly with that second ball, um, that's the right thing to do. Can he get back? That hand... Trish, like we saw early on with Mark, you got that extra yard of weight, um, sort of just, it just sort of holds. Is it set the same as yesterday? Is it set the same as yesterday? Uh, they've moved it uh, half a metre inwards, um, green speed of about 12, due to weather conditions. You'll be looking at um, perhaps just getting in behind. Maybe turning that catch away. So very good option. Oh, brilliant ball, Neil. Oh, that's, really good. Well done. That's, uh, that's a great ball from Neil. Couldn't have placed it better, Trish. No. I'm actually feeling quite sorry for Mark. Yeah, he's got down. He's been in trouble. Yeah. Except for, you know, the first, first half of the first yeah. set, uh, Cully was all over Vainant. And he started off well, um, got a chance here. Second shot. Holding one, Neil Burkett will be looking at touching that jack for three. Not too unhappy about that. So safeguarding the back. Mark's changed his hand. Yeah. Trying very hard here. Just out. Good effort. Mr. 
messages from uh, the Boerland region coming in fast and thick. Larry Every, great supporter of Boerland Bowls and, and these two boys. Uh, Louis, Louis Boerta, one of our young uh, stars, young boys. Great bowler, good future. Bain on to certain come to light. He's uh, just got better with almost every end, and uh, that'll make Pops happy. Second ball. Just behind the jack. Oh, that's two good balls. Second shot, I think. I think Mark, Mark will just be on the draw, I believe, Trish. I'm not sure that wasn't the intention. Mark Burks will be looking at drawing another shot. Look, if I flip a ball out to the road. Come on, you. Come on, you. You close here, pal. Run. Oh, we're only going to get one. Vayner Clark said he needs to bend. Oh, God. Trish, isn't it just magnificent to see the likes of Neil Burkett and Jerry Baker playing in the PBA, the two legends of South African bowls over the last how many years? Absolutely. It's just fantastic. And it just goes to prove that you can start as a youngster or go on and see your... Playing at the highest level. And enjoying it. Burke's still enjoying it. He's <laughs> ultra competitive. We'll be competing at this year's nationals with Bobby Donnelly. Oh, what a great try. Will you be at the nationals this year? As a selector, not playing. I'll also be here watching the ladies. Some of them out there are saying that my eyes are better than my delivery these days, so <laughs> I'm opting to be there as a selector. And did the Easter Bunny come to you this morning? <laughs> no, Trish. No, didn't come to me either. Oh, another great oh, star. Uh, is playing with a lot more confidence now. He's missed the line there slightly. He's, you know, he's in that circle. Right, can Cully get back in the game and help Mark a little bit more? Just gone off the boil a little bit. This is a good opening ball from Cully from the Madva. Still room, still room for both of them. I don't know if it's me, but the green doesn't seem to be bending as much as it was Oh, he's corrected his line, lovely. Uh, oh, the green running at 12 in the uh, cloudy conditions. Quite right, Trish. This is what a positive draw from Cully. He's pulling up. 
Good effort. Can you give some more options? So, Trish, what do you think Mr. Burkett will play? Oh, is he, uh, is he on the back end, tuck the, yeah, tuck the jack? that would be my shot, tuck it away. 100%. Feel the pinch to score yet, just to get sort of back into the set. Maynard's indicated that they shot down. Now he's going to be looking for that jack more than ever. Can the great Neil Burkett pull it off? He's on a tighter line, he's got weight. He's got to be close. He's got it. Has he? Called it too quickly. Called it too quickly, as Donnie Picker says. Don't do it. Don't say it. So, in Afrikaans, Mark Bevis Teleno has reacted to Kali saying he thinks we lie. And Mark said uh, to Kali, I don't like that word think. Are we, lay, are, we, are, we holding, are we holding shot or not? So he's come down to look for himself. Kali doesn't seem to be 100% sure. There is a nice shot on there. Oh. Oh. To turn. Yeah. Baynott's bowl out. You need uh, quite a bit of weight. Not sure. That shot's on, but knowing Mark, I think they'll be on the back end um, looking to oh, just made a trial the jack, even though it's only for one shot. He's on the fall. It's not going to be easy to burn, eh? I think the only way to burn it is easy to go. I don't know. This hand is going to be dropping. What do you think? Are we all these three? It's going to fall away. Let's get something out. Yeah, okay. I thought he'll be on the back end. Uh, I saw the shot, uh, but I, um, you know. And that hand is, he hasn't played that hand well. Uh, and when you play that hand with a bit of weight, it, it's tricky. Anyway, they're on the board. Let's see if they make any changes. <laughs> so Neil Burkett, after winning the first set, leads three shots to one. This is certainly a section decider. I do believe whoever wins this uh, this game will, will go through to their section and secure a spot for themselves in the uh, quarterfinals. What the weight Mark will be looking for. Urging, Neil's urging the ball of Wainant. It's running up short, good line. So the winner of the PS, the PBA SA uh, event, qualifying event, the winner goes through to Potter's Resort to compete at next year's World Indoor Championships. Lovely experience to go with your partner as opposed to the singles perhaps. As you know, singles is lonely, uh, especially at Potter's Resort when uh, mo most likely you're in for a bit of a hiding. Uh, it's nice to have a partner with you to console you, get you through those lonely times. But at Potter's Resort in such a beautiful area, right on the coast there, It is, but the, the actual resort is just it's fantastic to be there. They put up a show every night, the food, these world-class 
Um, but more importantly, you you know you you uh, socialising with the with the top indoor players in the world, and it's just it creates such a wonderful vibe to be there, rub shoulders with them, maybe have a practice role with them, uh, and to watch those guys. I mean, they're just extraordinary. I watched this year and I didn't stop watching and seeing the likes of Alex Marsh. How good was that final between him and Stuart Anderson? I can also recommend the crab, crab in the, from that coastline. He's amazing. Right, Burkett, um, we'll be looking at uh, saving the day. Yeah, they, uh, this particular end, he's two down. I don't want to drop too many shots such a good start oh that's good I think uh, you all might be holding two no, it could be second shot Oh, that's actually shot. Is it? Fresh, yes, the markers indicated. Oh, wow. One green. Good luck to you. <laughs> like that from here. Very deceiving on the com on the uh, camera. It's definitely <laughs> shot down. Oh, can the old move that jack? Yes, he has. What a great oh, shot, Neil. Three three. Wow. Pretty commanding lead now, 6 1. That was a very good shot in the context of the game. Three shots. Puts them in a sort of a comfortable position, 6 1 after 5. One set up. Can the boys from Bulan bounce back here? I'm sure they'll they'll be up for the fight, knowing Kali and Mark. Right. Raymond has let Kali in here a little bit. He's got a big chance of um, drawing a front toucher perhaps. He's got the weight. Yeah, I'm just lacking by a meter. Right. Can Bainon tighten up here? Certainly on a better line. Has he got the weight? Yes. You likes it. Yeah. Still lots of room for Kali. Can he hold? Give him mark options. Nice to see the spectators coming in to watch this wonderful, specta spectacular applause. It's um, holding up as we go through the different stages of the event. Neil's on the fair track, yeah? Is he up? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Another good ball from Neil. How's Mark going to respond? Is he going to get back? His approach is bend. It's close. Oh, oh, very unlucky. Got on to Cully there. That would have... Helped. Look, he's in the area again. Oh, sit. Better wait here. Oh, Touch on the jack. Oh. It's a great ball. Another three. Right, what does Mark do? Just a draw on the four, perhaps? I think he's much on. Fair line here, Mark. Can you get back? He's running. 
guy in that hand, just with that extra bit of weight, just seems to hold a little bit. It's another three. Nine, one. Three shots indeed. Just to do my daily lunchtime menu, it's roast beef today. So come down and enjoy a lovely roast lunch here at Durbanville. Absolute bargain for 70 Rand. So Messi just coming in from uh, Robertson, Karula van Dam, uh, thanking us for our commentary. She's uh, at home, sitting at home, enjoying the, the TV coverage. Thank you, Karula. Enjoy. You need to shout a bit louder to get these two boys over the line. They're certainly under the pump here. They're not having played a good opening bowl. They definitely need multiples now. Message from all the way from New Zealand, Graham Cockrell. She's enjoying the coverage. Thanks, Graham. I'm just uh, appreciating the two shots that Neil played, especially the last. Appreciative of um, his effort. And there's Picky Downing in her usual spot, enjoying the balls. And that's Ian Gordon, our greenkeeper. Haven't they just done a fantastic job once again? Amazing. Him and his ground staff so efficient, setting out the greens in the morning. Oh. Good, bad bowl, as they say in bowls, you know, do, slightly past Jack, gives Mark a chance. It's a bit under. White to finish well. Well, I don't think so. Uh, Cully's definitely got uh, either second or third, possibly third. But it's a good receiving ball. Who's our chief of sponsor? Lombard Barnard. No, this one's almost so running. Bombard Barnard from Feetry Investments. So another two to Burkett and Paul makes them 11. No, you've got to finish the That's set. That's the man responsible for the generous uh, sponsorship. What a great team. The app that they reintroduced. World, world class. Absolutely world class. Those that don't know, Lombard and his brother Audrey were invited to um, this year's World Championships at Potter's Resort. Well looked after by World PBA, Jason Parkinson and company. And my my did they enjoy that experience. Thank you, Michael Connor, for that message. I don't know if I agree with you as uh, the best lead those years. 
I certainly enjoyed leading both my province, BGN, and for South Africa. Quite rightly, nice to see Neil still playing top quality bowls um, at his age. Recently had a birthday. Neil recently had a birthday. Young 64. Something like that, do you? Right, so, so Cully, uh, Cully's just gone off the ball a little bit. Um, at 11, one, I would say. Um, I think so. I think uh, I think it's over. I think uh, I don't think I can't see them coming back. No. Um, put Mark under an awful lot of pressure. He started so well, uh, but the minute Vainant. Um, found his straps and uh, got them closer it allowed Neil back into the game and that was really it yeah. Mark's not happy with this overcooked here on his weight on a great line, yeah? Uh, drawing is he up? Yes, he's up and he's in. Oh, that's very good. I'm not very happy that's about that. Oh, well. I think Mark might be under the line. Nice. He's yeah. I think that's it. Oh. Full house. Puts him in a 15-1 lead. Game's gone. The ball lab boys will be very disappointed, I think. Indeed. Uh, but I think uh, there's no doubt that um, they would have enjoyed the experience of playing in the PBA once again and uh, opportunity for them to showcase their skills on the TV ring. The tails oh, are up, they yes. just they, they play good balls at the moment. Can't take it away from them. Ah. Nice reply by Kelly. Message from Renier Nell from Mossel Bay, congratulating Neil and Vainan. Thank you, uh, Renier. Renier, I'll pass on the message to the two boys. Has he got the weight to move the jack? He's close. Great effort. Four good bowls on the last end. There are the beautiful trophies. The one on the left, that's the Pears trophy for the winners. Back right is for the singles. And the front trophy is the floating trophy for the singles winner. Uh, that proudly belongs to um, Wayne Roberts from Natal for the moment. Billy will be soon surrendering it to the <coughs> new cap singles indeed. winner. <coughs> yeah, Neil's played a good uh, covering bowl. Better. 
So the winners and qualifiers of this event uh, will be off to the World Indoor Championships 5th of January um, of uh, next year. I think they'll receive something like 14,000 if I've got it correct uh, in prize money locally. 14,000? Um, it's gone up. Um, free air tickets, free accommodation, free meals, um, first round qualifying fee. I think of 750 pounds. That's it. That's the game. Great performance by Burkett and Paul. Good start. Yeah, the two boys from Boland were off to a good start. Unfortunately, they just uh, couldn't keep it going. Vainant uh, coming to the party. Cully slacking off slightly. Mark was off to a sterling start. He was. And then the... Uh, but then the pressure seemed to get to him. Yeah, and the experience of Neil Burke just also kicked in. You know, once Vainant gave him balls in the head, it was uh, race over. Anyway, we'll, uh, we're on standby. Um, Eugene Ferreira will be doing the post-match interview. Thanks, Trish. Thanks, we'll see, we'll see you soon. Yeah. What is our next game? Buckle up for some exciting uh, games next later one, on today. Well, our next one should be a cracker. Yes, that's Adunas uh, and Fortain Petula against Siepi Matheson and um, Annika Skiepis. Both great, promising, well, both oh. of them are... Proteus, current Proteus. I think Eugene is ready for us. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning once again. I'm joined here by uh, Neil Burkett, Van Um yeah. What a game it was. Uh, see, the viewers obviously saw a bit of the of the real Neil Burkett. Uh, <laughs> Feyenoord after that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it. The uh, let's run through that first set. We went eight 0 down. Um, probably still finding the rink a little bit. What would you say, Berkey? Well, you know, um, um, Kali started pretty well. So with the rink getting quicker as it dried out, uh, I was called on quite a few. Don't be short shots. And then once Feyenoord uh, found it, it was like driving the rolls rolls, you know. Yeah, you got back in that set and you and you managed to pip them by one there. And then obviously you just went on from there. Uh, Vainan, I want to get to you. You played a singles game on this ring yesterday. Um, they moved it up slightly uh, compared to yesterday. How did you find the lines? I, I find it much easier than yesterday when I played the singles game. It was there. I, I struggled on that lines on that. Yeah, as, uh, the, we said it this morning, they also didn't cut it last night like the day before. I think the speed makes it a bit more bearable at the moment. And uh, with that win, surely opened up the section a bit. Uh, I see your opponents on the ring too there. It's quite a tussle. So, yeah, well, well and truly back in this, uh, in this uh, section, Neil. Yes, well, let's hope we can carry on how <laughs> we left off this morning. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, of course, that's up to it. And I'm sure all the viewers at home will agree uh, it was a brilliant display of bowls. Uh, uh, may it continue into your next game, and good luck and all the best for the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>
morning to all our viewers here in South Africa and abroad. Um, our next game of pairs is between, is, uh, we've got um, Annika uh, Skippers and uh, C.P. Matheson on my left playing in red. Um, you guys uh, unfortunately lost your last game, won the first set comfortably, lost the second set um, and then lost the tiebreaker. So this is obviously a must win for you. Yes, definitely a must win. Um, and then hopefully some results go our way in the other game in our section. So, yeah. Absolutely. Siapia, uh, prettier players, both prettier players. Uh, I think uh, you agree with me. I think the conditions with this westerly wind blowing, the swing could be a little bit tricky. And I think the match decider would be which side of the wind you're going to play. Is that yeah. Right? yeah, so we have to make an accurate decision to play the right hand from the start. Um, as we saw this morning's game, the greens got a lot quicker and we had to focus a lot because it was different speeds up and down and so yeah, it's very important to make the right decision to play the right end. Absolutely, but uh, good luck to both of you and enjoy the game. Thank you. Pleasure. Alright, next up, uh, Constani Langspey, come up next to me here. <coughs> Duenas and Petulia. Um, you guys are slightly off the pace. I think you're lying third, so this is also a must win. And then you're looking at other results to go your way. Uh, Petula, you got you two have been you were on this TV rink last year, if memory serves me correct. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you did play, you played Annika and you uh, with Eugene Ferreira. Mm -hmm. So you're up against uh, her again. Uh, you fancy your chances? Most definitely, yes. We're going to try our utmost best because um, we would love to win this game again. As I said to Sepia, uh, well, the conditions are going to be tricky. Uh, you've got a westerly wind blowing. Um, so, you think it'll be a bit of a challenge? It might become a wee bit of a challenge. I told Patilla now the rings are a wee bit quicker than we just were. Um, but I think we can go overcome it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a mental thing to stay down, find your pace, and, and get it done. I see you both are playing with strong bias balls uh, in, in your Taylor Ace and your Pratia. Uh, how do you think that'll be suited to the rink? Um, with the trialing that we just did, we just um, saw that we have to take enough grass and it will win to the jack. I wish you well and even the best, and the best team win. Right then, and with that it's over to our two commentators, Nick Rustling and Eugene Ferreira. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, looking f I'm actually looking forward to this game, Eugene. Um, we've got Edwell and Petula against Sepia and Annika. Edwell and Petulia, uh, Petulia won the border, uh, not border, Borland mixed pair. So I think a good combination. Yes, no, definitely. This is uh, obviously going to make for a very exciting game. Nick, um, I played against them last year, also on the TV rink. Uh, fun enough, but yeah, they they were they were they were brilliant. Petula obviously being around the squads and a great bowler in her own right. So yeah, uh, looking forward to this one. Yeah, um, like you said, I think a combination, uh, a new combination in Annika and Sepia, uh, both pro tier players. Looks like they may have settled in quite nicely. Uh, Annika leading, um, maybe trying to set a foundation for Sepia to play to. Yes, yeah, I, th I, I had a little bit of a glimpse at their last game there. It looked like the speed uh, uh, changed uh, quite a lot and they just struggled to get it together. But this rink, uh, Anna will be accustomed to. So, yeah, I think she, she'll obviously try and, and set, the, set the base. Um, just looking at, at section one. Um, the leaders there at the moment are Skull Kotza and Racer Kreibach, and Western Province players. And second in that is Siepia and Annika. So, uh, point behind, and then you've got Edwell and Petulia on three points. So, what to play for? You know, there, there could be a, a right um, mix around here. If results go go away, so yeah, I think it might come down uh, if if Annika and them go straight sets uh, and race with them drop one, they'll take it. But it can also come down to a shot aggregate. Yeah. If uh, the results go their way. 
Annika opening up there of a good one. Um, and then just a bit narrow. But, but Julia on the backhand draw playing playing the swinging hand. Um, let's see how she does. Having a little natter there to Annika on the way down. Both being from the bullet, they know each other quite well. Yes, yes. Good to see um, good to see players of colour performing at this at this event. Uh, loving it. And there's very good camaraderie between Edwell and Petulia. I think that I think this game is gonna be like I said, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, Edwell and Petula obviously they play a lot of balls together. So yeah, and as we know that's always important. Yeah. Sepia also favouring that backhand. Yeah. Um, None of you know, and the viewers, for, for the viewers who don't know, that Anika is one of the uh, sponsors in White, and uh, they they got their partner to come down uh, yep. on Sepia. Yeah. And it's good to see that we've got two players, and I'm just under correction, I know that Anika is under 50. Uh, Sierpia, under 50s, because he played under 50s last year. Yes, yes, I think he's got a, a couple of years left. Yeah. Um, Bodes well for South Africa. You heard me having a little chat to you on a bit early on about the vision. Um, especially the men have, been, have struggled slightly in the past couple of years, so I think they have to do like a rebuild. Um, the women will always have uh, been strong and staying strong. You know, Annika performing at the international stage, and we've still got Colleen, who's found the second wind in her career, I think. Uh, looks like she's playing well, quarterfinals of the of the singles. And um, Sepia and Annika have opened up superbly. Yeah, uh, it will under a bit of pressure right from the onset. Um, it will, oh, he's stalking it. He likes it. Down on a decent track. Yeah, yeah what's his weight like, Eugene? Hey, what's his weight like? Oh, can he hold it up? Oh. Has he got the extra foot? Oh, good effort. Good effort. I think he might have reduced the counter to one or yeah, to two, I think. Two, looking at the third. And a girl, oh, easy to opt, to, opt, to opt for a measure. He doesn't... Uh, Take a lot of time. I know some people would rather stand there and look at it. She just goes straight down, so measures it. Yeah, sorry. And what is. Oh, scoring two shots. Uh. Nice start. looking at various sections wow I'm looking at section five that's with Stoffel Lamprecht uh, Trevor Jones Lydia Maritz Armand Ascari and that anybody can win it's four points four points four points <laughs> that's what you want to yeah. that's what you want going mm -hmm. down to the wire let's have a look how the defending champions are doing in section four that's all Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas uh, and a bit of pressure. Favourites there at the moment is Angela Wolf and Glimfery on five points, and then you've got Jenny Jones, Matthew Spiri on three, with the defending champions on three. So they, I think, they are asking for a little miracle to happen there. Yeah, and who's up against each other in that section there? In, uh, um, let's see. So Jenny Jones plays Angela Wolf. Jenny Jones, Matthew Spiri plays Angela Wolf and Glimfery. So if Glenn and Angela get one set, uh, they could possibly go through. Well, we'll be favourites to go through. Um, let's have a look at section three. We've got Tina Olofsson, Maggie Van Sale, Leon van Rooyen, Stefan de Jager. And Stefan looking good there. They're on five points, closely followed by Tina on four. Yep. And they're up against each other. Yeah. Yes, that, that is quite correct. So that's a bit of a knockout stage. Um, let's look at the crowd's favourite, Jerry Baker. Let me see if I can find him. You just give me a I second. That section two. is headed up by Herman A. Salmon. Is that it? Is that one of the last There we go. That's section, section eight. So it's 
Hermann Heitzelman and Zandra uh, Hasselman. Uh, they, oh, that's another cracking section. Look at that. Mm. They're on four, Jerry's on four, closely followed by Mikus Griech and Gillian Young, the young guns, the young Turks, just a point behind. And they, oh, that's interesting. Hermann playing, uh, who's Hermann playing? Sorry. Hermann will be playing uh, Lizzie yeah. van der Sant and Denise uh, yeah, together. Yeah, so that's looking good. CFK um, started off well. Another good draw. Annika, very solid as usual. Yeah, always, always in the zone. Well, but you're off to a little bit of a slow start. You know, yes. Not finding the rhythm. Yes. Um, uh, no, we spoke about it. We spoke about it all weekend. Some of some some of the players when they get onto the TV, there's just a couple of things with nervousness or yeah. nerves get to you a little bit. Yeah, you, you know, you on. You've got uh, all the viewers watching and watching your talents, and it does get to you. It's how you handle the pressure. It will maybe draw in shot to second shot. Annika having a look, likes hers, directing. Yep. I think just that that ball straight in front of the white. You know, you, myself and Eugene have been have been together on tour many many a time. You know, um, and you, I always believe in, in in the psychological part of the game. You know, how do you handle pressure? What do you do? And it's always what's always good to watch Annika. She always does the same thing. She repeats what she does time and time again. That's why she's a champion internationally and on the local scene. And you watch her; she's always calm, collected, always encouraging. No, no body language. No, no, that's it. Now, I think in those situations you just got to back, you got to back the process. Um, you know, you, especially if you're international, but like Annika, uh, don't think you get more pressure than that. There we go. What do I like to say? He's played a bomb, if they say in Wales, a ripper in Australia, an awesome rovent in Afrikaans. Great shot by Edwell, getting him on the board. Yep. Edwell seems to have found a little bit of something there. Getting into the groove, his, his first one was a bit loose, but the, the next three on the money. Just going to just ask Cole, our uh, director here, just to give us an action shot at Edwell. Um, once it comes in, just maybe a little like the golf analysis, let's have a look at his stance, at his style, a little bit different than, than, than uh, some of the players. Just waiting for that, hopefully Cole can put it up for us quickly. You watch Petulia put the first one down. Oh, didn't quite get that one away as smooth as she normally does. Eh? Well, maybe a little bit over gripping there because of yeah. the nerves. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But uh, not a bad Sweaty palms. Yeah, <laughs> sweaty palms slips out ever so slightly. We need her to settle ever so slightly. Love the comments this morning coming through. Jeff Newcomb being quite active. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, <coughs> hello, Jeff from PE. Good to see you. Yeah, Jeff Newcomb. How's it, my friend? Uh, yeah, Herman is down here as well. He's quite the jet setter nowadays. He's been in Cape Town for quite a while. Uh, and. Uh, Petulia responded very well. Nice correction. I think she's starting to settle. A nice comment coming in for you there, Nick. Nick, <coughs> have you missed your profession entertaining <coughs> commentary? <laughs> <coughs> Thanks very much for the compliments from from Claire, my whole friend from Goodwood. Hopefully, Annika with a great ball herself, responding to that uh, shot of Petula there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Again, just that experience, nice response, not maybe getting the shot, but building that for CFP to play to. Um, Claire Goodwood, where's the Goodwood grunt guys? Come on, where's my, my mate Sebastian and Hampo? Are the guys playing in classics? Hopefully the crowds will be in, we'll maybe get the Dermanville Raw, Annalise, come where are you guys? It's, you made it, made it entertaining last year, you know? so yeah. Oh, and at least uh, a lot of the spectators who they'll be down here tomorrow, a lot of them playing in the Constantia okay. Easter Classic. Classic yeah. So yeah, I think we're going to have the bands packed tomorrow yeah. for 
Yeah, it will again for the for the semi-finals and finals. I mean, it'll be it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Edwell, there we go. He's really settled. You know, after that draw on the last ten, he's, he's, he's nailed again. Asking the questions from Sepia. Sepia, Northern Cape boy, been around the block. Was was in, in did well in the mixed pairs. Um, yeah, went to Australia, performed admirably in Australia under hard conditions. Done on a decent track, here, Nicholas. Oh, Eugene calling at home, yeah. Annika, oh, yeah. yeah that hand's been teasing. I found all weekend it just hangs with that bit of weight. Oh, well, they don't know Berkey made it look uh, qu quite easy this yes, morning. They put an exhibition on after being 8 0 down. Yeah, got back and got back. Yeah, oh, with a little bit of a wiggle and a waggle. Tony Johnston. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's on a good line, yeah. It's on a good line. Um, and you know, the, it's it's a good play because uh, very good effort, two very yeah. good woods. Petulia's got the best back, so it takes out the drive for Sepia. Sepia, yeah. I, th I think he drops a foot of weight and gets inside that ball. He's yes. got a good opportunity to make a couple here. Yes. Little, yeah, little half, half, half white, half. He makes three. Let's see a good weight. Let's mm -hmm. look at the adjustment. Let's see, is he on line? Can he, can he drop from there? Can he drop from there, Eugene? It's all about, it's all about the weight. trying to pull him, pull him. Hey, you see again, it's just like okay. that. Jeez, his weight was good. Looks like it's uh, two, two shots. Uh, Edwell and Petula take a nice, uh, nice free two lead uh, on the fourth end. Um, my faithful editor here, Cole, says we're going to have a quick look at um, Edwell's delivery. Yep. Why is he waiting for that to come up? Here we go. Look at the st what, what do you think about the start? Oh, very stagnant. He's yep. got no uh, foot movement in the delivery itself. And yep. it gets it's quite interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's actually quite. It's all arm, which what his bowl's all about. He's, he's got his weight going forward. That's all arm. I think it's a very good style to this type of pace and quicker pace green. No, not a lot can go wrong. It's mm -hmm. just, uh, the the upper body, lower body, all quite solid, solid, Head. solid base. It is still so. Uh, although it's a bit of a an orthodox style, but it's very effective, and he's and he's he's honed it, like you said. You know, he's won the Borland Novices, won the Borland League, and he's, he's part of the A side. We played against him in uh, in PE this year, in uh, and we had a great game. Um, pretty sure, yeah, and he won. I'm pretty sure they won the Borland Mixed Pairs. I Petula. think it was, um, here's on correction, I think it was Leon and Pam. Was it Leon and they lost in the final? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. um, His favourite music, he likes Teddy Swims, Tennessee Whiskey. Um, and he's still a youngster. He's uh, he's 40 on the 8th of April, so still got lots of years. Um, and his nick, nick, nickname is Trickster. I don't know how you got that. Oh, Trickster, eh? Yeah, like they called me that Tricky sounds, Nick. That sounds like a, a rapper's name. Here. There we go. Maybe he does a bit of rapping. Talking about a bit of music, we've got the Fleas playing here this evening at Durbanville. So entertainment. We had. DJ Quibbers from Goodwood last night entertaining the yeah. crowd. And we had myself and Edwell offer a couple of pints on the mic singing. And ah, well. I'm glad I wasn't here. <laughs> I'm glad there was only about 10 people left when that happened. <laughs> what, what time was that about? 12 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> time to close Just the ball. 10. <laughs> As we watch uh, end, uh, end four, Annika just, just running through a little bit. Um, and Petula holding one. Can, can see Pierre Matthewson come to the party? I see he's brought his. I see he's brought his, his wife to come watch. I think they just had a baby, is that right? Am I correct? Uh, I don't think it's his, his child. I think yeah. it's okay. yeah, from her side. All right. Hello, Margaret Thomas here, enjoying the commentary. Clinton Roots, good morning. Good to hear you, Nick. Hey, Clinton Roots, my mate. How are you, pal? Hope it's all good there. Oh, Wayne York, Wayne and Laura walked in, doing well. And that's an interesting matchup on rink number three. It's the Yorkies versus. SA's number one, Jason Evans and Mr. Bowles himself, Sean Thomas. First set, it's 8-1 to the Joburg, Joburg pair. Let's see what's happening in that section. We'll give you a little update there. Oh, well, Nick's busy looking at that result. Just a quick update in this section on ring two. The other games have been playing on, played on ring two. Uh, Raceford and uh, Skull Courts are racing out to a 5-0 lead in that first set after two ends. So, yeah. Um, not not quite the result that uh 
Well, just to give you that little update on section two, that is Evans and Sean Thomas the, and the Yorkies. Whoever wins that game goes through. That's the simple maths. Yeah. Uh, Evans is half a set behind. So, but you know, you know, Yorkie, fiery, don't be fooled by that red hair and those blue eyes. Fiery, <laughs> competitive, competitor. Uh, it will just get in the way too smoothly. Well, Sir Pierre, what do you charge that with? See, uh, last year's singles winners also joined us now. Wayne Roberts, good morning, Wayne. Is it See, Sepia, is he, is he, is he, he's going on the draw. Maybe just to try and wrap it up. Why don't you mix it up a bit? You know, Eugene, maybe have a little charge at the wood. You know, he can, can't go really any worse down. He's just over the draw, not getting back. Oh, you mentioned that, that and you have to have your weight spot on. Yeah. Otherwise, it just seems to sit on that outside line a little bit. Yeah. And again, it's um, looking at the balls they play in with. Um, we've got the two Protea players playing with the customary Aeros. Yeah. Z Scoop, uh, Aero Groups. There we go, the Z Scoop. And we're looking at. Edwell, Edwell, I know, is a Taylor Ace Ace. Taylor Ace. The new Extreme Grip. And it looks like Petula could be a Drax. Yeah, she's a Drax by Pertia. There we go. That's interesting. A good mix of balls. I, I mean, we're talking off air, and there's not there's not a bad set, there's not a bad wood out on the market at the moment. It is just to the players' liking. Yeah. Personal I know you, preference. I know you played of the era. You had a very good interprovincials. Very impressive. Um, you know, in yours, you you had no groove. You just had a, a, a scoop, eh? Hey? A lot of scoop. Plain rings. Uh, Plain rings, yeah. Yeah, and for years I played with a size four, and I've, I've gone down to a size two, and, and really enjoying it. Um, you know, as you're older, you get your hands shrink slightly. So again, it's preference. You know, preference to the player. Mine's uh, a hands like pro. Um, so yeah, Annika, let's have a look at that it's silky smooth delivery. Something interesting about Annika's delivery as well, Nick. She's, she's got that the foot. The yes. she sits on the mat. The uh, uh, wrong foot is in, yes. in front. Let's let's get the, let's get that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, <coughs> Cliffy, Cliffy Miller asking if Burks is going to sing tonight. He's asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like you've got the, we've lightened up the chat there, Cliffy Miller, yeah. Wow, well, Burke singing. Ooh. Maybe rapping, yeah. I'm sure we, Cliffy can give yeah, us a let's couple have a of look tips. At, let's have a look at Annika, as you say, you know, she, she steps off on the wrong foot. But look at all that motion. The motion's going forward, the arm is going to the point of delivery, eyes not moving, head perfectly still. And that's why she's a multiple mm. international and national champion. Exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, Cliffy Miller into horse racing, quite a, down in... Um, Kabeja, uh, Fairview, Racetrack. Uh, all right. Oh, send us some tips here, Cliffy. Yeah. What, what, what's it looking like? I say race seven, four and seven. Must be a good combination, Cliffy. <laughs> they run on a Friday. Uh, they've been looking at some of the spectators. Uh, they were talking to Sean Thomas a bit earlier. Uh, so they've got uh, the boys from up north have got a bit of support down, down here. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's his daughter, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Right, yeah, our family of Sean Thomas there sitting there. Yeah, nice the umpire there in the corner. <laughs> yeah, watching intently. There's a little shout out to my friend, uh, Gillian Carlisle, stalwart of Dermaville. Uh, she's here, I've seen her. I've seen her walking around as we watch Edwell on the draw. Is he going to get a little flick? Oh, a little rich market gear for the shot. Fortunate yeah. result there. I think it might have, his weight wasn't bad. I think if he missed that, might have sat on Annika's backward. He's asking all the questions at Sierpia and can Sierpia answer? He's uh, walking Sierpia, down. Uh, once again going to be forced to play this tricky hand. This tricky hand, yeah. yeah. He's got to get the weight right. Youngster. You know, the one, one thing I like about Sierpia is not short of confidence. Love that. You know, he gets on. Love, I, I really like his technique. Very good technique. You know, nice, slow, deliberate and he does it time and time again. He's talking it. Watching it, oh, I think this is quite a good line, Eugene. Do you know it, or is he just yeah. over the way? No, no, just over, just the way. over the way. Hasn't settled on that way. Yeah, interesting story about Old Sierpia when mm. I played my first under 25 in the district final against Wayne Perry in 2005. Sierpia was a, a, ten, a, a young 10 year old, wow. a very, very small little 10 year old, mm. and he's, he's, he's shot out. He's actually quite tall and yeah. a big boy. Yeah, there he was. Yeah, he, 
He was he was just there, he didn't yeah. play. Pachulia trying to sweep him in, but I think the weight cost him. Line was good, look how he's come back to behind the white. I think he has a chance. I think, you know, CFS battle on the draw. Why does he maybe play a bit more attacking, clip it clean? I think that's what he's saying to Anika. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's on, on that forehand. On the forehand, yeah. Come on. Come on, lad. Play's a good one. Show us your metal. Yeah, he's, yeah, looks he's like he's kept. A he's gone with it. Oh, I think he should. Yeah. yeah. I think this is. You know, it's no, just, it just, it just seems doesn't just. Go. It doesn't come, eh? Gee. Same weight. I would have maybe gone a bit more directed. Take that line out of play. Ah, never one, never one, two, two, Petulia, two Petulia and Edwell. They just eking out a nice little five-two lead, yeah. What's happening there with? Can you see with? Um, seven two. Rainsford and Johan. Ach, not Johan. It's been Johan's Skull, skull a Seven two lead in that first set. First set. Right. And let's have a look. And the other one is Jason. Looks like he's sewn up that first set. The eleven one up off the six. The Yorkies, yeah, they're gonna back their chances in the second second set, I reckon. Yes. That's a rhythm game. That's what's lovely about this format. That uh, that first one gets away, you've got an opportunity in the second. Yeah. Let's have a look, see what else. See if I can find something else interesting here in the sections. That's good. I think it's again that we today three. It's been a fantastic success. Just like Petulia's opening ball. What a great opening ball yeah. that is. Good weight. Attack the white. Both of them really up for this challenge now, yeah. Nick. Yeah, they Getting both. settled into it nicely. Both settled nicely. You know, like I said, a very good combination. Not much talking. Lots of encouragement. Uh, Anika seems to be just under the line, eh? With a good way. Sepia acknowledging the effort. Well, also very interesting. We spoke about it uh, throughout the weekend is... Maybe when you get onto onto this particular ring, just try and get on to one side of the rink and you know up and down, get your rhythm going. Uh, I've seen we've seen a couple of games where players opted to chop and change. Yeah, and obviously there's a little bit of a speed difference as well. Yes, I've seen it. Oh, look at this! Oh, Petulia, two corkers. Oh, I hope Trish is watching this from a national point of view. Yep, she will be joining me in commentary after the first set. You can have a little bit of chat to her yeah, about that. I'll have a chat to her and see what vision they, the South African selectors have got for the woman. Look at this replay. Look at that. It's worth a replay. Front toucher. Really setting it up for Edwell and Ina. At, oh, what a pleasure. Well, Trish just informed me that she's in the goal squad. Ah, that's good. And Anika having a run. And was that on the forehand or back? Backhand. Backhand. Uh, backhand. Eugene's favourite. A great shot. And that's great to have that in your armoury, uh, Anika. A very good hit on target. Look at that. Straight down the middle. That's good. A good, good tactical change. Yep, I said in commentary though, a couple of days ago, I said I think she has one of the best backhand drives in mm -hmm. South Africa. That's right. That's why she's uh, in the South African setup. That's why she's a consistent performer in the team at, at international level. Got a silver medal in the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. So, and back to back. So back to back. There we go. Very good. Uh, just recently married to Mornay Skippers. Um, uh, Eugene, you are good friends with the Skippers. It's, it's lovely, lovely people. And you know, she's just not a, a queen on the green, she's a queen off the green, you know, always, yeah. always complimentary, you can always chat to her, always got a smile. You know, she's, uh, she's loved by all, um, she gets along with everyone, and you know, that's, that's import, important as an ambassador for your country. What a great, oh, what a great response from Edward, not, not letting loose here, that is awesome, awesome play from the two, from Petula and Edward. Uh, Petula set it up, they got it out, and he's asked a question again, Sepia, can he do it? Once again, having to play this, this tricky back, backhand. This backhand that he hasn't, he hasn't hit the lines, or hasn't found it. But he's looking good here. That was a good way to drop right at the end, coming he's this coming way, Nicholas. He's coming. I think this, this next hood of Edwell is important. He has to get another one close. I would maybe, uh, I'll change hands. Yes, yes, good play, good call. Yep. Good call. Now it's interesting to see that difference in speed. Yes, let's see if he's picked that up. He doesn't get close, so I would be CFP, I would be charging that wood. You've got two seconds. Is he up, Eugene? Is he up, Eugene? It oh, he's well. looks like he's up. He's well played, Eugene. Oh, brilliant. 
What great pairing combination that is. And a bad Bedouin and Petula both uh, playing, well, four corkers there. Yeah. Do you think he could get both yeah, and the yeah. burn? I think Sepp will opt to have a little bit of a run at this. Oh, Brasler oh, appreciating Brazler. good balls. That's his ball on teammates. Come on, Braz. I think Sepp will rip, get the inside edge, get both. You score three. Sepp also got a little bit of pace on his... Uh, some pace. Let's have a look, yes. This will be interesting to see. Watching it. Yep, here comes a big hit. Oh, he's not... He's got... Uh, just inside. Just inside. Good effort to taking a commanding 7-2 lead after six ends. Uh, yep. I think they need Three to score. Left to play in the set. That's yeah. going to be a little bit of an uphill battle to get back into this for the Fragia Pet. Yep. Got it in here. Race fit. Um, getting, a, getting a little bit exciting there on in 5 7 4. They on the next rink. So let's see, you know, they just must just keep their wits about them and they'll go through to the quarterfinals. That's the fantastic thing about PBA bowls, you know. If anybody can enter and anybody can win. Yep, if you don't have your name in the draw, yeah. you don't have a chance. And you know, like like you guys were talking in the week, just remember the total prize money that you're playing for is a million rand. If you go to Potter's Resort Possible. And, rand. You, and you win there, that's 50,000 quids. That's a million rand. Yes, and very exciting. Yeah, that is just to have the opportunity. But even just to go, if you win and you go and have that experience, it means you want to go back for more. Petulia just opening with about two, two one and a half meters through. That's a bit loose, loose for her. She's been, uh, oh, she's been very steady. Want to get down to the viewers a little bit here. You guys, obviously, after the session, we're heading down to uh, pairs and singles playoffs for the next two sessions quarterfinals and, and 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 so on so yeah action-packed stuff left for the rest of this day please get sharing get it out there family and friends if you're in the vicinity of Durbanville Bowling Club please come down and support um, quite a nice setting staff is friendly we'd love to have you have you down here and maybe rub shoulders and have a chat so I can see some scores, especially oh. section five. Oh, that's all excitement. Possible three teams are going through, but I can't quite see their scores, so I do apologize. Um, oh, here's a little interesting matchup. Old Jerry playing against uh, young Jillian Young. Oh, and for those viewers that have just joined us for the first time, there's an app called Clubmaster. Uh, get on down to the we might get it up on screen for you uh, go down to the app store it's on the app store as well Clubmaster you can see live end to end scoring uh, brilliant innovation into the game of balls there we go again Petula likes to shot there's, the, there's, the, there's the link on screen there Show me the app. Yeah, for that scores that you're looking for. Yeah, let's have a look. Are able to see them live? You can see what's going on. Yeah, we're going to get that up. Like I said, Petula line shot, given a great foundation for Edwell to um, to to draw another, and he's really playing well. The last end was very impressive. There you can have a run through there. there we go. Let's have a look. See, we can oh, find. Morning, Megan taking a convincing lead there. Oh, isn't there a bit of favoritism, Megan Ferreira? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A better bowling. Uh, only on half a point, so yeah, the, be the best bowler in my family by far. <laughs> there we go. Johnny, Johnny D'Souza, Goodwood, Kevin Smith, 11 2 up on Pickoff and Pietro Briet. We'll see what's going on there in that section. Burkett and Vainon keeping their good form going, 11 1 up. Uh, let's have a look here. See up here we've got. That's an interesting one there. Yeah, there we go. Lizzie van der Sun, Denise Fier. Denise. Denise. For Merlin, seven all up on the best bowler from Western Province and the best looking man from Western Province, Andre Hasselman. <laughs> seven all up. Mm. The Yorkies battling a bit there. Mm. Off -weight, Peter Harvey, defending champions, making a make, trying to make, not going to go let go too easy. Seven three up. And Angela Wolf and Matthew Spirit, that's interesting. Five four to Wolf and, and Glenn Faree. Stephanie De Jager, 5-3 up on tennis. Tennis Olofsson and Warren Stein. 
That's us. So whoever goes, whoever wins that goes through. Um, Armand Oscar. Oh, that section is tight. That section's tight. Armand Oscar, five all. Stoffel Lombrak, five all. And that section is four, four, and four. Uh, let's see if I can find there and Lydia Moritz is 8-2 up on Trevor Jones so Lydia Moritz might, might sneak it there uh, Eugene uh, mm -hmm. it's exciting it's what we what we've come to expect and what we want to watch it all looks like he's added a bonus Sepia on the draw he's got off that uh, and he hasn't really found it has he played a good one here can he stop and I just pull him to stop I think he, he might just have just run, run through before they did this through, yeah now they like it. So one to Petunia and Sepia, yeah, Petunia and Edward. There we see. There we see you on. Enjoying the sun. Join the bowls, watching his Boerland teammates. Oh, they, they're definitely taking a uh, convincing 8 2 lead here. Playing the 8th, keeping it to their length. They really dominated this first set. But you know, bowls is a funny game. Well, Clinton is saying not easy to win there. It's obviously alluding to Durbanville. Yes, but it was the most I got paid for the three shots I picked up. <laughs> <laughs> was that our Clinton? <laughs> Clinton Roots? Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a different world out there. It's a great experience. Yeah, and he went at the right time when the when when the ran to the pound it was about twenty to one at that time. Yeah. Ah, yes. So you picked up on that job. Yeah, obviously, Potter's yes. resort. Yeah. Yeah. So he picked up three shots and. It's a I just paid three shots so ever. Got 750 pounds. What a pleasure. <laughs> and I can just trundling through a little bit there. Trundling means you got two, three yards away. Uh, one and a half. Interesting there on ring two. The couple of Mike and uh, his wife, Mariana Hunt, is crawling back ever so slightly in that first set. 8 4, still an advantage of. Uh, Skulking ratio. Okay, and has she got the white? Yes, she has. So we've obviously scored another. another let's see, two ends to go, and they. Oh, she's turning lots of numbers. Oh, got a little free, eight seven. Petulia responding well again. Look at that, 18, 50 centimeters behind, asking the questions. Yep. I think it's a good way to get down from there. And she's not quite going to get back. Just, just, just not quite. A meter behind. Again, it will line shots going down. Look at that. Look at that. Good weight, good line. Yeah. And she's, when I watched her last year, she impressed me. Um, and uh, yeah, and she's got the call up to the national squad, which is good. Good addition, I think. She was brilliant against me last year. I think I was good for the first four innings, and then she started uh, yeah, so again. teaching me a lesson. Yeah. That's it. Look, on the viewers, please keep your comments coming. Add comments, ask questions. Do you want us to talk about something in in regards to something? Do you want to know something? We, we've got the apps here. We can give you information. If you want to know a score of somebody, don't be shy. We love it when you talk to us. If you want us to ask one of your favorite play players a question, we'll gladly do that and, and try and get back to you with answers so that we can get you interacting with the players as well. It will, it will unusually short. Unusually short. He's, he's been very good. He's been in, in the area. Area is like being within a meter. I'm sure you'll correct with next. What's Sepia doing here? Has he drawn a shot? That's close, close to. That's close to. Let's see what they say. Ah, Petulia likes those. Petulia likes those. It will change in his hand. Mm. Well, Nick, maybe you can answer this question uh, for old uh, Runjan Chetty. He asks, what is your aiming point? Uh, it, it varies from, from player to player. You know, um, myself personally, I like to look for a mark on the green about halfway down. Um, some players look for a mark on the bank. 
maybe they'll use a marker on the bang, like a bowl's bang. Me, preferably, would look at something, like I said, halfway down, look for a spot, and then try to go over that. And yourself, Eugene, what do you, what do you generally play yeah, to? Nick, same as you, I also like to look for, uh, I'll call it the apex of my line. And then try and work it from there. Yes. But it's more visualization yes. in the line than anything else. There, uh, if that answers your yeah. question, Runja. So where you, where I look is where the, at where the maximum point is where the wood's going to start bending. That's where I look, and then, then go from there. Um, on the drive, I will look at my target that I have to hit. Yes, yeah, Sepia, is he going to drop? Oh, good effort, Sepia. That's a lot better for me. And that's. And that also up that seat. Good to see a uh, good to see a uh, crowd starting to pick up nicely now. Just saw young Divan Jube, DJ Kubis' son here, yeah. promising player in, in Western Province coming through the ranks, oh. played in the junior nationals now, did well. Yeah, we've got a, a, a lot of promising youngsters down in Cape Town, Nick. Yeah. Um, it's good to see. Yeah. And obviously not in Cape Town only in South Africa. We yeah. So you see a lot of uh, proper youngsters coming through the ranks, yes. and it, it's, it's, it's proud to see that. Yes, we, um, you know, I, I, you know, I watched quite a bit on on the streaming. Um, I see Sidi Beng defended their defended their under 18 title. Well done, Sidi Beng. Small yeah. district defending. Must be doing something right there. You know, my mate George Lotter down there. Um, he must be teaching the youngsters. Very, very impressive defending uh, uh, under 18 title. Dwalan being very prominent amongst the youngsters. Look at Petulia, you know, coming mm -hmm. through, um, playing well, um, opening up. Yeah, Dwalan also did well in the under 25s. They took gold in the under 25s. So. So. And they took a bronze in the under 18s. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so in the West, the Western Cape balls is good. Um, I was very impressed with JBA, although they didn't really medal, but. The amount of players that are coming through, especially players of colour, they had a full, full team of coloured players, which was fantastic to see, and they played it in the right spirit. I watched one of their games. They lost with the last wit, but you know they took it well. They're smiling, high fiving, and I saw Jerry was there. I don't know if he was there on, on with the team, if he was there on a personal capacity, but I'll, I'll get him, get all of him and have a chat. Uh, it was good to see one of the, our real yeah. legends. Right, so on the photos, yeah. obviously supporting the. The pride of uh, JBA. JBA. Oh, Neil Burkett and them uh, winning the first set there. I think that's quite comfortable. Um, yeah, so they keep going. They the favourites to win that section. Yeah. Burks, you know. Age is only a number, and, he, and he's, he's, he's still doing well in Western Province and Eastern Province bowls. You know, so he's there. He's in our mixed pair semi final. Oh, getting a bit of the, the fluff uh, mic outside. See if we can get some of, some of the calls uh, part of the broadcast. Old Alan Loftus sitting and baking in the sun there. Okay, going on a rock on a hot summer's day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is. Working on his tan. responded well got them second shot yeah sepia can can he consolidate the situation no, he's not on a, he's not on a bad track has he got the way to finish has he got the way to annika pulling it home pulling it home oh, what do you say might be enough might be might be Oh, views if please uh, send your comments about the what you think of the quality of the streaming. We'd like to get some more feedback from from our viewers. Just looking at 
first degree, uh, uh, Jason Evans and Sean Thomas winning the first set comfortably and 4 0 up after two. As we watch Edwell, uh, but you turned it back on it slightly, so it means he hasn't played a good one. Ah, just not their best end, um, but they've been playing really consistently well, so you can forgive them to have an indifferent end. Can Sepia consolidate? Come on, lad. Take your time. Get your rhythm going for the second set. There we go. Ah, he's looking good here. He's looking good here. Has he got that last yard? Has he got that so last yard? Slightly, slightly more than his previous one. I think uh, it should be in the count. It should be in. That is the first set to Petulia and Edwell. Dominating, dominated the set, I feel. Uh, Petulia dominated Annika, so Annika will, with her experience, try to get it back, try to set up the foundation. Yeah, with that said, Nicholas, uh, I'm going to be replaced by Trish. Yep. He will join you in commentary. Enjoy the rest of this one. We'll chat a bit Thanks later. Thanks, Yeah, well, I'll catch you later, pal. Morning, Trish. What an exciting first end, uh, first set. First set, yeah. Um, nice, you know, we've got two Gold Squad members. You said uh, Petula is in the Gold Squad and Annika being an international. Yeah. Um, I felt that Petulia kind of dominated a little bit on Annika. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, set, set, set up the foundation. An example of playing the bowls and not the names. 100% right. Yeah, that's that's well well said. Very good. See uh, a couple of the Durbanville boys walking past. Old Jason. I saw four Bornant youngsters walking past, obviously oh. supporting Mark and yes, Cully. Cully and Edwell and Julia, also from Bornant. So, yeah. bowls, is, bowls is looking good in Bornant. Mm. Yeah, well, they're very much a family affair in Borland. Yes, yeah. I mean, again, like I said, did well at the Junior Nationals, you know, gold under 25, bronze in the 18. And Petulia has continued where she's left off in the first set, asking the questions. Yeah. Edwell really been encouraging. I really like that opener. It's now for Annika to step up to the plate. Which, given her class, she should do. Yeah, she will. She will. Old, old campaign. Well, actually, I, there's a very interesting story because I actually spotted Annika when she was a 13 year old. Wow. When at we happened to go spend a weekend in Bredarsdorp yes. and we played there, and I actually phoned Jessica yes. Henderson, who was then very involved, and said, Please watch Annika. And because the rest is history. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, she's dropped it short. Lucky, good line. Always plays to a consistent line, which is always good. That's, that's I was looking at Edwell's delivery. Quite an interesting delivery, in as yeah. much as he doesn't have a step like yeah. the rest of us. Yeah, we well, the majority of us yeah. do. We analysed it and just said, you know, it's quite, it's not a bad technique for this type of surface when it's watched. You know, it's just all arms, so it's just all he has to do is just adjust the pendulum with Annika drawing the shot on the first end of the second set. That's what can that's a, no, so um, Edwards played well that first set, you know, when when the, when he wasn't lying, which wasn't, which was very rare, he he converted, he turned it back. So let's see if he can keep up that good form. I actually enjoyed the end where Annika had a drive yes. and the jack was spotted. Yes. Edward drew two perlers. Two crackers, eh? They were good, and that's good pairing. You know, because she, she set it up, she got Annika on the drive, and he, and he just he consolidated, he got it back for them. He's not far out yet, Trish. I like this one, Nick. Uh, he's not far out yet. Oh, he, he must maybe. have, he, he's done enough, yeah, I'm maybe, sure. Maybe. Could be two. Yeah, and direct and saying that, you know, it's, it's, and, and that's the hand, you know, they've done it well. Is it, 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 see, he's on his forehand, on his forehand, oh, I like this line. Like this one. And don't forget, Sipe played an incredible final at the SA Masters against a very young Bullamp player oh. who was totally brilliant yeah. on the day. Adonis, yeah. Uh, I, I, think, I 
forget his first name, so for the Bulan people, do forgive me. Uh, Edward back on the draw, he's been very consistent. Uh, not a bad line, just got to match Annika's wide with them. Do we know what balls they play with, Nick? Uh, yeah, um, Ed, Ed was playing with uh, Taylor, just drifting past, maybe a yard too, too much. And uh, Petulia's got the Drakes, Drakes professional. The two pro tier players are, are playing with the Aero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, this looks like a better line. Can he hold is up? He sh is he... Can he hold up? No, he's not. Can he hold up? It's actually not quite the shot I thought he might play. I might have thought he might just play over the uh, weights and split those sit bars. Sit the two woods, yeah, for free, eh? Hey? Yeah. Or, or flicking the white, yeah. yeah. That's a good call, Trish. No, they didn't see it. See, we are walking down, just practicing that follow through. Great start and by Edwell and Petula. Yeah, good, you know, good, again, you know, he, com he was shot down, he converted to two. Slippy not answering the answer. It looks like they've gone, well, they've changed it up a bit. They've gone short and playing a bit of a longer length. Uh, obviously, they had a bit of a matter. There we go. Again, you know, I think um, I spoke about it in the first, uh, first game. Again, how important the jack is. Uh, they're questioning the length. She says it's two up. Two up. He's happy. Uh, yeah. He's oh, no, it's I well in. Yeah, well in. Well in. Yeah. Annika's happy, so yeah, she says she can play. And a little bit of a clever little tactic that, you know, just to slow play down so they can reset. She's got me through. She just has got a very, also a very good technique. You know, it's very simple, up and down. Wood comes out the hand beautifully and smoothly. Oh, no look, what a great start! Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there we go. And that's it. Edward is extremely excited with that. He's really been, he's been very good, encouraging, smiling, they're enjoying themselves. You can see they're really enjoying themselves. Annika on the draw. Can she get back? Oh, oh. Good response. Yeah, very good response. Waiting wood. So, Trish, you know, whilst we're early door second set, I've um, like you on the uh, national national selections for women. Yeah, give us, you know, what's, your, what, what's the women's five years plan? You know, the women are well set, you know, they, they're in the top ten of world bowls, which is fantastic. We've got Annika, who's young, coming through. We've got Star Wars and Colleen. And we've got a, a whole handful of youngsters like Bridget Carlitz. Yes, and Fran Bellary. Yes. There's... Yeah which we must bring through because yeah. they're the future of our international team. And Esme Stain, is it Esme Stain? She's moved to Eden, is that right? Esme, Esme Kruger. Kruger. Sorry, Esme yeah. Kruger. She's, she's, moved, she's gone to Eden. I think yeah. she's, she'll be around a good few years to, to yeah. maybe see a few of the youngsters and, and hand um, over the reins in about five, six years. Yes, I think so. Um, there's no doubt we missed the late Elma Davis because she was part of the long-term plans. Okay. So she left a huge gap, which we had to fill. But we're we're moving on, yeah, and then we've got our gold squad. It's all selected, lovely ladies there. And then in a couple of months, we'll be off to the nest with 24 members of the green squad. All right. So. And and what's your vision with with the gold squad and and the green squad? Who you know is, is there people that you hear more to to bring through or? Yes, we we. Obviously, not knowing about Commonwealth Games is a bit of a problem, but we will be selecting a team shortly for the African States in Botswana. Okay. Africa's, okay. Which Africa. is coming up. Africa. Are, are we going to go? Are we going to send like you know the African States is? Are we going to send a, a powerhouse side, or are we going to do a bit of both? Of well, last year we sent youngsters. Yes. Uh, Jackie Van Rensburg, yeah. Fran Bellary, that and all those youngsters did exceptionally well. Bridget Carlitz, of course, was busy producing a little baby, oh. so she didn't go. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just have to see. We'll get together our fellow selectors and I, and then we'll discuss it. Right. With guidance from Bowl South Africa, of course. Yes. Okay, good. It's good to see. So, there's, you know, again, if I, all through my bowling career and yeah, yeah. through your bowling career as well uh, being, being a pro tier player you know you've seen the world and, and you've had wonderful experiences oh amazing amazing yes. I mean, yeah. you know, you've, pl uh, you've played commonwealth games and you've played all bowls you know so 
Yeah, to, to take those uh, must, be, must be great. Well, and I was fortunate to go to the World Champion of Champions twice, having won the SA singles. So, yeah. So. I went to New Zealand as, as we've been very green, a young Turk, and learned so much from it, brought it back, applied it. Yeah. I went to Moama with Clinton Roots, and um, yeah, we had a amazing time. Let's see what Edel can do here. He's lying possibly free. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, Petulia standing for him. Oh, and he's not far out. I think he's played a good one. Oh, oh Edwell, you are playing some top stuff, my man. He's really impressed me. Yeah, he's really impressed me in this game. He's, he's put Tiapia under pressure and it's for Tiapia to respond. Will he or won't he have the smack? They've got the best two backs. What would you do here, being, being a lady? Well, you, you know, I, I don't have that full-on drive that Sia does. Yeah, but do you need the full-on drive? I don't think so. I, I would just... No, he's back. Yeah, he's see, I would just... Oh, he's on he's target. Got it. Oh, oh, he's got one out. But it's still three. <laughs> three, yeah, again, dominating. Second end, 5-0. No. Good. Is it enough, though? Is it enough? Let's see if I can get this... Get oh. some... Oh. I don't think it'll be enough. I think Skalakotza and Raceford Greywalker won the first set. I think that might get them through, but really enjoying. But let's see. Uh, let's just wait for the final, final outcome. Let's have a look what's going on in the section. Uh, the Yorkies have uh, responded well after four ends. Only 4-2 down against the boys from Joburg, Jason and Sean. Um, that's what I can see. So, really enjoying this game. Really enjoying how, how the Bull and Pira are playing. They're combining extremely I'm well. I'm very impressed. I was a bit worried in case they were overawed by Sepia and Annika, but not at all. They've just... Heads down, bums up, That's and played it. the game. That's it, and uh, I think um, Petunia justifying her selection into the goal squad. Yeah, I'm hoping for higher <laughs> honours. Lovely lady, on and off the green. Good. Which is important. You need yeah. not only good bowlers, but you need compatibility, which is so important in an yeah. international side. And there we go, look at that. You know, Petunia just missed with her first, and Annika taking full advantage. Takes a time. I'm glad no, to see she hasn't changed hand. Or she must use just correct her weight. He's apologised. He says keep it there. Oh, I agree. Keep it there. Yeah. Just add your free foot and you'll, you'll be close. You're really playing well that hand. Come on, Petula. You can do it. Here you go. It's on its way. Maybe that little talk. Maybe that little talk might have lost her weight in the hand instead of putting it down and then listening. No, she's looking okay. Ah, look she's looking that. good. Ah, you yeah. yeah. wow. can hear Edward talking. Very well played. Can, can she repeat the dice? Can she give something for Sepia to work with? Determination. That's it's a, a better line. line. Yeah. Is it going to cut away? No, I think she's pretty close. It'll hang around in the area. Well played. Good response from Annika. Two good woods. Ran through further than I thought. Yeah, yeah, that inch of green she would have been on it. But still, two good woods. Having a look. Is it one? Is it two? What does it will say? Trundles down the green. Oh, he likes him for shot. He says, oh. Yeah, I liked it. But a bull on favorism coming through there. Petula got a smile on her face. Yeah, Edward must be walking down, visualizing what he's going to play. Yeah, well done, mate. Very good. Yeah, that's the oh, he's got the got the John Travolta jig on. <laughs> there we go. He's on staying on his favourite backhand. He's uh, he's played that hand pretty well with his tailors. Um, he's looking Petula, good. He's looking yeah. very good. Petula likes it. She's, I like it too. She's got the crowd. Oh, is it running through? Can he stop? What a good effort. Oh, oh, just look at that line. Came straight back to the centre point. Look at that, there's a John Travolta jig. Oh, the fleas are playing tonight. He can't get on the dance floor. Oh, 
Um, sorry, I've just lost the comments. Can you? Are you able to get the comments for us? Yeah, what's Sepia doing here? Come on, lad! Oh, short, short. Come on, Sepia. Edward yes. on a great line again. Marshall Mertz giving Edward a good come on, lad. Oh, he's just gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Come a long way. Got the, got the little ground from Trish. Sorry about that. We're trying to just get our us old toppies in the commentary box, trying to get our technology up. Oh. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Changed his hand, I think. Yeah. It's a bit of a practice swing. Come on, guys. Let's 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 light up the live chat. Come on. Ask your questions. Make your comments. Take his right foot. Let's have some fun this afternoon. We're trying to. Come on, see up here. Come on, can, you're can gonna he, bend. Uh, can he get back off that line, eh? Oh, it's teasing, it's teasing, it's teasing, it's teasing. Oh, he's gonna... Look at that, Roy! Fell out. What a good effort, see up here. Loving it. Loving the balls here in Cape Town, Durbanville. Uh, and on, on a hot just I like the way Anne plays, you know, if it's a measure, she's not going to dilly-dally, get on with it, you know, if it's a measure, let's measure it. Check the first one. Is it in? No. Oh, I don't know, close it enough. Oh, okay. yeah. That's the shot. That's the shot, shot. definitely. One out, and that's all. One, one, two, Edward. Yeah. What a great start. Yeah, 6-0 six, six after three, eh? Now they can, you know, they won the first set. Now they're in a position where they can manage the set. Don't have to chase, you know, if you just drop no. one and one, get one. You, you can know, let them have the, one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Looking confident. Let's see what's happening on rink two, which is important. Um, yeah. Skalakotza and Raceford. Looking good there, right. two nil up after two in the second set. What are the Yorkies doing on ring five? Five two down. Jason just clapping Yorkie shot. Looks like he's made a couple. That's all up there to play for. Another win. So Nick's popped off to check on some more scores for us, and he'll be back shortly. Having a good look to see if the jack is at the required 23 metres. Tony, umpire. Oh, they've called for the long tape, so we'll see. <laughs> if you're not doing anything today, come down and to Durban Vol and watch some really amazing bowls. They're serving a amazing lunch of roast beef with all the trimmings for 70 rand, which is great. Very generous portions. Yes, Jack was in by half a meter. Oh, there's some of our spectators enjoying some liquid refreshment. And there's Noel, our genius with the technology. Just for the Goodwood fans supporting their main man, Johnny the Susan. Johnny won the first set against Colleen Pickett, then I think that's a must win for him. He's currently 8 3 down on the second set. The other section where it was all exciting, where the four teams have got four points, is Stoffel Lamprecht, Poland. He won the first set against Armand. 
Lydia Moritz, Durban Vol favourite. She won her first set, so that's all to play for. So it's a lot of balls to be played for, and that's what we want. So we just had the long tape, Nick, while you were away. Okay. okay. But it was in. Well, well in, all right. Yeah. Okay. And, and they've really been controlling this length, eh? Hey? So oh, look, Petula yeah, again. Just being solid, eh? On, on a fast green. Such a great lead. Running, you know. But you know what's impressive is that she's consistently hitting her line. She's not wide, she's not narrow, she's always coming back to the center point. Yeah. And you know what, you know what's great is with streaming and the media, you know, uh, national selectors could look at, at players, you know, they want to have a look at something, you always find some footage of them, you can have a look at them, you can pass comments, you know, uh, you can, you know, it really can work. So you, now to be a ball selector, you've got so many tools to help you. Absolutely, and I've done a lot of watching of live streaming. Yeah. Well, look at this from Petulia. Oh, oh what a hero. Well, and very nice, but... <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you still got to get it. She's done her bit. Do you think Annika will backhand white in the box? Well, I'd like to see something with a little running. Oh, why is he calling it on the forehand? Oh, I'm sure it's on the backhand. You know, on the backhand, let's have a look here. You know, she gets on the backhand, which gets off. Well, yeah, there we go. Backhand. Backhand. Let's see what weight she plays it. Oh, she's going for it. Mm. Oh, she's close. She's she close. She's not going to bend in time. She's close. Oh, off a ball. You're quite right. She didn't need to play with that wedge, she just needed uh, you know, maybe take a couple of line, extra meters. Uh, maybe take the line out of play, you know. That's always good as co commentators have a difference of opinion, makes makes it interesting chat. Beautiful, you know, very good on the back end. Everything comes through to the point. What, what do you think uh, Edward will do? do you think I he'll think he'll just draw up to Annika's second the, shot. On the back end? Just Not there? quite sure what position is at the other. Yeah. What happened to those bowls? No, they went out of play. Did they? Yeah. Oh. I wonder if, even I, if I was him, I might just... I would like you. I'd go on the back end. Just, just play up to the Annika's. Yeah. If you Maybe slide, come across a bit. Yeah, if you're slightly tight. Try mm. to jack around the corner, yeah. changing it. Yes, there we go. They've, they've listened to you. There we go, crowds trickling in. I think we're going to have a good crowd tomorrow. At this. No I'm sure on. tomorrow will be. Got some good classics out, out on the, in the Cape. So, it will stare at it down. He's looking good. I think he's narrow, Trish. Oh. He's, he's narrow. Oh, that's weight. Oh. Very good. Very good weight, though. Now, the right shot for Sepia is to play his forehand, but he struggled on that hand. He's able to find the line there. You know, maybe the confidence is not quite there, you know. It's all in the mind now. He's got, yeah, yeah. He's got the technique. Let's have a look what he does. Yeah, he's going for it. Let's see if he can get that line right. Just just being wide on that head. There you go. Nice. Yes, yes. He's not a million miles away. That's a good line for that hand. I think he's good here. I think he's good here. Trish, has he got a Trish? What a shot, Sepia. What a good response. That's a, that's a mark of a good player. You know, he's been struggling on the hand, backed his ability, played a good shot. Good shot. So that's two shots. Yeah, what would, uh, what would you, what do you think Edward will do here? I'm not sure. I've, I haven't seen him play before, so I'm not sure if he does have a running shot. No, he's got a running shot. He had it when on the trialings he was practicing. She's going the conservative route to try draw. What about a little trundle on oh, your backhand? Yeah, yeah, they can use those balls. Yeah, a little trundle. Even if you tight, you're working inside back to the wide. Or you at least yeah. you cut one out yes, to make give a second shot. Yeah. If, if we refer to trundling weight, it's two to three meters for those, just to inform you. I wouldn't have a full go at it. I would just go nice little I'll just top see and a nice line. Little yeah. That's and I think, oh. Looks like he's talking a bit more weight. Up jungle, come on, get the inside edge of oh. Petulia coming back into there. If you get the back end of her, you turn it in for a second. He's got options. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a percentage, eh? Balls is all about percentage. He's walking back slowly. Now he's thinking, gonna visualize his shot. Don't go down to the mat with two shots in your mind. Approach it. This is what I'm going to play. Commit to it. That, that's something that often annoys me when you're playing in a tabs in or whatever. Yes. And the third will then say, you can play it here or you can play it here. Yes. Rather just say, 
play it here. Yep. Don't give anybody an option because like then. He's playing the trundling. I think he's going to play uh, the trundling. Listen to us, Nick. Yeah, there we go. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's decent weight. I like that weight. Oh, is he going to hold it? No, he's close. Of course, since you get oh, the he's, gonna he's got one out. Oh, oh yeah. Edward. <laughs> What a good effort. As Donnie says, don't call it until it happens. Yeah, don't tip. That's why I don't win on the horses. <laughs> there we go. Uh, nice. Uh, I think it's the first time that Zippy is going to be trying a little bonus. Yeah. Very good effort. He was unlucky. He just needed... Oh. Oof. Good effort. Inch more of something. Mm. Or a foot more of something. Well, this is going to make the second set quite exciting. Yes. Six feet after four. Let's see, he's got to get it first. He drew a good first one. Stalking it. He's walking after it. And it can shout it at home. Come on. And it can shout at him home. Come on. As he drew. No. He could have afforded to be up. Just him to yell. That's it. Just wide, not narrow. That's no. probably showing the level of his confidence at the moment. No, just not back in the green. Oh. Not showing confidence in the green, 100%. Annika, having a smile. 6-2 after 4. Let's see. Now, let's see. What would you do? Oh, would you go 2-2? 2-2 being 2-2? 2-2, yeah. Because they've been dominating the show. Oh, they've pulled them out. What, 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 they're playing into... To Edwell and... Uh, that's what they've been playing. Oh, I see some Borland supporters just wandering past in their lovely shirts. In their lovely pink shirts. Oh. Yeah, good to see them coming out all the way from Worcester and, and the surrounds. Look at Edward. Ah, the Yorkies have turned it round. Interesting. On rink number three, the Yorkies are 7 5 up from. Against the boys from Joburg, Sean and Jason. Jason, oh, that makes that um, section a little bit exciting. Um, next door to us, Scala is 3 2 up. Um, and how's Jerry going? Jerry, he was playing down there. I think he won the first set. So, nice yeah. to see him playing with a new young player. Yes, Shana, they won the mixed pairs last year, the mm. SA mixed pairs, which was great to see. Yeah, yeah I watched that game on yeah. live streaming. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh, was a great interview with Jerry, you know, he's saying he's still keen and you must come get him, you know, come, you know, he still wants to be with the best and he is one of the best. Or if not oh. the best. The I think that's the worst bowl she's played yeah. all game. Well, for a while, yeah. Anyway, could have its uses. At the back, not lost at the back. But you know what she's done well is if she has played a bad one, which is rare, she's always corrected. And she's Slightly under the line, I think. Yeah, I the weight is so good. good. Yeah. It will give her encouragement. Yeah, stick it here. Yeah, stick it here. It's good to be an old ball. Rest up. Got all the usual spectators from Cape Town. Ah, oh, that is Joan Widderburn Clark, yeah, and she comes from Constantia Bowling Club. And she is a fantastic supporter of bowls. She comes and watches bowls, everything. Everything. She's everything. brilliant. She's oh. knowledgeable. There we go. She's corrected, as I said right. she would. Uh, it was okay. And Joan just loves colouring her hair to match her there top. We there we go. There we go. <laughs> Jenny, there's the crowd enjoying the bowl, having a good natter and a good laugh on a Sunday afternoon. What's for lunch, Trish? Roast beef, Nick. There we go. With all the trimmings. There we go. Great value at 70 rand. Yeah. And the, I must say, the, the portions are very generous. Yeah, yeah they are. Eh? Yeah. The mall has got to get set up. Right. Yeah. Sepia on the draw. Oh, is, is he a bit wide? He's big. Come on. Is it the weight? Questions have been asked of Edward. Can he answer them? He's got a lot of room to draw. Yeah, and he's been drawing consistently within that. That should be, shouldn't be. But you know that that word pressure. This yeah. time he's been about two or three down. Let's see. Oh, he stayed down beautifully. Got it. I think he's oh, on a good line. I like his line. So on he's looking great. He's looking great. Can he settle? Can he settle? Can he settle? Can he settle? Yes. And it's oh, on the shot. Oh, I yeah. think so. It's at least second. 
At least go. second. There we go. You got the John uh, Travolta cheek. <laughs> Come on. Hey. And oh. Sip, yeah. Ah, that's a good line. He's taken a title line this time. Yeah, but oh, but it's wandering. Oh, he's it's drifting. Walking. He's drifted it. Was there a bit of swing? And Annika big enough for the swing. Well played, Sepia. Two yeah, good woods, yeah, two good, good weights. Yeah. Come on, Edwell. Yeah, yeah, Doesn't have to change much. No, no, just don't correct the arms. Correct two foot. You've got two foot to be, Edwell. You can do it. You're playing well, lad. He's on, he's on a bit of a walk. Hope he's got the weight. He looks as though he has. It. He's yeah, stalking it. He's liking like it. it. And Petulia is calling it home. Yes, wow. what a great ball. Well, great, great ball. Great ball. Great save. 7 2 <laughs> after 5. Was it? And he's, he's acknowledged the crowd. <laughs> what a great shot. Look at that replay. Petulia loving it. Getting her on her arches. Come on, my man, she says. Okay, just a bit of an update there from, from my mate Alan. Neil and Vainan continue their good form, winning straight sets. So that's our first quarter finalist, Neil and Vainan Pool. Neil Burke and Vainan Pool. They uh, aim to the quarterfinals. I know his mate Jeff Newcomb is busy listening in yeah. PE, so he'll be thrilled to know that Neil is through. Oh, Jeff, I uh, hope that ankle's getting better, Jeff. Yes, I saw him in PE and yeah. he was wearing a boot. I hope you're not kicking the dock too hard, my mate. Oh, games is finishing now. I can see Megan Ferreira coming off. Ah, there's a bit of support for Annika from Claire Pollard. Ah, there we go, shining for Annika, and she's opened up with a good one here. Great start. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that does happen. Apologies. And then, um, she opened up with an indifferent one. Was she correct? Oh, yeah. could will it come back? Change the hand. I wonder how they change the hand. She's been playing that so long. Well. I can never go. understand why skips do that. Well played, Petulia. You've been very solid. Been solid. I often find skips change a lead's hand, but yeah. it's uh, such a not a good tactic. Uh, I can stay on her hand, on her back hand. She's watching it intently. Uh, She's oh, she, no, she hasn't got the weight. Oh, Lovely line. Superb, eh? Well, came back to the centre point, yeah? Maybe the wind might have got that one. Just a little matter there to see up here. It all answered the question last end. Asking for a foot from the picture. Sepia, gonna sit, gonna sit. Well played, Sepia. What a great shot, mate. Jim. Lovely shot. Shots, yeah. Again, he's starting to find his range on that end now. Sitting, just struggle. Good weight, good weight. If he stalks it halfway down, and watches it. Great shot, Sepia. Good weight. Oh, Edel don't like it. Head dropped. One of the very few. Oh, just can't see. Yeah, uh, oh, he might it. get it. Oh. My. When he left his hand, he knew straight away, straight away, straight away, not far out, it's not far out, but he knew. Serpia, drawing for three, drawing for three, takes his time, gets it away, nice and smooth. 
Looking good. Yeah, well played, CFP. What a very good end. Keeps him, gets him back. Keeps him, yeah, gives him interest. Yeah, gets him back in the set at 7 5 after 6. The next two ends are important. Scala, Scala Cotso, right? Just looking at our That makes that section, a section with these two. That makes it a bit interesting. The Yorkies have pulled it back. It's one set all. And they got into a tiebreaker. Oh, wow. I think the winner of the tiebreaker will be the winner of the section. Is there a little upset on the card? Ah. I like the look of the Evans Thomas combination. Not really. But don't discount the, the, the war horse in Berkey and Vainant. Uh, <laughs> under the radar, I reckon. Get in front of this blue. Get in front of this blue. Crazy. Get in front of this blue. I can help you, Hans. Put him between front. That's good. Lovely start by Annika. Chula looks maybe a little heavy. Thanks for the comments, guys. Peter Cottrell, shout to the Bullam boys home. We hey, Cotty! We won't mention the wolves. Good response from uh, Petulia. Very good. Sean Waters, the exciting commentator, as you put it. Nick Rustling. Welcome, my friend. Annika, can she respond? Is she going to get a little wrong? Oh, Quiet. maybe Petula will now we'll change her hand. We'll have to change her. It's just too much against her on her, on her back end. So, yeah. There we go. Let's see, she hasn't played this hand, so let's see how she goes. There we go, yeah, puts it down, it's a decent line. Well, it's a big swinger. It's a big slow swinger, so let's have a look. She, she, well, she got the weight. She got the line, like you said. She what's just got the, the weight. What's the last three, four foot line? Oh, no. uh, good efforts. Good efforts. Nice, there we go, nice little high five from the opportunity. Loving their combination, I think they're a very good combination. Complement each other well. They play a bad shot. They say, don't worry, let's play the next one. I think I played a good end there. She's a bit unlucky, could have ridden her ball and got shot, but she just got it too square. Nicely set up. What would you play here if you were Sepia? Would you trundle into, um, into Annika's woods or would you try to draw? Well, Annika? he's going on the backhand. Yeah, he's going to trundle into a woods. I don't think that's a bad call. No. Can reach it on the draw. Muddy the waters a bit for yeah. Edwell. If he gets the gap, he sits it for three. If he gets off the ball, how close is he? Can he drop? Oh, he's running a bit. Can he drop? No, his he's weight's running. Good. His weight's good. I like that weight. Okay. And it will just... It will consolidate the situation. Line one, only one within the head. But Julian, not too far into the second. Turns that two rolls, he lies two. If he slips that, he draws it two. She likes it, I can hear her on the mic there. Oh so he's no, it's short. Has he got the weight? He's got the weight. Will he get across to block it? Mm. Uh, Makes it appear think of it. Makes it appear think of it. Has he got a bit more director? Oh, oh he's he has. Gone, he's gone Ooh. under the line. Was he looking for Petula's ball? Well, he said it for free, yeah. Look at that, and he said, you can see the disappointment in him. Yeah, yeah, I came off that one a little bit. Look where he's standing. Maybe a little bit of, uh, as Johnny, as uh, Eugene said, a bit of Johnny Wall. Jason Evans on the run on Rick Fee, burning it. 
Ah, this could be better weight from Ed Will. Could be, oh, is it going to hold the line? Well, he's got his wood. He hasn't got the weight. Okay. Not too hard. Eight, five, off to seven, two to go. Oh, very exciting. All to play for. Uh, going to do a little, maybe a little second set here. They might be going to a tiebreak. That makes that, that this section very exciting. Let's see what's happening. The Yorkies got the first end of the set. That, that's whoever wins that goes through, I think. So I don't have all the information in front of me. It will tap in, tap in, waiting for the jack. Oh, good throw, Petulia. Very good throw. There we are, Sean Thomas's crowds in. Shout out to Nemo. Well done. Here comes the tuna. Oh, just slightly running. Well done, mate. Not wasted there. I think that Petulia has done exceptionally well. It's that she's, um, you know, she's always been through with the first, which is a call attacking the jack. And she's had the, the, she's got the ability and the talent to adjust. And, uh, and it will have back in her ability. That she's just gone through two and a half, but she'll correct. But she's so happy, you know, she never stops smiling. So. Oh, I think she's done a, made a good correction here. She, uh, she, uh, she, uh, yes, she, Edwell likes it. Uh, she, yes, that's a great recovery. Great recovery, good leading, one in front, one behind. Look at that, look at that, happy, happy. Turn it in and got the squiggle. Very good. There's old Al in the background talking to Al. And the two Al's, Al Square. Is no, no, that's no. Uh, no, no, so no. Old age catching up to me. Nice. Can Anne get back? Can she get back? Can she get back? Can she get back? Ah, so receiving wood, not the worst one in town. Important end, I think the whoever wins the skipper, this end. Yeah, the skippers Matthewson need to score here to give themselves a chance. What's happening next door? I see Team Green has scored again, so that looks like they could be going to a tiebreak. It makes this exciting. I think they've just done enough. Uh, Skalakotsa and Rachel. Right, 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 right. So you, Claire, you like Nick's new word, trundle. I thought, Claire, we were seeing you today. Uh, I'm sure the Goodwood, the Goodwood crowd will be down tomorrow if Johnny Destroes is in the mix. He's uh, won the first set against Colleen, lost the second set, so whoever wins there goes through. No, Tom, Johnny Destroes is always knocking, always around. So come on, where's my mate Sebastian Rodriguez to call him home? Edward on the draw. Petulia's wood coming in. She's it's bending, it's bending, might, it's, bending well, it's bending, it's uh, bending. Oh, that, what a brilliant ball. Superb. It's totally solid. Solid, that's well said, Trish. He has been solid. You know, he's just converted, just saved when he need to. And it really gives a bit of a chance. He's forced Sierpia on the sand. He just says, oh my God, he's really good. Of course, Sierpe, also a very talented cyclist. All right, okay. Very important part of fitness in Malta. I heard you talking to somebody yesterday, excuse me, about how fit you need to be. You do, especially if you're playing top, top level, level. Top level. I mean, when I was at playing top level, which was many years ago, 
Oh, it wasn't that many years ago when we went to Wolfe's Bay. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes, I mean, we had, I mean, I was, I was in the gym three times a week on the green, five, six times a week. Like putting down 200 bars. Yeah, yeah. Just getting, getting our fat levels checked. Yeah, BMI. You know, it's, it, was, it was good. It's good. You have to play top level balls. You've got to be fit. Not just uh, mentally fit, but physically fit. I also mentioned the importance of stretching before a game. That's right. I mean, you know, you look at a professional golfer on the US PGA Tour, before he goes out on his round, he's hit already close on to three, four hundred balls. That's right. You know, and we bowlers, I mean, we just walk on and think we're going to, you know, yeah. produce. You know, it takes us five, six cents to get hit. Bit of a discussion point here, is he going to play uh, the, the backhand inside of air, slice the white foot for one or two, sit the wood for two? He's got options, he's got options. Yeah, it's not the easiest hand, but let's see. Discussion. I also mentioned yesterday how the Western Province Inter-District team always did stretching yeah. and well, they, those girls did so well coming home with the silver. Well there you go, you know, you, like you've got, you, you've got a bowling talent and, and you've also got the expertise in the field in, in, Cla in Claire, Claire Cohen. Cohen. Yeah. So let's utilise, you know, the Western Province can utilise that to, to, to forward the team. You know? Like I said, we've got, we've, got a, we've got three players um, in the green squad. We've got Alika in the gold squad. Yeah, so Western Province is definitely coming up on the ladies' side. And, uh, and the men uh, are so looking good. Uh, yeah, they'll be fooled by our results. We've got a lot of talent coming through. Julia tends to wear oh, a blo uh, solid colours. There we go. I like the yellow. It looks right, fantastic. Right. Look at the pink, the pink hair, and the pink body. And the hair, the hair. Like You've got to check the hair. Look at that. So oh, loving it. And Joan never wears two earrings the same. Oh, there but we go. They're both odd. Yeah, right. It's like some guys wear odd socks. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh Sip, he's obviously in two minds. You can tell he's a cyclist by his thighs. He's got very yeah, strong yeah, thighs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch what you say, girl. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. He represented South Africa as a junior. Wow. Mm. Very good. So, big discussion on the shot. And, and this is where the player who's got the wood has to make the call because he knows how he's feeling. So, let's say he's drawing to a ticky, he can call it. I'll draw it. If he's not finding a drawing, he's finding it with a running or mm. trundling way. This he has to make. Personally, I would make the call to say, I'm comfortable here. This is what I'm going to play. Walk down. I personally like it on this. The forehead. Yeah. The, the back end. Back end. Yeah. Up. Kitty, the bowl. Bowl, yeah. And if he, if he, he comes this way, he's got Petula's yeah. bowl, bowl coming in. Coming in. It's shot anyway, but yeah, he can, if he gets inside, oh. slices. Gets off to when he gets shot. Percentage shot is better. Yep, looks like he's committed to it. I like that call, Skip. Yep. I like that call. Yep, uh, sorry, it is. Yes, let me do apologize. I'm a lefty, so I'm, I do sometimes get it wrong. It is his backhand. He is going to his backhand. backhand yep. yeah, that's the shot. shot yep, that's it. Uh, it just depends how much weight is he going to. Is, is he winding up? It looks as though he is to me. Looking for the maximum. White in the box for one or two, both foots for one. Mm. See, let's have a look. Yeah, I think he's one. Oh, a bit sweaty. His palms are a bit sweaty. It's getting a bit warm in here. I'm a lot cooler than yesterday. Yeah, it was uh, it's, uh, uh, he's, yep, he's winding. He's winding. Let's see if we can. He's off the mat. He's close. He's got, he's got both. Oh, good show. Oh, still one down. Petulia's got the backwards. Oh, sorry, Petulia's playing with the Drake's Terrier, which is a popular. Oh, yeah. yes, I would think it would work very well in ball lumps. Yes, yes. Good hit. He was on target. Unlucky result. Could have got both woods. Could have got both woods, but he got the white. Petunia's got the back wood. That one could have taken it. So it's one down. Nine, five, mm -hmm. two to play. Let's have a look. Whoa, it's all happening on ring three. The Yorkies. One set all, one end all. Sean. Line. Jason on the run and he's missed, he's missed, he's missed. What does that mean? Yorkie walking down? Well, is you know. Alan's walking down. Alan oh, might be able to tell us. us. What's all happening there? Jason was close, he was having a little drive. 
I think the winner of that goes through, so two woods to go, and the Yorkies are looking good. Oh yes, look, we've got the Yorkies on, on the screen. screen. Yes, there we go. Lara's. Lara, standing. Sorry that we've just changed as they put down the jack. They keep it at their constant length. Watching SA is number one and watching a pro Let's see. Let's see. Let's put it down. Let you know what's happening with Oh, I don't think Laura likes it. She's Doesn't indicating like it. he's narrow. He's narrow. Oh, well, I don't know. It doesn't look very narrow to, to me. me. Oh, he's got the white. Oh, has he sold the shot? Has he sold the shot in the section? Yes, he has. And Laura giving him the glare. Ooh. That's close. Sean calling it close. Way. Doesn't uh, like it, shut down, wife gives him a real... <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't call it the divorce stakes for nothing. <laughs> uh, Anika opening up with a good one. Uh, oh, 35 centimetres. Petula consistently good, level weighted wood. Uh, Edward keeping on the hand, saying it's just meter wood. Keep an eye on that rink there with... Laura and Wayne. Having a good look. Jason, Sean having a little nap time. Why did Wayne York go close to the head? Let's see what Petula's doing. Oh, oh she's on a line. Oh. She's got the weight. Yes, Come on, quick, 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 quick. She's not far out, not far out. Oh, oh and she's nose is in. Yeah, she's in by a nose. Another good end from Petulia. Edward looking pensive. Let's have a look. Such a lovely smile. Uh, what's Anne doing? Oh, she's on a good line. She's, oh, she's gonna hunting run it, through. hunting it. Oh, okay, give it something back. Yeah. That's, that just shows, you know, she's thinking, yeah, can't be short, need to be attacking the white. And on ring two. Uh, ring two, that's also Oh, one. measuring, measuring. One set all, they've gone down to the measure. Yorkie measuring. Let's keep all our seven free state mates and Joburg pals in Columbia. Uh, will it come down to our umpire's measure for the section? One to away. Why did we go so close? And whoa, he's fine. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we oh. go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, unlucky Wayne, unlucky Laura. Ooh. Well done, Jace. Well done, Sean. Very good game. That's what we wanted. Uh, oh, look at Edward. Oh, brilliant, Edward. Oh, Edward. Edward, Edward. He's an absolute star this he game. Has. We haven't let them in one little bit. And the crowd appreciative of a very good draw. I see Kali van der Merwe walking off the green. I wonder yeah. what happened in that game. Yeah, Berkey will take them one the six. I'm sure they would have done a wrong at all, Kali. He's looking like a good spot. What's your Pierre doing? Oh, oh he's, he's got, got it. Has he? Yes, oh, brilliant. Oh, great, great shot. Sepia. That makes a little two. Okay, can. Oh, is he going to change his hand? Would he change his hand? I would keep him. No. I'd stay on the hand. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, I like that. I'll say, but you know, yeah, you yes. stand for him. Stay for him. Don't put him in two minds, but you know. Play up your hand, Edward. Play up your hand. Yes. I'll say, I'll go. Yeah, you spill that hand. Buy a buy a moi. No, I call my Afrikaans there. Yeah, he's stalking it. He's stalking it. He's on the trot. He's on the trot. Is he going to pin? Can he get back? Can he get back? Can you get back? Miss Wait. that? Oh, oh. maybe one of them. Got second shot. Well done. Very good call. I like that. Uh, I like the confidence. Yeah, tighter. Ty Ty you would have drawn the shot. Yes, Annika indicating they're only lying the one. one. They yeah. actually need a multiple. Yes, to yes to give himself a chance. Still got a chance if they get one here, or maybe if he can draw oh. bonus here a bit. Just get it out on the line and add the meter. Well, his line is good if he's added. Has he got the weight? No. He's looking good. He's think, running on. I think he's well yes. played. What a good answer. Good well done. Yeah. So that's 9-7. Two. Two. 
Very solid, very solid. Solid performance. Trish, you want to wrap up there for us? Well, what can I say? The Borlaug pair were just unbeatable. And as I said previously, they played the bowls and not the names. They could have gone into the game thinking they're playing two pro tiers, but they didn't. They've given themselves a chance to go through, but I don't, they might just lose it on net sets because Skalakotza and Rayson won the first set. I'm, I think that might have just got them through, but a very good performance from the Boilant pair. Yeah, just looks like the one. And I think a very, and I think a very good performance from Petula. She got three in her singles, lost in the last 16. That's a good performance. Performed well here again. So boating well for you, Trish. Great, great pair. Great pair. We'll be handing over to I think it's Alan that does the post-match. I've lost my schedule, so I do apologise. But we'll be handing over to the Green for comments from the players. Many thanks. When you're ready. Okay, I'm actually live on the TV rink, just waiting for Petula and Edwin to join me. They've just played against uh, Sierpia Matheson and Annika Skippers, two current international bowlers, South African national bowlers, and uh, I think even they would say uh, Petula. Edwin, even I, they would say, if they were honest, that you two put in a tremendous performance there. Yeah, we knew we had to bring our A game against them. And yeah, it was a very nice and enjoyable game. Yeah, thank you. Edwin? I, I must say now, Patila just made a comment to me now. She asked me, where was I yesterday? I've had two absolutely <laughs> yeah. terrible days on these greens, yeah. but I brought it now, so well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. fantastic. Well, you, are, you were live, you were on the TV. I know uh, <laughs> our commentators were getting very excited. We actually had to close the doors on Ooh. Nicholas making such a noise in Nicholas. <laughs> so, uh, well, fantastic. And I think we've just got to wait until that other game on the rink next door uh, to see what uh, Skull Kotzer and race with Kraywagen. Looking at that head over there, I think the two of you must be licking your lips. I mean, you shouldn't have a problem. You bowl four bowls inside of mm -hmm. those, those bowls, yeah, yeah. the way you play. <laughs> Today, yes. Yesterday, oh yeah. Well, that's, that's bowls, isn't it? Yeah. True, true. That's, that's what the, the game is about. On the day, yeah. Petula, uh, to you two, keep it going. Well done. And uh, take it all the way, man. Get to the final. Oh, Thanks, we'd everybody. love to. Okay. Keep it going, guys. <laughs> well bowled. Thanks, really Thanks. well bowled. Thanks Thank very you. much.
go allows my focus. Just seen the rain. I saw the bubble was. Uh... Ah, now we're at the business end of, of the tournament, quarterfinals of the pairs. Um, wonderful to see a relatively unknown pair, Angela, known to the Western Province crowd. Um, you and Glyn did very well in the Western Province mixed pairs, carried your good form through. Um, now, uh, you know, there's a good prize on offer, your, your feelings going into the game? I always love an opportunity and relish an opportunity to give the boys a run for their money. And I'll leave it at that. Glenn, a bit of a swallow, you know, playing up north, now playing for Goodwood. Um, how are you finding the conditions? Wind's getting up. Do you think that's going to work in your advantage? Well, you know, I think being from yesterday, the day before, um, it's it's not too bad. It's actually, this rink is better than I thought it would be. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it and uh, hopefully hoping for the best, you know. Fantastic. The two of you play well and enjoy. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. And again, we've got a yeah, good, good combination in tennis and, and Warren. Warren enjoying Cape Town because you did well in the pairs last year. You runner up in the singles. Um, give me your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, close. Uh, our opposition are playing well. I, I had a game against Angela in the singles. And uh, I watched their morning game. Um, yeah, they're handy. And what do you think about the wind? How, how will that affect you? You know, you're not used to this wind it's not a brilliant wind but it's blustery yeah it doesn't really bother me you know you just got to pick your line and then it must do what it must do tennis international player you know you're accustomed to these conditions playing well um give me your thoughts well i think um we're going to have a good game i watched also their game they were playing next to us um they played old peel harvey the guys that won it last year and yeah they they put them out and yeah so i think we're gonna have a good game here Okay, guys, enjoy. Good, good luck and good bowling. Thank you. Thank you. Over to the commentary team of Johan Duplessis and Eugene Ferreira. Thank you, Mr. Nick Russling. Yeah, Johan. Uh, two locals, uh, Auckland recently became a local in Cape Town. Uh, the pair of uh, Angela and Glenn from Guru Bowling Club. Glenn also plays out of Kempton Park. Yeah, I think they. I've watched a couple of their games. They uh, Angela was was pretty good and uh, made made it a lot easier for Glenn. Yeah, I think uh, Eugene. I think um, Angela is gonna have a tough opponent in uh, Warren Warren Stein. Uh, knows this TV rink well. Um, formidable front ranker, solid. Uh, so she's up against it. Oh, Warren, uh, also very accustomed to this t television rink. 
has been on it a couple of times uh, this weekend and also last year. So yeah, I think his nerves will just be a little bit calmer. Absolutely. Now the session uh, a little bit more simmered in the commentary box. Oh, Warrenstein also still in the singles. Okay, quarterfinals to be played this afternoon, Johan, if I'm correct. Yeah. So, um, Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas are defending PEAR's qualifying champions from the last PBA, previous PBA uh, event that went through to Potter's Resort. Very desperately unlucky. Um, unfortunately, they peeled the last, the last set. Um, to only earn a half a point, so they went down by half a point. Um, yes, yeah, so they they out. Well, that just shows that the, the field is quite strong. Um, even the the new teams that got in this year. Uh, Across the board, pairs and singles, almost each and every section has gone down to the wire. A lot of tiebreakers, close in the points. Hardly been any runaways. Yeah, for sure. A little bit of a loose start here, Johan, in this uh, first uh, couple of opening balls. Well, both players with a, win with a slight win, the uh, northwesterly, they'll be searching for line and weight. Yeah, it's a, it's pre it's a very rare win uh, to you don't normally get this wind at this direction. Yeah, yes. This direction. It's normally a southwester, isn't it? Southeaster, more than a southwester. Sorry, yeah. southeaster, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cape Town, we more often than not have the southeaster blowing. Yeah. And um, as you can see, that's not, uh, that's not the Warren stain that we know. It's early days, though. Oh, he's also just come off uh, the sea green. It's a, a dead faster than this, so maybe just still need to adjust the through the first couple 100%. of ends. Yeah, as I said earlier, you are not, uh, not going to be as as uh, hyped up as old Nick Rustling. He sounds like an IPL commentator. <laughs> um, I'm sure the the viewers love love the action that he brings to the commentary uh, booth. Yeah, I've seen, I've read one or two uh, remarks, comments. Uh, some have said that he's missed his. True occupation is uh, should have uh, should have been a commentator, not far wrong. Um, yeah, he's energetic, he's explosive, um, but you know, um, one needs that in um, in commentary for ex especially in the game of bowls. And uh, even above that, um, you know, the points that he makes, even with great excitement and so on, he knows the game. Um, so that so they're good calls. Yes, no good comments. Definitely, and he just just adds a little bit of excitement. You know, I've referred to him as an IPL commentator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long levers. I think he plays with a quantum. Really close, yeah. Yeah. Nice, spot on. Oh, it's a great ball there from Tinas, getting a shot. Um, it's, it's Warrenstein playing with the era groove, um, Tinas with a quantum, and then uh, Angela Wolf also with the Z scoop, the era groove, and uh, Glenn Fury in Cape Town, we know him as Fricky, but yeah, he's playing with a Drake Sprite professional. Just on that, uh, on the delivery action of um, Tinas, uh, makes me think of many years ago. Uh, back in Johannesburg, when we had our PBA qualifiers, um, we had two spots, run, winner and runner-up, and um, Tina and I uh, went over uh, as winner and runner-up. And uh, it was uh, Tina was still a baby in the game, uh, junior coming up the ranks. But yes, with that delivery, uh, Potters wasn't made for him. Yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment. I think he was there. Uh, uh, he's been back uh, once or twice. Back, yeah, two years ago. Him and the Chilean Young. He said his, sec he said his second time around was uh, a bit, bit easier. Yes. Angelo opting to play this, and we've 
you have seen the, the better quality balls being played on that end uh, throughout the morning, Johan. Um, it remains to be seen if that will be the case uh, throughout this afternoon session. I think it's slightly quicker. Yes, no, for sure. It's just a, it's a little bit tighter. Yes. Um, it certainly holds with weight. We saw yes. that this morning in the Pairs game with Mark where he was playing all, you know, a couple of times when he attacked. Uh, even with the Protea, he was, uh, he was yeah. caught hanging. I see up there in the previous game as well. He just, he, when he added that yard of weight, he, he just couldn't get the ball to come back off the line. Needs to go with it, she's not. No. Plus with the total opposites from the first end, one is sticking in close and Angela just uh, missing the line and the length a bit. Uh, it's early days, but uh, if I have to do a little prediction, I think Warren will settle down far quicker with his experience and the time that he spent on the rink. I agree with you 100% there, on um, there are some juicy quarterfinal matches happening. Uh, it's all down on one green now. The uh, other two greens have been cleared, so all the action from here on in will be on this uh, live stream green, which is the B green at Durbanville Bowling Club. On ring two, the quarterfinal, Johan. Let's walk us through that one. Well, we've got um, Reinhard Poel and uh, and his daddy Neil Burkett against Stoffel Lambrecht and um, Fred Boerta from from Boerland, from Robertson. A little bit of a Boerland tussle in uh, in that yeah. uh, that game. Yeah. Listen, Stoffel is an all season campaigner, but yep. uh, Burkett uh, Burkett styles up. Um, they've had uh, two good wins, playing good balls, so they're up against it. And on the ring three, you've got an old, old Cape Town tussle, I believe. It's uh, the local boykies from Goodwood, uh, Johnny D'Souza and Kevin Smith, up against Herman Eisman and uh, our loudmouth uh, co bowler from Goodwood. Uh, there he is, Andre Eisman with a sh uh, with a green uh, shirt. Yeah, that'll be a game full of action. Knowing Johnny D'Souza. Yeah. What is his nickname? Jawal, call him Jawal or Jawal. <laughs> Wouldn't say why, but uh, yeah. And then uh, also a great tussle in the far far corner there, Johan. You can see it, uh, yes, from your position. Jason Evans uh, versus Skull Kotzer. Um, Mr. Bowles leading for Jason Evans. Sean Thomas. That's it. There yeah. he is. And then uh, Raceford Kraybacher. Raceford Kraybacher Rice, leading for Skull Kotzer. Jason, a bit, uh, little bit fortunate to get uh, through his game against Laura and Wayne York. Um, they went into a tiebreaker. I think it was um, televised. Well, once uh, the Laura piece. on the what are you, one each in the tiebreaker. Laura's ball right on top of the jack, and unfortunately Wayne. Had an extra yard away, pushed the jack back uh, to Sean's back bowls, and um, the two of them fancied themselves on a measure. So um, Jason left to play his last ball. Very fortunate. Uh, that's how it goes. Sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them yeah. in that fashion. You know. I think I would have opted to throw that ball. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> Wayne will be Wayne will uh, uh, Yorkie will be terribly disappointed. Yeah, and to the viewers, uh, you also want to say keep your comments coming in. Uh, two more exciting sessions ahead of us. This game just started. Um, Tinas Ulofsen and Warren Stein taking a, a comfortable lead in the, after the second end. 3 0 up. As predicted, um, Warren has settled down nicely now after an iffy start. Yeah, you can Spain. see on your screens here the flags and stuff. Do you think the wind's going to have a bit of an effect this afternoon? So it's getting up to about 30, 35 k's an hour. Yeah, too great well, if it does pick up, you'll know better than, uh, yeah, that's fantastic bowling. Yeah, we can't true. emphasize the fact how important your lead is in this format. It, uh, oh, two bold pairs. You can't hide. Oh. Early on aggression there from Angela. <laughs> Is that what you guys coach him at Goodwood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We teach him to, to, to have a have a proper run like the men. 
and they also have Anakis Anakis Kippers as a as their mentor when it comes to the women at Goodwood. Well, Eugene, I get so nervous when they have a run because of my trophies here on the left or our trophies <laughs> on the left. And now you got yeah. Tinas Olofsson too. That's got quite a big hit on him. Yeah. Let's hope to just keep it close to the to the draw, close Absolutely. to the ditch. <laughs> It's comforting as a skip when your lead sticks in close like that. You can, you sort of playing with no pressure. You're playing for position. Uh, Puts you in a slight relaxed mode, which is important. So we saw that in a previous game when Pachula found that hand oh, and she just how well nailed it. Play? How well did they play? Yeah, you know, under the pump a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, one putting a lot of pressure on him. I find it quite interesting that uh, Tina's st stuck to that end. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want to fat in the target. So Just if I could mention Tina Skolovs' name, if I may, uh, Eugene. You know, a lot of people forget that um, um, Tina's was actually the initial instigator of, of the revival of the PBA. Um, him and... Um, I'm not sure who else was sort of um, holding the fort in Johannesburg with the PBA. Um, he went over two years ago, uh, not qualifying, but he was basically the only member. Went over, obviously enjoyed the experience, but uh, he obviously uh, accepted the fact that things had to change. There had to be uh, a qualifying uh, event such as this. Um, so he initiated the, the discussions between himself and myself and, um, and here we are, a year and a half later, uh, yes. and all seems well, so kudos to Tina Sulusa. Yeah, but you mean yourself also, Johan, I mean, he could have spoken to you and you said, no, not much so, but you guys got it off the, off the ground and I think us as the players and the spectators and we were happy that you, you got it going, so yeah, thank you to you, you both, the both of you. Um, yeah, well, look, the... The love for the PBA obviously originated with, as I said earlier, the two of us going down, qualifying for the World International or the Singles International at, uh, at Potters, the World Championships, uh, uh, which is not surprising. I mean, you, you go there as a player, you come back, you're just super excited about everything about the PBA. So it was a no-brainer just to get it uh, kick-started again. I think it's a, it creates a different atmosphere, a different way of thinking for you as a player if you, if you go there on... And uh, obviously that's what got you guys excited about this. Look, and if I can just emphasize it again, you know, even with all those fantastic thoughts and ideas and dreams, nothing is possible without a, a sponsor. And uh, once again, to the Fair Tree Investment Group, um, thank you, thank you so much for your input and your sponsorship. It's, um, I'm sure it's appreciated uh, all over uh, the world, in our bowling community, and, and long may it last. And the ISP uh, talks of uh, starting a couple of other things and I'm pretty sure Fetri will just continue to grow and, and, and be more involved. That's a little Fetri logo there. You see the branding all around the greens. Um, so yeah, us as bowlers, whoever's watching, even if you're not a bowler, please give them a shot and see what they can do for you. I'm sure we've met their, their friendly staff all weekend round and um, they will be happy to assist you in any way that they possibly can. Having a chat to Lombard from Fairtree, you know, it's not a, it's not a, the, the decision for them sponsoring this tournament is not based on, on e economics and financial um, figures. It's for the passion and the growth of the game. Different, different strategy and, and, and yeah. actually one we would appreciate more because they do it for the love of the sport. 100% and uh, that love grew even stronger with the uh, attendance of the, uh, of this year's, um, singles event at Potter's Resort, which they were invited to. Uh, and they were obviously super impressed with what they saw. They've generated more excitement. And um, yes, long way to continue. <coughs> anyway, back to the game. Martinez with his long levers, his one shot down. He's opting to have a bit of a, a run at the jack, yeah? 
Trophies are safe, it was not a full go. Trophies are safe, I just don't know where the jack is. He saw it it's bounce um, up in the air there. It's 12, 10 inches off the off, off Look the at bowl. the replay, you'll see the jack pop up in the air right in front of us. Yeah, oh, Tina's making a, a good couple of shots there. Actually played it well because he got the jack and then Angela's backward as well. So, looks like they're holding four. Oh, what an effort by Glenn. That's a super ball there That's by Glenn. Second shot. Right, so the men in red take a commanding lead of uh, six shots to uh, zero after four. Oh, run out of the other matches uh, if you can you a better angle to see the scores there you are. Yeah, well, it's still it's early days that they basically all played one end. Uh, Fred Buerta, uh and the Stoffel has taken a well, they won up after one. Um, on rink number three, um, it looks like um, Johnny's Johnny's trailing by two shots to nil. To Hadman and uh, on the very far side, Jason Evans has taken a two shot to love lead. Avaskala Kotsa. Avaskala Kotsa, correct. Oh, interesting comment coming through from Adams Hotchie. He says, uh, I'm sure he's referring to uh, Tina's delivery. It reminds him of Neil Scott's delivery. Uh, I don't know specifically what you're alluding to, but yeah, quite interesting comment there. Gail Stein says Warren Stein bowling so well, and indeed, yes, uh, once again starts up, uh, opens up with a cracker there. Warren Stein will um, certainly cherish uh, this. Um Time spent on the TV ring. Yes. Looking forward to the singles, uh, Eugene. You know, if he progresses to get you yep. to, uh, you know, to the real the playoff stages. I believe they're going to move the ring back to the original starting point uh, of Friday. Day one. Yeah. They've moved it three times, so yeah, uh, the fourth day will be back to the original position, which is more or less where the red part of this. Of the scoreboard is which will bring the swing back into it a little bit more yep. am i right yeah. the yes no, for sure tina's looking very good yeah is he gonna get down yeah it's good enough yeah. for second tina's and warren just seems to be uh, setting into their rhythm a bit a bit quicker than uh, glenn and angela here that will just uh, hold with that bit of weight you know, it's also tough here, uh, Angela and Glenn haven't been paying a lot of attention to the TV rink as such. You know, maybe just stopping to have a look at how the balls are running. Um, may, so not, maybe not knowing that they would end up there, but surely yeah. throughout you could pick up that uh, the opposite end to the ditch. Uh, yeah. was the end that just doesn't come back if you have that little bit of extra pace. Well, they're just out of sort at the moment, uh, but, you know, again... With this format of play, uh, even if they're off to a scratchy start, the format of play having the um, game consisting of the best of three sets, yeah. um, if they can get through the set, restart um, themselves for the, on the second set, um, and and pull it off, they're back in the game. Yeah. Oh, so a little bit of a nervy start there for for Angela and Glenn. Uh, not to suspect that they just seem to be battling to. To get uh, anywhere close to the the balls they played this morning, um, just out of sorts at the moment. But as I said, you know they they might just bounce back, or hopefully they will just make it more attractive to our viewers. Yeah. And as you all know, like we explained yesterday, is when we get to this stage of the tournament, um, the set does not need to be completed. As we get a little bit of a view of the spectators on the balcony here, it's lovely to see. Uh, 
I think if uh, Angela and Glenn don't score this, and I can't see that she is reaching the end of the set. Ball there by Angela. Reach it up against Warren's ball there. Warren just sticking on this on this end, you know, he, she, he wants to get into a rhythm. Just just under the line, but his weight's so good. He's playing with a revolution, isn't he? No, I think Warren's Warren's a uh, era groove. Uh, it's the era groove. I believe it's era groove. And sorry, Tina Zulus is not playing with a quantum. He's playing with a revolution. Um, just to correct myself on that. Angela down on a decent line again. Yeah, you know, all about good weight. It's oh. fine. Making two shots there. Like I said, they need to score here, Johan. Otherwise, we won't see the end of the set. We wouldn't see the ninth end of the set at least. Funny game this, you know, if uh, Glenn happens to nail two shots close to the jack and they pick up a four, no, they're, they're not it's completely out of it. And uh, it's all to play for once again. So whether Tinas is going to allow that to happen, that, uh, it's another story. Yeah, you can see by the players' shirts and the trophy table now, the winners uh, actually picked up uh, quite severely. So yeah, it's be interesting to see um, what effect that has on the rest of this game? Needs a bit of help. Not getting it. No, here's an opportunity here. Yeah. A little four and a three, you two behind, and all of a sudden the sits up for grabs again. Glenn also done on a decent track here. It's all about good weight. It's in the area. Needs to sit the ball. Oh, right, that's three. In the count. Right. So here's the first bit of pressure that's uh, really been on Tinas. Let's see how it responds. A small little correction on weight, I think. Uh, he get down quite nicely. Seems to be under, is he? Oh, he's he's missed, uh, missed that line completely. Right. Opportunity. Opportunity to make your words come to you, uh, Joran. Uh, Glenn doesn't like it out of the hand. By the looks of his, uh, he's certainly not too far away. Good enough for four, Eugene, I believe. No. No. Yes. Oh, I think that might be four. But there we go, Jan. It's exactly as you said. Well, you know, even if it, if it is four, it's nine, four after six. Uh, it gives them a sniff, but I still do believe that, um, uh, you know, with Warren's experience uh, and the way this game is uh, going on, that. Um, uh, they'll still find it tough to get up on the set. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we saw a brilliant comeback on this ring this morning from Neil Burger and Vainant against uh, Mark Bears Challenge. Oh, wasn't that marvellous? Yes, 8-0 down and they got back to win that first set and uh, they uh, hammered, Mark, hammered them in the, that second set. Mark and Kelly were out of the starting blocks, house on fire. Um, problem there for Neil, as I said to you, you know, you know, as well as I do, Neil needs balls and need to play his type of game. Yeah. Wasn't getting it from Vainant. And when that changed, when Vainant um, got going, it was race over. Yeah, Vainant started sticking them close. And uh, that just brought uh, uh, Burgett into his element. Oh, these, are the, these are the kind of balls that you... Well, that's what I'm saying, you know, even though they got a three there, you see it's three and not four. I don't believe they're playing well enough to pull the set back. Oh, there's only three shots there. Yeah. Yeah, so this this might even happen to be the to the last end of the set. Depending on uh, You say the wind's wheels. playing a big factor in those two balls. What's your take? I, I would uh, the wind's picked up a little bit now. I mean you can see by the flags and the the banners around the green yarn. Um, fine. We'll surely play around with the weight because you have us. You're playing into into the wind and with the wind. So yeah, it's 
you can see the little wind shock there um, it, it's at Durbanville to play in front of this clubhouse is actually better if you have the southeaster because it kind of blocks out the southeaster but now the northwesterly is straight down in the faces and behind the backs of the players so it's um, it makes it a bit difficult with weight control Eugene, as a, an experienced seasoned campaigner, under conditions like this, when you're leads batting for weight and line, what sort of length would you be calling them on? If you had, uh, if you had the call on the length, I think you'd, you'd probably go. Uh, th you'd keep the mat back and go to about a three-quarter end. You know, you don't want to get it too close to the dish and make them think too much about the weight. You just want them to come. 27, 29 meters. 27, 29 meters. So get them to just stick it in that magic circle. Um, but yeah, just, this format's uh, this format's uh, it's it's tough when you when you're not finding it. So yeah, you've played in the Western Cape most of your career, if not your whole career. Um, if you've got a crosswind, do you go do you go the narrow line or the wide line with the wind. I would say it depends on the on the green uh, per se. But we normally say in Cape Town if the wind's blowing across. Uh, if you get onto the narrow end and you can dominate that end, you'll probably dominate the game because the swinger in the wind becomes becomes quite tough because the just Even gets behind will be more the accurate, ball, yeah. But, yeah. but trickier, yeah. especially on the weight. It's fine if you have a, a steady wind blowing, but if there's gusts, you definitely opt to play the, the narrow end. Oh, Glenn coming down with decent weight, yeah, that's a super ball from Glenn there. Under these conditions, that, uh, that sort of distance from the jack is uh, it's countable. Yeah, definitely. Johan, I think uh, this set is crucial that Angela and, and Glenn just try and, and get some sort of a rhythm going here at the, it, towards the end of this, this first set and, uh, uh, you know, get the mindset ready for the second yeah. set. I think Tinas has just drawn the shot. Seems to be pretty close. Uh, I fancy tennis from here. Yeah, Angela. They, they call me all cars and Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. It's quite deceiving on the camera, on the uh, TV screen, isn't it? Eugene? It is from here, yeah, from this angle on the TV screen. It looks like the blue ball. Uh, and uh, what's also interesting is Angela. Angela favoured uh, that ball, and one of them she was gonna. I'll see the shot. Come on, have a bet with me. I'll lay you, I'll lay you even money. Your no, ball. One to one. One to one. Your ball, which is my ball. The blue ball. You. No, it's definitely not the blue ball. Angela. <laughs> Angela clearly showed that she favoured the, the opponent's balls. <laughs> you spotted that. Uh, what a good. Uh, what <laughs> a good. I was going to make a quick back from you. Yep. You can try doing that in arm wrestling, maybe. I don't know. We've been there before. <laughs> Took money off you. Very confusing to some. Oh. Didn't know the story behind the story. <laughs> a little bit of a. When I say you had me under pressure there, you Hollywood. Oh, you, you distracted me. Thank heavens there's a bit of Steven Spielberg in your veins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the ring, too, we've got, uh, while they're measuring here, just give you an update Neil Berger taking a 6 1 lead uh, in, uh, after four ends in that first set. Uh, I can't see that as cool, but Johan, you will have to update Jason us. Evans uh, against Carl Cortes has taken up a commanding lead of eight shots to one after four. Um, and in the game between uh, Herman Heisharman and uh, Johnny De Sousa, uh, Herman's on five, and it seems like two. Johnny's on two after four. Oh, so a couple of interesting runaways here in the first set um, you might find that uh, it might just be the other way around come the second set oh that's a great start from uh, Warren that section of Herman Aysom and then that's uh, obviously a section that Jerry Baker and and uh, them were in and Jillian as well it, it was so, so what a finish to that section um, both the games went down to a last end uh, or to a tiebreaker and uh, the person who was third in the section could have actually won that section if uh, Herman and them lost that last end of that uh, tiebreaker. 
Great yep. supply from Angela. Super Bowl there. You at the um, at the opening function uh, with this year's PBA, and um, how did he enjoy Warren Stein's um, interview with um, Alan Loftus about yeah. his experience at Edinburgh at the yeah, uh, Scottish Open International? Yeah, it was lovely to, to to sit down and listen to to his experience, and you know, he says he's he's come back with even with even more enthusiasm and more confidence as to try and win this uh, to win it, so that he can get the he stick it to Potter's resort. Um, but yeah, he went to the Scottish Open and his comments was uh, superb, yeah. Well, um, he's got a ticket to both the uh, the peers and the singles at, at this stage. Wouldn't that be marvellous to, to be able to compete in both? Yes, that would be some... And to go with a friend of yours. Yeah, and uh, uh, obviously what would make it uh, quite nice for him or... But that would be his favourite. Tinas has been there, so yes. Tinas would know what to do. And yes, and yeah. you know, not quite the same for Warren, but I mean, he did. He was on that blue carpet, um, portable surface as well, just a different setting. Yeah. Tinas playing a cracker there, just pulling the whites for two. You see, you see Tinas. He'll be up for it. Animation there. As the ball came down. Oh. Oh. Right a polka. Look, is actually quite accurate at, the, the, at these little runners, you know, we Looks play like against it, yeah. him quite often at Kudud and he, he loves playing these shots. I think that's now he's, he's, he's got a nice little shot in here. Yeah, this ball of seems to be a pretty good. Needs a piece of it, he's got it. Wonderful response. Great shot there. Oh, interesting, you think uh, that uh, Glenn will try and um, play another little weighted shot to try and get that bowl of tennis? I Is think so. The result um, if he gets his own bowl. Has he got second though? I'm not sure. No, it looks like the blue this time will be in second. I think he'll just um, he'll be playing with a sort of a positive draw, you know, just over the draw, find the blue bowl, sit the sh shot bowl. So he's coming down with fair good feeling. If he gets down from that line, he's very close, but just again on that end, that extra oh, weight that just holds it. Bit, yeah. Sits on that well, track. I think that basically wraps up the set. Yeah, I'm sure we'll go straight into the second set from here. 11 shots to 3 after 8, yeah. Okay. Well, so that's pretty much, uh, that's the end of that set. Uh, Tina Ulofsson and Wallenstein, they've got... Uh, one foot in the one foot in the semi-finals. It's it's about getting that other foot over the line. So on rink number three, Elman Isaman has taken a seven-two lead over Johnny De Sousa and uh, Jason Evans and Sean Thomas eight-three up against Kalk Kotsa. Uh, Boki and his son seven-one up as well there after five. And his son. Yeah. <laughs> They only met a couple of years ago, but they seem to get on like a house on fire, the two of them. stop saying that, father and son. You know, Andre's going to start, uh, he'll, 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 he'll start finding uh, himself a little bit confused in the family tree. <laughs> where, he, where he actually belongs, because I don't think he refers to Neil as Opa. Well, yeah, uh, if, I had to, if I had to pick uh, as a bowler to have a uh, grandfather like Neil Burkett, I would have taken it any day. Uh, so I don't think Andrew will be too too worried about that. Absolutely. Wonder what Andrew's up to. I think uh, he's watching. Uh, hopefully he'll uh, be watching. He's watching. He's not looking for Easter eggs in the garden. No, no. There ain't any. Andrew, let us know if you would like to call uh, Neil Burkett Opa there. If you're watching and you're with us. Oh, keep the comments coming in guys please it's, uh, we sh have a fair amount of viewers online and uh, yeah let's interact a little bit I know you guys just want to watch the balls but it's lovely to interact with our viewers it uh, just makes our experience as commentators much 
more pleasurable and enjoyable. Oh, Jerry Baker and Lombard Barnard having a little bit of a, a little bit of a chat. Lombard explaining him how this game works. So I think uh, he's learning. Jerry's learning. Um, Eugene, just looking at the uh, the rest of the green, the other rings. If I look at the uh, the bowls, the wind's definitely playing a factor here. So it's um, uh, you know you the odd bowl close to the jack with a few bowls couple of yards away so it's tricky up there no doubt yeah, i looked at it it said it said that the wind will start uh, dying down by uh half past three around about there so let's see how accurate that prediction is it make for good viewing in the singles in the singles quarterfinals next up here i believe would be um colleen picket oh, no, and, and and kevin smith so um that should be a great game you know, you've got a seasoned campaigner, world star in um, Colleen, but you've got Kevin with a home crowd, knows yeah. the conditions. He's obviously played on this rink uh, many, many times. It's been his home club. Um, could be a could be a thriller. <coughs> exactly that. So, from last year's quarter semi finalist uh, in the pairs, who have we still got left in this field that actually played in the semi finals last year? I know. Are you uh, aware? I know if Warren, I think, was in the semis, wasn't he? He was with Jason. Um, lost in the semis. The both of them are still in. Um, Sean Thomas, I'm not quite sure. I don't think he. He was in the semis, um, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I need the two of them then. Um, you can definitely see the winds blowing. You can see the banners down the side of the rink. Uh, have to be adjusted uh, every now and then, the wind blowing it around. Hey, old Richie Craddock. The logistics, uh, for everybody who doesn't know, that's the logistical manager of PBA South Africa. He does all the logistics. Sorts out all the banners and the kind of sterling job. I mean, the yeah. decoration inside the clubhouse, uh, mimicking the uh, uh, Potters Resort with all the superstars. What a fantastic aesthetic um, setup they have there. Makes yeah. you makes you feel like you you, you know you're at Potters Resort. No, we says we said we will try and get a camera throughout the club just to show. What it uh, looks like. Um, we, still, we still haven't got there. Actually, that, sure they did that film shoot last year, so with yeah. Jason Parkinson. So I think um, Pal's just going to do a little bit of a replay on that video take. Oh yeah, okay, that would be that'd be great to show the people that didn't see what it looks like. Another addition to the aesthetics of the clubhouse is the uh, acquisition of the. Um, shop. A question for coming through for you here, uh, Johan um, Clinton Root say, Johan, who has done the best on the blue from South Africa? Uh, Clinton, thanks for putting me on the spot, pal. Uh, you know, I was out of it for a couple of years uh, since I left the PBA um, in Johannesburg. But I would say possibly Craig Remington. Um, he most definitely had more uh, shots at the PBA than anybody else. Um, I speak under correction, but um, uh, I think he's um, progressed the furthest um, uh, in the rounds at, at, at Potters, both in the singles and the pairs. Um, Bobby, I, I know Bobby Donnelly um, also progressed to um, one or two rounds. No, I, was, I was fortunate to beat uh, the world number two at my first outing, you Duff. Uh, lost to Robert Will in the second round. So it's, it's tough. It's tough. Bobby will tell you, it's tough to, you know, if you happen to flick uh, 
uh, a game, it's, it just gets t- tough and tough and it's all about, and it doesn't really matter who you play, any one of those top 10 or 12, they're equally good. I mean, uh, you know, this year Wayne Roberts um, um, playing Stuart Anderson was a particularly tough yep. um, draw. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, and, and with that particular draw against Stuart, it, um, it, it is relevant because Stuart Anderson was just sublime. I think he got the, the bad end of the, the stick there, getting that, uh, well. Yeah, as, well as, you know, as well as Alex Marshall played, and Alex really played unbelievable stuff. Stuart is just relentless, especially with those first two balls. Yeah. And that was a comment that um, Marshall made after the game. He just said he knew that he had to beat uh, Stewart's first two balls to stand him any sort of a chance. Oh, no, it is, uh, and those are interesting comments. It is. You know, one often says your first ball, your second ball is important, but uh, there's a different mindset. In mm-hmm. saying, uh, Especially if it comes from the former world number one. There you are. 100%. Tati is his name, but you know that uh, second spot silver medalist. Um, Puts Alex Marshall back in the top 12, uh, where he belongs. Yeah, very slipped, out of, slipped out of contention with his pot- participation in the Australian League. Yeah, another comment coming through from Shame. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Shame on FX. Well done, your and team. This is the tournament that sets the pace on every aspect. Um, Thank you very much for that comment there. Uh, I'm sure Johan will also appreciate. Clinton Rich says, hello, Fig Jam. Do you know who that might be? Is that Kevin Peterson, the cricketer? <laughs> Clinton, I get why you play. Um, yep. Actually, just Fig Clinton, you don't have to ask me. The, the jam is not important. Yep, I'm not going to spell out what that means for uh, sensory purposes and I'm sure there's a lot around a lot of you around in the bowls world that knows exactly what that means <laughs> just me why they say that anyway. I don't know it might be a true story or not, I don't know we like telling true stories <laughs> visuals don't lie <laughs> never does <laughs> what you see is what you get, pal. Yeah. Right. So, actually, uh, Angela and Glenn. Yeah, let's get back to the game. Taking, uh, taking the lead here in the second set. And certainly, uh, Glenn, after that uh, brilliant end in the last end of the sec of the first set, he's actually played a couple of good ones. Maybe, maybe she's just worked this rink out uh, a bit better. Missed the line there completely though. Yeah, great weight though. Oh, um, on ring two there, just to give you a quick rundown, Burkett has now only a two shot lead after seven ends, so Stoffel and Fred fighting back there. As well as next door, the score was similar, 7-2, seven, 7-3, seven, um, with uh, Herman, um, and they are now um, only up 7-5 to Johnny D'Souza after 7. Jason Evans up 9-5 after 7. Oh, so Angela and uh, Glenn are holding one shot here. Uh, it's a little bit of pressure there on Tinas. Not that close shot ball, but mm-hmm. under these conditions, um, Pretty much so it's got, got a got chance. Got it's got a chance. Cut that out for you. This is sort of the. This is sort of a good line, Johan. It's just you have to have perfect weight, and you just get that little drop towards the weight. I just think he's played it under, under the weight there. Fancy Tina's to get close here. Yeah. No. It's quite quick on the mat there compared to uh, some of his other deliveries. Um, His weight's good. No, just Can you get inside? Down. I think you will. No. I fancy that to be the shot. Yeah, Angela indicating that the shot down. So Tina's managed to get the shot there. 
run down on a decent line again here, Johan. He, if he has his quite with that long leverage run, he's got such a nice and smooth delivery. Um, it's beautiful to watch. Uh, you know, that, that tall, lengthy, everything is smooth and in line. Um, I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, Louis Westhazen's uh, golf swing, but, but pretty nice to watch. Oh, that sort of delivery it depends a lot to, uh, on his on his rhythm on the day. And if that, with that sort of delivery, if your rhythm yeah. is not on on the day, you can you can find yourself scratching. Um, and it boils yeah. down to spending time on the rink, you know, if, uh, on the practice green. If you if you put in those uh, hour and a bit every uh, three four times a week, you can keep that rhythm going quite easily. That's unlike us. I don't think it's as, as good as our deliveries, you want. especially well, on the forehand. Let me just. <laughs> So I'll go there. <laughs> now, just to get back to Mr. Clinton Ritz, he, you know, when he was in his heyday, when he winning the SA Masters, etc., he had one of the best deliveries in my opinion um, that, that, that came along. And I would have loved to have seen Clinton on the indoor rink in his heyday. Not that he's uh, past his very best. He might make a bit of a comeback at some stage in his career. But um, he had a delivery that was suited to both indoor and outdoor. It was super yeah. smooth. So steady, slow, and uh, everything just yeah. working together. Um, we are fortunate enough to play against him a couple of times. Him and his brother both actually have quite, quite nice and steady deliveries. His brother just, well, last year becoming a pro tier bowler. So Warren just needs to adjust that weight by a meter or so. See the concentration in his eyes. I think he's just overplayed it a little bit. The weight. So you can't really see if he's concentrating behind that glasses. Oh, oh she's doing the shot, is she? Yeah. Just about. Yeah. Clint's indicated one, two, then. That's a similar scenario to the previous emptiness. They're having to get his first ball closer, the shot down. And, uh, only this format, how many chances? Uh, do you think, uh, as, a, as, a, as a lead in the opposing team, I think as a lead you should say, I want to go, I want to, I want my skip to go up to the mat, holding shot, probably 90% of the time, um, if not 100%, but I mean, that, that's what you try and do as a lead in this format of the game. Well, you certainly want to dominate, I wouldn't say as much as 90%, but a, a, a fair high percentage, um, which will get you over the line. No doubt. You see very few shots being played by back records. You know, um, conversion shots. It's basically draw, draw, draw. You see the odd, uh, the odd runner drop. here and there. Yeah. But uh, not as much as in a normal game of pairs. Give us one down. Can just pull the shot. He's close. He's close. He wants to run on. He's done that. Great shot from Dennis. What a wonderful effort. I'm going to give you this question to answer. I'll read it to you, Johan. From Kursuri. Hi guys, we've got an indoor, have we got an indoor venue in South Africa? Reason for asking is that the winners have the opportunity to play at Potters. Uh, 
and that is a level on its own. Uh, you can elaborate on that for John. Well, that's a good question to, uh, to answer you. Yes, we have got an indoor venue in South Africa. There's one in Midstream. It's a three-rink indoor centre at the Midstream Old Age Home or Retirement um, uh, Estate Village. Uh, it's, it's of international standard. It was installed by uh, a European company. It's uh, to the highest standards. And in fact, um, we had a camp there not so long ago, uh, our South African bowl side, and Neil Burkett uh, was present as the as the head coach, and he was uh, came back with um, uh, high imp impressions of uh, of that of that drink. He said it's certainly of, of high quality. Um, but having said so, um, so it's fantastic to have that, and it will help us with our preparations for certain tournaments, whether it's indoor, outdoor, in the future. And it's, it'll always be available, I believe, for for, for us to use. Um, but uh, you know, going to Potter's Resort, that portable rink, it's very different, um, different to the midstream, etc. Um, this year we had Wayne Roberts that went up as our our winner, uh, our qualifier for the World Indoor, and he was fortunate enough to spend a week ahead of the tournament at an indoor venue, not the one at Potter's. I think it was Bristol, and uh, Wayne, in his own words, explained to me that it, even though it did assist him, um, it's not quite the same. Yeah. Therefore, um, brings you back to Angela having a little bit of a run here. Uh, just, just miss. Therefore, back to the discussion that our qualifiers just need a bit of extra time once they get to Potter's Resort. Um, Peter Harvey coming back from the pairs with Kevin Douglas just said, "Oh, you know, if I just, I just had another day or so um, on that drink, it could have made a difference." Yeah, for sure. You know, if you're not used to something and you don't have it available in your, in your own country, you know, uh, it's, it's crucial to, to get a bit more time, you know, so you just can set clear on those a little bit. Spoke about the format change maybe uh, being a possibility of of uh, changing it up a little bit, but, yeah. You know, I think they definitely need a, almost uh, something similar to what they have, say, at the Masters, uh, golf Masters, where they have a practice day or a or three day. They should have a qualifier day or two, where the qualifiers from all over the world actually qualify amongst themselves and the top, say, two or three goes through, it'll just give them that extra day or two on the rink. Um, even this year, Eugene, the top seeded players, um, took a bit of time for them to adjust because of the change of, um, of the surface, uh, not so much the, the blue woven carpet surface, but they did change the underlay and it just played a little bit differently. Yep. For sure, uh, especially that inside line as opposed to the outside line. The outside line uh, was just running on a bit quicker. Yep, Glenn uh, on target here. Oh, I think he's taken the side ball out. I think it's still two or three shots, even with that uh, accurate little hit there. Just getting that ball on uh, onto Angela's uh, side ball there. So. Boys from Goodwood aren't scared to have a go. <laughs> I think they watch too much of you. Not uh, very much a, a driving player, any driving or attacking bowler anymore. I've learned throughout my career that uh, this game is uh, one on the draw. Those big runs is for when you're in real big trouble and uh, you need to to clear out some debris there. Ronnie, um, I see you've commented that midstream have got two, according to me it's three. Uh, I stand to be corrected, but I'm uh, pretty sure it's three. Yeah, it's three rings, but it's yeah. uh, Lani, uh, just to get uh, clarity. We went there, is, there is two rings, but you can set it up to have a center ring. So right. it's, it's actually two rings, but yeah. It can play as a three ring. Thanks for those uh, comments, uh, Sammy Struthers. Yeah, it looks like Warren and Tiles uh, scored a multiple here. And, uh, I don't know if we're in the head yeah, See the scoreboard at the back there is still on uh, three ends. I don't know if the wind might have blown over or not. 
Yeah, I'll say it in every broadcast and every session, please guys, if uh, you want to see end by end uh, scoring, there's uh, the Clubmaster app that you can go and download just to, to, to keep up with the live scores as it goes end by end. We have a dedicated Fair 3 uh, staff member sitting behind the rinks uh, updating the scores as they go along end by end, uh, which is a, a nice new innovation. Um, let's uh, pop up on screen go and follow that link and uh, and then get your app and be sure to keep up with everything that's going on in real time so just to give an update Jason Evans has taken the first set against uh, Skull Kotsa Herman Heysalman has taken the first set against Johnny D'Souza and uh, Neil Burkett and son Van Ampoel took the first set from Stoffel and um, Fred Witter. So all three are early into this, into the second set, so we'll give you a, an update a little bit later. Yeah, as we go along. I get down with good, Angela down with a good weight there, just missing the line. Interesting, I think uh, they might have gotten their predictions wrong. I think it looks like the winds just simmer down quite quite, quite a bit. Uh, the flag in the far corner you can see still waving yes. quite a bit. But the looks on the player shirts on this television on the streaming rink here, that's just like some sort of simmer down a bit. It's that way, Eugene. It's better from Angela there. Here's the socket. I don't know what's, uh, it seems to be we have a, a very big difference between the, the live score on the stream and the official scoreboard on the rink. Um, it says you're in, into the sixth end, according to that scoreboard we are into the fifth end. So I'm not quite sure what is the, what is the difference. Taking into consideration they didn't play the last thing of the first set. Short and six. Coming this way. Well, once again, uh, great ball there from uh, Tinas. Tinas has been able to convert almost uh, every end if they were shot down. So Eugene, I think the um, the first prize is uh, twelve thousand. It's gone up by two thousand. Um, for the winners of the pairs, and then in addition to that, it's um, two air tickets, visas paid, accommodation, um, food, uh, accommodation. and um, I think six fifty or seven fifty euros, pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically, just appearance fee. Appearance, getting onto getting onto that drink. Mm -hmm. And they after it accumulates to quite a bit of money if you can happen to put it off. Yeah, so on the onset, as, as you as you heard the prize money, it's, it's for the viewers who don't know, it's, it doesn't seem big prize money, but if you take into account the air tickets and the opportunity to go and play in those tournaments, um, that's what it's about. Uh, that equates to a lot more and possibly could equate to a million uh, rand if you were happen to be lucky and win the 50,000 quid. Well, over and above the money, you, you, uh, you, you uh, accumulate your points, Thank get onto the, onto the world stage. That's what makes it tricky, you know, if, even if you go there and you do well, you need to get back there in the following year to yeah. give yourself a chance. Look what happened to Alex Marshall, the great Alex Marshall missing out on one Potter's event, uh, dropping out of the top. 12, top 14, top 16, top 16. 
So one's got to keep knocking on the door. It's, uh, it's very tricky. I mean, uh, to come here at our qualifying event and to win it um, in succession is, is hard enough as it is. Yep, that's true. So it's, it's a tricky situation, but you know what? It's opportunities. Um, and just even myself as a selector, um, witnessing, seeing some of the players uh, playing out here, it's, it's more time, it's uh, afforded to us as selectors, see how people are performing and what sort of form they are. All good for the game. <coughs> yeah, it's just, I've actually got an interesting question to ask you on, on that point of the ranking system. And, um, in your opinion, do you think we'll ever have a player that, that, that plays on that uh, on the pro circuit regularly? Uh, do you think we'll have a player that, that you know, would, would get up into the rankings as I as a top 16? PBA rankings, world rankings. Oh, well, the PBA rankings, uh, to play, to automatically qualify to play at the Potters Resort in the World Champion, in the Indoor Championships? It's possible. Um, it's possible that, that we have a a new star in the near future that could do that. But at the moment, I think, um, you know, it's um, it's sort of quite even out there. There's, there's nobody really that's standing out to super, superstars uh, compared to others. There's no Jerry Baker on his own or Renil Burkett. There's a few good players, very good players. Uh, they're all still fighting it out for top, not top honours, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's just uh, it's just interesting to, to, to think of it yeah. of us having a player there that we can support year in year out, someone but that becomes one of those superstars. We're going to make that judgment and to breed one of those true champions. We need more international exposure. We need to see our top guys performing against the top players in the world. Yeah. Uh, the Aaron Sheriff to see how good they are for them. They themselves also to build up their own confidence. Unfortunately, at this stage, it's not happening. Um, I know Bowl South Africa is working hard. Um, and um, let's hope for the best. Okay, I'm opting to go with a little bit of weight again, yeah? He's going to get down on that line. Oh, that doesn't want that ball. This uh, also now starting to get away from him. It looks like it's another three shots, so two or three shots there. Um, to Tinas and Warren. Let's just see if the marker uh, corrects the scoreboard there. Uh, there's uh, certainly something. Yeah, there, there we go, there we go. The scoreboard's corrected. And, uh, Three uh, shots indeed to um, Warren Stein and Tina Solosa. Takes the score to 10 2 after 7. Yeah, now very interesting to see if Angela and uh, Glenn can get back here. This is uh, the second loss in, so the losers in it. Uh, Pretty much the ocean dream's gone for the pairs. Yeah. Um, Good on, on ring two, Eugene uh, Stoffel Lambrecht has taken a lead of three shots to null in the second set against Neil Burkett. And Herman Aysalman, after winning that first set, is off to a fly in the uh, second set. He's at five shots to null uh, against Johnny De Sousa, off to three. And on the far side, Jason Evans is locked up at two all after winning the first yep. set. There we go. That's uh, nice to see. That's two all. That's uh, Jason's in. There, Jason just coming into picture. Oh, and I guess Kepa's on the uh, on the bank there. And my beautiful wife Megan. Oh, my nice wife sitting to the left of your screen there. People enjoying a little ice cold. Uh, yeah, I was a cold glass of wine, enjoying the, the action that we have in front of us here at the Dermot Bowling Club. Exactly. Yes, Angela playing a cracker there. Yeah, I'm just looking down at the comments, you missed that great shot there, I'm sure we'll have a replay. Great ball from Angela. 
Chris um, made a comment there that he would like to see this event playing being played. Chris, for he, uh, to see this event being played on the indoor surface, similar to Potter's uh, result. Yes, Chris, you're quite right. We've all been hoping for something uh, like that. Uh, there's been a lot of talk in the past uh, about a indoor facility. Nothing besides um, the stream has come about. Uh, but let's hold thumbs. Um, it's, um, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Yeah. But um, it's, an, it's an expensive exercise. When might take, uh, take a lot of, a long time. It might be within the next couple of years. I know Fetri's Adre and Lombard is uh, uh, very enthusiastic about the futures and they have uh, big plans. So yeah, maybe we might even get to a place where we get uh, from the quarterfinals onwards being played on on a artificial indoor surface. Oh, on the carpet, yeah. On the carpet, so yeah, it's it's it's, it's in progress, John. Uh, Eugene, you know, just setting up that indoor centre, you, you certainly want to have a look at international standards. So uh, all your ingredients, your surface, your subfloor needs to be uh, imported at the rate of exchange, which makes it expensive. That's the game, they're shaking hands. Warren Stein, Tinas also progresses through to the next round. They could well be on their way to Potter's Resort. Um, beginning of next year, 5th of January, I believe the uh, tournament will start again. Gives them a lot of time to prepare, whoever's the winners of the pairs here. Yeah, that wraps it up for this uh, first, uh, well, the quarterfinal rounds of the uh, pairs. Um, uh, our victors there, Warren Stein and uh, Tina Zulofse. Uh, just uh, stand by for the post-match interview with the two of them. Let's see how excited they are getting to the semi-finals. And that's all from us, uh, from the commentary team for this uh, session. We'll be back with you uh, in a short moment when we have the quarterfinals of the singles. Thank you and see you later. Thanks, Eugene. Till later. I'll stand this side. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm sure that you'll all agree what a fantastic performance, world-class performance there. I think I'll start with you, Tennis. I think you could wrap this up and take it home with you. Uh, yeah, I just found that uh, back end and going away from the water forehand, um, it was just, uh, yeah, it was just, I had the feel yeah. and it just, just went for us. Yeah. And that little wind backing the bowl, coming down, I don't think I can put it more softly down like I did. So. Yeah. Very unusual for Cape Town to have greens of this speed. I'm sure you enjoyed them though. You must be used to it coming from the north. Yes, uh, now that I'm in Eden, uh, this is much quicker than Eden, yeah. so, but this is very nice. Uh, it's almost like Potters. Uh, you can just put it down and you know it's coming back. And you had experience at Potters a couple of years ago? Yes, yeah. I'm I've sure been there must, three times. And, oh, uh, you must be looking forward to going back again. Yes, yeah, I would like to go back. Well, well done. Thank you. Warren, yes, sir. You must love Cape Town, mate. Eh? Uh, it's growing on me quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, okay, a little bit of wind today, but you didn't seem to bother you. You got a feel for it. Yeah, the tailwind back uh, in this direction uh, kept catching me a bit. I was going through a yard or so, um, and then a few loose ends in that direction, depending on the position of the mat and jack. But otherwise, uh, not, not no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not 100% sure because obviously the other three games are still in progress. Um, Semi-final, next game, one game at a time? One at a time, he's the boss. <laughs> I do what he says. Yeah, one, one game at a time and uh, yeah, just to my partner, well done, um, let's keep going. Well, well done to both of you, congratulations. You. Good luck in the semis. Thanks very much.
You to our first round of uh, it's a quarterfinal match singles uh, between Colleen's uh, Picketh and local boy Kevin Smith. Um, Colleen, uh, first of all, put hand, your hands together for one of the great ambassadors of South African bowls for many, many years. Shall I start again? Yeah, yeah, please do. Just drop that down there. Okay. Sorry, we'll have to start again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, will do. Right, good afternoon viewers from uh, all over the world uh, and our local viewers here in South Africa. We welcome to the Green uh, for a quarterfinal match uh, between Colleen Picketh and uh, Kevin Smith. Um, yes, Colleen... Uh, Colleen, one of the great ambassadors of uh, South African bowls, uh, great player, great record over the last couple of years. How are you feeling going into this game, Colleen? Yeah, I think I'm, I feel like I'm in a good space at the moment. Um, bowls coming out good, go, com, coming out smoothly. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just uh, got to adapt to the circumstances, the, the conditions, and um, yeah. Colleen, you've played all over the world. However, you've never played at uh, Potters, no. I believe, under the PBA, so this is one step forward towards that, or uh, would you love to have an opportunity at the World Indoor? Absolutely, that's definitely my aim, <laughs> to uh, at least get to Potters. It's, it looks like such an amazing venue, and yeah, what an opportunity to play against the world's best. Colleen, I've sort of been following you throughout the last couple of days, and it seems like your game is just getting better and better as you've progressed. Um, how do you think the wind's going to affect your performance today and how tricky is it going to be? Yeah, I think it's, wind is not, oh, what did the, uh, Steve Glasson always say, you know, make the wind your friend. Absolutely. So, um, <laughs> you know, um, and you've just got to, yeah, consider it and, but not make it a focus. Yeah. Um, I remember that discussion you and I had about going to Australia uh, under windy conditions with the Australian coaches put, uh, putting on fans yeah. to create that environment of the wind yeah. and the little notes that uh, the great Steve Grasson sent you about yeah. make the wind your friend. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Colleen, have a great game. Thank you very much. Giving you the best. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Kevin, when you're ready. <clears throat> Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've had a nice little run. You uh, you were in a bit of a humdinger with Jason Evans. Uh, for, you were in a fortunate position that you just needed I got very a lucky. half a point or a point, and you managed to do that. Yep. Um, that sneaked you into the final. Yep. Congratulations on that. That's an epic win. Yeah. And, well, points and, collector. And now I get a chance to play uh, Colleen. Well, well you know, uh, you've had a... A pairs game next door, so I think you've acquainted yourself well with the wind. It's hometown for you. You've got the benefit of the crowd probably behind you. Yeah. Um, so I think it's all systems go, even though you're up against one of the truly greats of the game. And one of the nicest people in bowls, quite honestly. So uh, absolute privilege to play Blaise, Jason and Colleen. Uh, on my home ground on a weekend like this, uh, I'll take a lot of memories away from this weekend. Kevin, before you go, as a ex-top golfer, what would you say is trickier, playing in the, in, uh, in the wind, in uh, uh, golf or bowls? Which one of the two would be more trickier, would you say? Uh, I think golf can be a real bugger in the wind. So, But we've just experienced a really difficult crosswind over there and it affects certain bowls a lot more than others. So I think uh, some of the Goodwood guys might be changing their bowls soon. Jerry Baker might get a call from them. Uh, it seems like you're playing with the Aero Groove, is that correct? I've changed to uh, Quantum uh, recently, about two weeks ago. Same, same sort of line, quite honestly, but I just thought on the speeds that we're having here this weekend, uh, I could play a bowl that was supposedly slightly tighter, but it's, it's performing well and very similar to what I had. It'll be interesting to see how they compare to the Tiger Pros under these conditions. But anyway, yeah. Kevin, everything of the best. Thank you, Jan. Hope to see you later. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. Thanks, Johan, for the pre-match introductory. Quite interesting, Alan. Yeah. Um, Kevin Smith changing to the quantum. Um, 
a tighter bowl. Um, he's fought this through. Um, very interesting. Uh, hence him doing so well. He just unfortunately lost in the quarterfinal of the Bears with his partner Johnny De Souza. But you know he's racking up uh, points here. Yeah? yeah. Now Kevin's had a very good tournament. Um, him and Johnny did very well. They just or um, well, Johnny's teammates they lost to. Uh, Herman and Zandre um, was a ding dong battle, um, but congratulations to the two boys from Goodwood, yeah. and I'm sure we're in for a, a very exciting game. And they're off on the first end. Yeah, Turf. Well, as we watch the first end, we'll just give you the semi finalists in the pairs. That is Zandre Hasselman and Herman Heysamen from Goodwood. Um, we, our live game, you saw Tinnis and Warren playing some good stuff. Uh, Jason Evans and Sean Thomas, the boys from JBA, through. And then um, and Stoffel and Fred are there again. Unbelievable upset. I mean, Stoffel, Mr. Cool. I mean, I've always said over the years, um, having played Stoffel, played with Stoffel, if I want to put a ball in somebody's hand under pressure, I'll give it to Stoffel. He, he just ambles along, no pressure, yeah. and on those uh, tiebreaker ends, he played two phenomenal ends. Cool, really played well. Cool, cool hand, Luke. Slow mm. hand, Luke, as yeah. I call him. You know, nothing phasing. Tomorrow yeah. is another day. Yeah, Strandall's day. Getting a good back rub here from my mate, Johan. <laughs> good interview, Johan. Thanks for that. So the quarterfinals matchup uh, littered with provincial and pro tier players. On ring two, we've got an ah, interesting one. ex pro chair in Wayne York playing a relatively new bowler in 30 hours. Been playing five years, making him a bit of a name down here in the Cape. Great he's, thought. He's a bit of a, um, bit of a uh, you know, it's a bit of my, one of my projects. Taught him early in his career, taught him the basics. And then the, uh, the uh, ring three, that's going to be a humdinger. It's Matthews Puri versus the crowd favourite, Jerry, Jerry the Baker Man. I think that's going to be a ripper to watch. That's going to be a great game. And then on ring four, cool. we've got Warren Stain versus... Help me out here, Al. Can you see who that is? Can't see through the curtain, mate. Can't, can't see through. Quite a big, quite a big like, sorry for my... Um, well, I'll get it just now. You one will tell me. So... Ring four, who's, your, who's uh, Warren Stain playing? Oh, it's Garth Waite. Garth Waite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Sorry, Garth. Yeah. Haven't been introduced to you, so I do apologise. So there, great four, great quarterfinals. In the business end, um, give us a little, give us a little bit to who you're going to put your money on. A prediction? Yeah. Come on, we haven't had it yet. A prediction? Um, look, certainly on this rink, you would, uh, you would have to uh, back Colleen with her experience um, over many years playing under pressure. Uh, as you mentioned early on, Kevin, rel relatively new to the game. I've got to know Kevin quite well in his um, in the short career that he's had, but he's already got through to the provincial setup. Um, he's moved from front rank in our senior side to, uh, to back rank. So he looks like a Mr. Cool also. Nothing seems to fame Kevin, face Kevin. I mean, when I've spoken to him, and I said to him, come on, Kevin, you're up against some uh, top players here. One bowl at a time, Alan. That's all he says, one bowl at a time. Yeah, no, like I said to you yeah. in, in, in his introduction, he's thought about this. He's playing with the quantum, so he's playing inside the tricky lines. Um, has a bit of experience on rink one when he was televised yesterday in an uh, all-time classic against South number one. So, and Colleen playing with the Tiger Prey. So look as they're rolling up, uh, just having a look there. Matthews is lying one on the first end, or uh, Marcus Shane two. And the marker, is that the marker being this being Audrey? Looks like he's doing a bit of work. He's been tired sitting around when he's <laughs> getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, once again, <clears throat> thank you so much to Fairtree, our sponsors. Audrey uh, being part and parcel of Fairtree with his brother Lombard. I think they're getting away with something here. We were supposed to kick off and go straight into the game, yeah. so somebody made a decision to have a couple of trial ends. Uh, look, uh, some interesting decisions. Yeah. 
We'll rectify that. I'm sure you don't want to watch them trialing. Yeah, no, that's all you need. Action. Get into the game. Yeah, get into the game. So uh, we have we have sort of sorted that out out after day one. Day two ran smoothly, and I think day three was fine. Now they've now they've gone into trial in, so just be patient if you are watching. Maybe the maybe of Kevin Kevin being involved in you know in yep. every session. I think they have to be fair to him. True, and that just tells you what what a great tournament Kevin's at. Now the question comes in: Does his fitness start playing? Is he fit? This will tell you know if you're getting into a tight game. Will his mm. fitness play play yeah. with him? Is yeah. he fit? You know. Like I said, he's a good golfer, and I was, and I was talking, he's also a very good bridge player. Oh, okay. So, Didn't know that. yeah, there we go. Cool. A little bit of trivia on him. And you, um, I mean, Nick, you've been playing for many years. Um, you know, you look at the psychological side of the game, you look at the fitness side of the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know to you it's, it's of great importance. Um, I think psychologically, both of these guys will be, both these players will be fine. Um, yeah, look, I mean, there's a bowls fitness also, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. So after you've played the game long enough, um, I'm sure the Colin thing, just... The, the yeah. thing is, yeah, both players are talented. It's yeah. who, can, who, who can outmaster who? Yeah. Who can make the one, make the wrong decision at the wrong time? Yeah. Um, you've, you've tipped to Colleen yeah. one year. I think maybe her green management, game management, just get it through on this one, mm -hmm. but like I say, I think Kevin's got a trick up his sleeve with playing with a quantum. Yeah. He's he's thought about this uh, carefully, uh, so don't discount him. Uh, not at all. I, I'm tipping Colin, but I certainly wouldn't put money on the game. It's 50-50. Yeah. Um, and overall, who do, do you fancy for the title? Um, you wouldn't have to look further than somebody like Colleen if she does get through this game. Um, you know, there's a lot of good games out there. Um, Warren Stain still involved, uh, last year's runner-up. I'm going to go for a little bit of a, a... I'll go a little bit. Um, I think Matthews Matthew's Matthews Petty, nothing wrong. Certainly when he was on the TV ring playing the yeah. other day, um, yesterday he was outstanding. Yeah. Really put in a great performance. Yeah. Playing, the, playing the old master himself, Jerry, the fan's favourite. Yeah. Sure, fans would love to see Jerry in the semi. I think that might pack him in six deep tomorrow. But I don't know if he was, you know, he did well in the Masters when he was in Cape Town, lost in the final. Yes, yeah, he's got, you know, got that good, good, good feel factor. Yeah. yeah. He was lying at quite a few, and Jerry got out of it. He got the shot though, as we watch Colleen play the first one. Yes, yeah, she's a bit, it's a bit short. It's a bit short. Yep, yeah, just that meter. Let's see, let's see, here we go, Kev on the slow bender, yeah. but he can play inside those lines. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Might do a little bit of, a, again, might do a little bit of video analysis on the two deliveries so we can talk it through to the viewers, you know, let them get our understanding. Uh, Kevin, I Very good up. start, yeah. Very good start, yeah. Look at that. Well, uh, like run, a little, good start. Runs, little surgeon's touch, eh? Runs by a little yeah. bit, but very but, good start. But yeah. look, but look at the flatter line that Quantum's got, you know. If, he was yeah. playing with a groove or a pro, he would have bent, bent on, away. onto the white. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Colleen sticking to her hands, you know, that's uh, just got to get around her and add half the, she'll be good, and she has. Looks good. Yeah, she has. Gets she onto the dry crunch. stuff. No, it's a good one. Uh, it looks like it's the shot. Uh, let's, see if we, let's see if we've got a knowledgeable crowd in this afternoon. <laughs> well, we'll make it, let's, uh, we'll up the ante a bit to get you out of your Sunday lunch slumber. Gail, Gail, Gail. Welcome, Gail Stain. Thanks for commenting. Go, Colleen. Do what you do best. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Nick. No, hundred percent. Oh, we want those comments. Comments yeah. coming in thick and fast makes it more exciting. Yes, there was one a bit earlier on. Do we have an indoor facility in South Africa? Not, not to my knowledge. Madrand, I think there's. Madrand, one. two yeah. rinker. That's yeah. very good. But uh, a full site like they got in England, six rings. No, we don't. Maybe a little shout out to Steve Palfreman of Western Province Cricket. He's the president of the whole club. So maybe they could uh, build us a facility there. Oh, that would be great. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Colleen just sliding through with a third. Kevin being a bit negative with his second. Oh, I like this line. I like this line, Alan. But has he overcorrected? He's overcorrected. I think it's more his weight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's overcorrected. Okay. Battling to find the, the weight. Yeah, settling, not settling. Yeah. 
it's taking a time. It's taking a time. Yeah, you know, Good with some problems, yeah, you could add that to that magnificent facility. Oh, it's a beautiful facility with some problems. Cricket club. Colleen, That's line two, ball. early doors. Great ball. Early doors, line two, asking the question. Now, that would certainly help, um, you know, the PBA when it comes to um, whoever qualifies and needs to go, has to go overseas yeah. to play on the indoor surfaces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a problem. We haven't got a surface. Oh, uh, Kev, what? Uh, Kev, 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 not good Kev. start from Kevin. No, a bit nervous there. Yeah, it's fine. First in, two. Looks, Looks like, like two. Yeah. yeah. After we're, uh, after opening a good one. Yeah, you know yeah. we could you know Western Province could extend their clubhouse into an indoor onto Green A and then have the B as an outdoor and the Green C and D could possibly be Padel Court. Yeah, that's uh, pie in the sky, you know, visionary, but you never know if you don't put it out there, plant the seed. Yeah. You know, imagine if you had that in was indoor facility, the South African team could come practice there. If they have to prepare to go to Australia or New Zealand where the greens are running faster, you could maybe get your players going to potters to come practice there, you know, fly them in, maybe let them get used to some sort of thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. the possibilities are endless. Yeah, we definitely need a facility like that. Especially down here in the Cape Jan. I would not say up north so much because your weather is the best in the world. You know, you have very little wind. Um, your winters aren't brutally cold as it could get down here. You know, we have rain and snow and all that. So it's, um, it's an opportunity to go indoors, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe Glenn could possibly look at something. Well, I know they are. They, they're really doing a, a from what, what I can understand, having spoken to Grant uh, Wrightford, they, they're going to be making big changes at oh. the Glen. So let's wait and see. Let's, let's, maybe they, yeah, can maybe they can come up with something. You know, um, that Western Seaboard, yeah, this, you know, uh, Jeff Giant. Come on, Jeff. Hey, have a good opening here. Well Come done, on, Kevin. well done, Kevin. That's better. He's got logos. Looks like two cherries. Hey, on his woods, Colleen, uh, staying down, falling through. Kevin Smith, uh, his profession is a dentist. So let's see if he can extract another pro chair out of the tournament. He's done one already. <laughs> yeah, well said, Nick. So, yeah, asking the question. Very good weight, just keeps that good weight, make the natural natural adjustment. Right, looks like he's on a good line again, Al. Very good line. I think his weight's better. Well played, Kevin. Well played, Smith. Kevin, that's a good Kevin start. Smith, yeah, that's a good oh, start. And the appreciative crowd clapping. Oh. Clapping. Yeah, oh, there's my mates from Millerton. Paul McKeeman and John Casey. I saw them in the crowd earlier, having a little matter with them, enjoying it. Definitely okay. better bank today than yeah. it was I yesterday. Think it'll so be, I think it will be fantastic. Huge crowd tomorrow. If uh, Herman, Herman and uh, Herman Heysalman and uh, yeah. Sandra Heysalman are in, you'll get the Goodwood the crowd Goodwood. coming. Oh, the whole Goodwood crowd will be Come on, we'll get Sebastian Rodriguez to bring his crowd down. We'll have a lot of fun. Kevin holding two. Just missing the line. You change? No, he hasn't changed. Oh, yeah, he's no. changed. Why did he change? Why, 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 why? Do you think that could be a bit in it? Yeah, inexperienced, inexperience maybe. What's I mean, you played two. You played two. Two great gift. balls. Yeah. Kevin uh, Smith. Unfortunate. Is that in the cut? Cole, yeah. you'll just settle down. Just do what she does. If it goes. Now let's have a look at this. Now that's the line Kevin was playing. Yeah. And I think she's got good weight here. Yeah, she, 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 she she's onto it. He let her. He let her in. He let her in. He should have kept it. There Absolutely. And played exactly the same shot. Would have been line for yeah. the crackers. He would have. If he played Colleen shot, he would have been. Yeah. You know, no look targets. At, look at that beautiful, great weight. You know, she. Yeah. You know, it was just. Ah, uh, she slipped. She would have got close to second. Mm. Now there we go. Oh, he's on a good line. He's on a good line. Has he over pushed it? Has he added? Oh, good yeah. effort. Good effort. Yeah, yeah I think that's yeah. a bit of a bit of a mistake, a bit of a err on Kevin's side, but that's how we learn. Let's have a look. Crowd going, there we go. No response from the crowd. Oh, there we go. Maggie getting her hands together. There we go. No, one to Colleen. Early doors, 2-0 after two. 
Yeah, that was uh, definitely a case of just a little bit of inexperience here, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know yeah. Alan, you're, um, you're an extremely good singles player over the years. You know, I've played singles and you know, we learned that why change your hands? And yeah. the South African coach, Tim Fraser, taught me, he says, why do you change your hand? Yeah. You've got to change the line, got to change the weight. You know the weight, you know yeah. the line, stay on it. Yeah. You know, okay, yeah. we won't pop on about it too much. No, well, well, we do. I mean, we tell that, you know. I say, I say to, uh, especially the youngsters at our club, you know, I say, unless you absolutely have to, don't change your hand. Yeah. There's no need for it, especially yeah. in a game of singles. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we found on this rink, I mean, we were... This rink this year is playing so much better than last year. Yes. You know, last year, in fact, we had the, the club outside of the green. Yeah. Um, was a bigger swinger yep. and the other side you had to get your line 100% right if you were slightly in the duct if you're yep. slightly wider it held so uh, this year the, it's definitely a whole lot better but don't change there we go there you oh, go Kevin's opening his opening yeah. balls have been very good very good that's yeah. a very good one yeah making Colleen play to a blind yeah. white just yeah. to correct the white missed the line missed the white asking the question how far now, how far is she short? Uh, Kevin also needs to get on the board. He wants to get on the board. He wants to, uh, yeah, just it's a feel, it's just a feel good. Just get on the board and makes you feel a hell of a lot better. It's almost like when you're playing cricket and you're sitting on zero or 99 and you want to get to 100, a bit of pressure. There, here we have, let's have a look at Colleen's delivery. Look at that, it's solid. Now, very little body yeah. movement, yeah. head doesn't move, it's yeah. all arm, arm coming through to the point. Yeah. Very good techniques, won her many medals, uh, Masters and internationally, Commonwealth gold medalist. So a very good technique, um, that's why it's, and us I like Cherry, very simple, yeah. but easy on the eye. Right? Yeah, it's, it's very much, um, what I like about that delivery, it's the planting of the foot, steadying everything, and then the delivery comes yes. through. There's just that slight stagger. Yes. And uh, once again, newer bowlers at the club, you know, I say to them, uh, Plant yourself and then make a delivery. Great ball, yeah, if she can. Yeah. Oh, she's just responding. It could be. Is it? Could Isn't be, it? Could be, could be. Let's have a look. Oh, Derek Keeley, marker. Derek's having a Derek look. Having a good look. He's not too. Oh, one to red. One to red. Yeah. So Kevin's still Kevin alive. Yeah. Can, he get it, can he get on the board? And when he, if he does get on the board, what length is he going to play? Is he going to keep it? Short, is he going to go T to T? Is he going to pull the mat? You've been watching him a bit this week. What what did he do against Jason? Oh, good line again for that quantum. I didn't happen to see. Oh, don't get the. Oh, oh that's okay. Played. It'll uh, work well. Played. Well yeah. done. Well, yeah, I didn't happen to see it. You know, in the commentary team, unfortunately, Nick, most of the time you spent either on the microphone or you're watching the game on, yeah. on the TV rink because you've you've got to go for a post match yeah. and you need to focus on that. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't get around as much as I would like. What uh, shot do you think Colleen would play here? Do you think she'll do a trundle down, box the white for one? It's set up nicely. A little maybe, bit of a backhand. Yeah. Maybe on the backhand. backhand. Yeah, she gets half yeah. and half. She gets both. Let's see. I think she's going to play attacking. It looks good on the attacking. Yeah, I think she's on a fair line. No, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And the crowd oh, groaning gosh. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> And all of them are sitting there saying, ah, oh, for goodness sake, I could there, have played that shot. There's DJ Quibbers, he was on the tunes last night, a couple of sore heads I heard this morning. And Herman. And Herman. Herman's uh, up there. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. been down here for a little while playing in the disabled oh, games. Oh, well played, yes. Yeah, yeah. very oh, good. good. Well, well, well done. Looks like, Kevin took our, looks like Kevin took our advice. He looks to the crowd and gives a nod of appreciation. He's looking at his coach maybe saying, yeah, there we go. Very good, well played, Kev. There we go, there's DJ Quervis. He was on the change last night. Uh, there's Herman, there's Herman getting up off his up. chair. Uh, very well known in the uh, disabled, disabled games. games. Yeah, yeah. and the blindies, very yeah. well respected. Very good player, got medals all over the world. Let's give you some rundowns here. Crowd favorite, Jerry, 4-0 up after four. That's four ones. Go, Jerry, only <laughs> takes one pearl. Um, who's red? That's wow. You, uh, Yorkie is two up on owls after two. And big half weight. And Warren Stain, there's a six, but I can't quite see. Audrey's in the way. Could be a six two, two big half weight. 
So, yeah, we've got a comment here. Yeah. In fact, we've got a few comments from Professor Stadler. How's a prof? Brilliant commentary. The Cape Town lefty doing a sterling job. <laughs> he must be talking about you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've changed to my right, Prof. <laughs> Good to hear, Prof. Good to Sean see that you're watching. Sean Waters, that was more than a trundle. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We, don't, we don't always get it perfect. What a great start, Kevin. Oh, Kevin with settling in. Settling in. His first one has been good. You know, the three ends we played, he's always been within half a meter of that first one. Ask him the questions. Here we go. Read that one from Mike O'Connor. Yeah. Got me the king, the kung back to the year. My junior was 16s and you beat him in the year. That's right, I remember that game. Yeah. Got that got me back on track. Uh, appreciative crowd. Lady Great in. try from Colleen. Colleen. Just got a piece of the white and ran through. Ah, but you see, a bit attacking the good, white. Good spot, attacking good position. White, yeah, not short, you know, shot down. Again, Kevin, I'm yeah. glad to see Kevin staying on his hand. You know, there's always, you know, a possibility of him changing. But I think he's back in his ability. He's settled on this hand. I think he he's going to make it. No, no. It's short. Wasn't the best delivery there. I didn't quite get it away. And she's asking the question. Just wanting to know how short Kevin's ball was. Once again, don't change your hand if it's. You think you can always get around it on these greens. They're running beautifully. That's right. You can back the line, back your ability. Look at this. It's close. Look close. at this. Mm. I wonder if, Brilliant I wonder, weight. I wonder if Kevin would change. Because now the wood's on the run. If he's slightly wider, he's got the quantum, not bending as much. Gets the back end, he could turn it in closer, setting the head up for, for Colleen to you know, attack. Yeah? I think that's I think a good, you're right. I think that's a good play from Kevin. Yeah, but I he, think you're right. He's switching to his forehand. And he can reach there. He can turn yeah. the wood if he has to. Let's yeah. see he makes that adjustment on the weight, Nick. Yeah. He needs to add another meter onto that um, onto that side of the green. And he hasn't, you know. No. Has he? Has he? Has he? It's stalking closer. Okay. Ah, it's Maybe take takes away an option that Colin might may have had on the back end inside the short yeah. ball. He's making maybe making her change her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like a oh. very good ball. She's coming for a little walk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's having a walk. Oh, Let's nice. have a little chat. Al, you've been a very good singles exponent in your years. You know, when I came down to Cape Town, I had a play against you. Uh, you love singles? Yeah, I've always fancied the game, you know. Um, it almost takes away the, uh, the... You don't have to blame anybody else, you know. It's, you're on your own. It's it's one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, and, and, you know, I've always... I've, my, my best record over the years has always been my singles record. Um, I've had a good... Um, run in the province singles. I don't think I'll unfortunately get to the fifth title, which would match um, uh, the late great Alan Johnson okay. and uh, our, our mate Sean Adenor. Yes. They've won five titles. Wow. Um, but I'm, I'm very fortunate that my father won two titles yes. and I won four titles, so the Lofthouses are six. Oh, six. <laughs> That's a, uh, there we go. Yeah. Colleen on her forehand. Is she playing a bit of chop and lie? Maybe, yeah, looks like it. But that shot, what a I found. Just on holds. That type of weight on yeah. these greens, I found, has been very, tricky, yeah. very uh, low percentage conversion. Yeah. So maybe like when we go indoors to Potter's Resort, you know, you're either drawing it stiff or you're having a full smack. Yeah. Take, take that line out of play. Yeah. No. Uh, let's see, can, can Kevin just add 18 yeah. inches? Yeah, I think you, you're 100% right because, you know, if, if Colleen was able to get onto that shot ball, obviously depending how she caught the front ball, but she's got two seconds by the look of it. I'm quite, in, quite interested to see why Kevin strained his hand again. Why do you stay there? You know, turns his two rolls, is in. If he slips, he's in the shot. Now, he has to go wider on a quantum that's not bending. And is he going to get quite good weight? But I don't think he's going to get back, Al. I don't know if he actually looked like he almost just let that ball go yeah. without much thought. Yeah, I think he should have kept there. Yeah. Turn, 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 you know. Game of singles is percentages, like we said earlier. Oh, Colin's going, uh, Colleen's going quicker, yeah. Ah, uh, she's inside. How uh, inside? Hey, uh, I think she's inside. She's got the white. Oh, what a well played oh, shot. With two, yeah. takes three. three. There we go. What a shot. Wide than Kevin. Yeah. There we go. Maybe Kevin 
Okay, he played a bad ball, but maybe in his def he was trying to put a back, back ball, ball in. Maybe he didn't get yeah. it away. Didn't get it away. What a good shot from Colleen. And there's yeah, look how the wood held. Yeah. When you no. think it's narrow, it's actually not. It holds its line, doesn't it? And there we commentators go. She burnt it, so it's come back to the two minute. So it's a measure on the third. So two. What a good shot, Colleen. Here we go, there's that drink management. I don't think we should be too critical of ourselves because it, it's, it wasn't in our view. Yeah, we didn't yeah. know whether whether white, whether white, white, white or yellow go. ball or jack. We, we, we didn't see where it went, yeah. so it's a, it's a long measure now. Yeah, there, Sean Waters, bit of support. Go, Wipski! That's back in the day, Sean. She's been married. It's now Pickiff. <laughs> yeah. But good to see the support coming through. Niels Kotzer. Niels Kotzer. Hey, Thanks, mate. Thanks, Niels. Thanks, Burki. Thanks. Now we gaan ons braai. Now we gaan now braai. Thanks, Burki. Appreciate Thanks, that. Good shot. There we go. Richard. Apprehensive. Richard Craddock on the left part of our committee. There's Opportunity on the right. I thought she played very well in the commentary game. Live Definitely. Commentary game. Very good. Good yeah. addition to the gold squad. Yeah. Herself and Ed will really played well. Let's give you some scores here. Whoa! What's wrong? What's wrong? Knowles, 2 2. Baker, crowd's favourite, 6 2. And the big game on ring four is Stain versus Garth, 9 mm. 6 2. Red. Warren Stain. Warren looking good. Was a Stain? You know, don't discount him. He's been here before. Yeah, I think he's hungry. I think, I think he had a sniff. He yeah. went overseas to went, Scotland. Went to Scotland. Okay. Loved it. Loved it. Um, yeah, so... Three shots to Colleen. Great conversion. What a good shot. Yeah. Good. Like I said, Kevin, you know, you've let two opportunities slip there. A nice talking points. Yeah, most, I don't know, maybe inexperience again. I think he definitely switched his hand to put in a back bowl and he just got the weight wrong. Maybe he just didn't quite get it away, eh? And you know how important, I think sometimes the people, the mistake they make is because it's a back bowl, yeah. they don't focus on a yeah. spot. Yeah. They're almost like, oh, well, I'm just going to trundle a back bowl down. You've got to focus as much on that positional bowl as you do if you're joined to the jack. There's old Philip Lancaster, my mate, old Philip uh, down in the garden route, old Goodwood boy, nicest guy out. How's it, Philip? Hey, big Phil, I'm glad you're enjoying the balls. Keep the comments coming, guys. Keep it positive. If you want to have a criticism, is there a question? Let us know. We don't care. Well, Great Phil, start. Yeah, Kevin. Good start, Kevin. Yeah. Brilliant. Asking the questions. And Colleen's been asking, has been asking them out. I think outside of that first end, which was loose from Kevin, he's, he's really settled down. He's really uh, and he's made a couple of, I think, a fundamental, maybe, yeah. error. Yeah. Maybe that lack of experience. Yeah, experience. Maybe Colleen replying with good response. response. Yeah. Level with good way. Measure. Measure. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Marker. Commit to it. Kev staying on his hand. It down. Good. Certainly the line looks yeah. good. And you know, Colleen's playing the same line and, and dropping. Look at this well. Kevin, well. Kevin good, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good oh. stuff, Kev. Derek Keeley likes it. Let's see. Colleen, uh, just delivery so elegant. Just follows through. Got it on the line. Can she drop? Can she drop out? Yeah. Good effort. Yeah. I think, I think everything was right, the weight was right, she had to make sure she reached the end. What, what, what would you do if you were Kevin? Would you be destroying maybe? Yeah, I think at this time stage time with a score 9, 6-3, uh, three, 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 yeah, three shots. a little two here, you know, or oh, he's under the line, is he playing for the ball? No, I don't think he's done that intentionally. He might turn it in for shot. Oh, he's well, no, no. No. As you say, measure. What's he done? He's got one red, he, saw, he still holds it. He was looking for the ball. Why, why, why? It's in front of the head. I'm having a little trot after it. I'm having a little, little, you know, little chat about it, let's see. Um, let's see. Colin doesn't get close. He's given an opportunity for Kevin to turn that for three. But you know, he's close. Uh, found still the gap. Uh, still holding. Left. And oh, he can 
that way, it's the hardest uh, yeah, shot to play. Yeah, I think she thought her line on both of those balls was good. She just didn't make the correction on the second one. What would Kevin do? Yeah. What would you do? I think I would go on this side. You've got side. to play back. You've got to, she's got to play his backhand and try and reach the ball. Turn it. If turn he's tight, it. he turns his onto turn the wide foot too. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, you only have just to over the two, draw. Two exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good, no. good weight. You're drawing another shot. If you get to the bowl, it's or, a bonus. Or the, yeah. or the other option, or the caveat to that, is he draws a second shot on the hand that he's been playing. Yeah. You know, 6-5, 10-7. It's, six, five, it's, not, seven, it's, not, it's not a sign of stupidity, yeah. but I think in this instance, I would certainly change and go to the back end. Uh, what have we played? Five ends. Ooh, it looks like he's going to play your shot, mate, or what is he going to do? Oh, I would like, uh, yeah. Oh, he's playing the backhand, Al. He's playing it. He wants to, yeah, he's playing it. Oh, no, he's staying on the forehand. Oh, I don't think it's the worst calling town. Just a question here, Al, from Kurs Furry, 1957. Hi, gents. Question on a shot indication. What's he doing? He's playing for the wood. Oh, I think that's a bad play. He had to play the shot perfectly. So look what Kurs has to say. Hi, gents. Question on shot indication by an umpire. Does he or she move the shot wood to the jack or the jack to the shot wood? What is the ruling, please? The umpire normally moves the wood away that he thinks has got shot. Right, he rolls, yeah, he rolls definitely it away. rolls it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. he has another interesting little, and I, I maybe get a rules official, but in, during the week's play, um, a game was in progress and the game was tight. Jack, Jack in the box. Blake draws on the edge of the ditch. Yeah. On the edge of the ditch, or high in shot, and right. it's a crucial stage. Yeah. Bloke gets on to the net and delivers his wood. Yeah. Wood's in motion. Yeah. Wood falls into the ditch. Yeah. I suppose it's dead. Is it? Yeah. Because the ruling says it's, it's is the it same as a toucher. Time? Is it a toucher? Because yeah. on the toucher, if the wood's in motion, it's not a toucher. If it falls, it touches the one. Okay. So, so to all your umpires out there, I'll just Good go through it again. If the wood's on the edge of the ditch. And that wood on the edge of the ditch is not a toucher. It's not a toucher. Not a toucher. And the bloke who and the bloke plays his wood, it's on in motion, the wood's in motion and it falls in the ditch. Yeah. What is the ruling? I must go and look at the rule books. Quite interesting and it was quite an interesting stage of the game. I'm not gonna say who the players were. No, there was no controversy about it. As we reach in the business end of yeah. the of the skin, six four, after five ends, very tight, Kevin. And oh, that's his first one outside of the meter. So what decision did they expect to be? Uh, well, they just pulled they just pulled the, the wood out the ditch, but not think. I don't think they were thinking about it. So any umpires that know the ruling, let us know. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Because if a, a toucher is deemed a, a toucher when it touches the white, but it's not a toucher if it hasn't touched the white and the wood is in motion and then falls onto the white, then it's not a toucher. Yeah. Is this the same same rule apply to, okay. to something like that? Interesting little trivia on a Sunday afternoon here at Birmingham. It's heating up. Kevin's adjusted beautifully. Just running through. through. Yeah. Has he? Has he? Has he? Let's see what Derek Keeley says. Can we see? He's not committing. He's not going to commit. He likes picker. Yeah. One, two, green. Good eyes, Al. One. No, Very good, fun. good, good response from Kevin. Colin changing a hand. So let's see, she's got him on there. No, no, so she's staying on her hand, so just got away, got a little bit excited with the, with the umpire query. Oh, well played, Colin. Now, great oh, ball. Well played. Oh. Great ball, Colin. Hmm, what does Kevin do? Yeah, me being the aggressive bowler, I may just have a little look at the white in the box. But I think Kev, he's uh, drawing, drawing, drawing really well. I think he'll stick on it, but he's changed his hand, so let's see. This is not a bad line for that quantum. He, if he's got the weight, he's, on weight. he's close, yeah. and he is close. He's got the, Has he got the whole oh, Kevin Smith! Yeah. Oh, what a good shot. Yeah. This game can be cruel, eh? Hey, look at this, you know, an uh, inch more green, he's got the white, yeah. inch less, or a foot more, and ball. he gets the hole, like they say. Very unfortunate. Good tries are left for Newlands. Can Colleen capitalise on that? Yeah, what's the last yard like? Yes, I think Colleen has lined a possible... No, it's definitely two. Yeah, she might have flattened the backward yeah. out. Might have turned it out. 
three finger little Kevin trundling in on this forehand here, keeping it tight, boxing the white. You know, if he hangs, he gets that wood into the head. Oh, if which he's hand? wide, this which hand, hand? Yeah, that's You like Kevin's backhand? The inside hand, yes, Kevin's backhand. Little trundling weight. So what's your record like in singles, Nick? Have you won the SA Masters? No, no, mate, oh, there no, you go. Mate. no, mate. Oh, you I must, don't have to answer that question must have anymore. Been a, must have been a flash in the you back. Must have been a Jimmy once you call, call, <laughs> Calling that shot on the back end, I don't know. Don't you like it? No. Don't you like it? No, I think it's... Uh, well, maybe with the type of weight that you play with, I was always a more controlled no, I mean, weight. No, three, four weight, like oh. your weight. You know, get that square good inside. Okay, well, let's see what decision he makes here. Let's see what... I'm, tipping, I'm tipping a forehand. Pretty similarly, he went so close. Sit on the bowls on the forehand, trail yeah. the white for three. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boy, he's don't let forehand. me down, please he's don't. don't. He's, let, he's gone on the no, forehand, man. okay. He's back in his draw, I like that, I like that. Or is he going to maybe have a little trundle on the forehand? It's, he's, a, he's having a trundle, he's having a trundle, he's having a trundle. He's, he having a, he's not far out here. I promise you, watch this result. He's on a, that, oh, no. just inside yeah. the line. Yeah. This could be very, there we go, there's that, there's that little bit of pressure that Colleen had, you know, just at sure, the right time. Sure. Gives her an 8, 6, 9, uh, 8, 4, 9, 4 lead. Yeah. Um, she's at this a, stage of the first set could be crucial. I'm sure she's going to play this side of the green. What's the side? Help me out here, mate. That to us is the right side. The right side, right. <laughs> okay, she's going to play hard because she'll play there. Why? Yeah, why Turn not? Once, why no, not? On the draw. Draw to her bowls. Yeah, yeah it takes a commanding 10-4, possible 10-4 lead. Let's have a look around. The uh, Yorkie, experience yeah. coming through there at 5-2 on 5. Yeah. Uh, did Jerry peel the first set? Jerry must have peeled the first set. I don't see any sets up. Yeah. If I can just come in here, Nick. Um, Another message from Philip Lancaster while we're watching Collins Bowl yep. come down. That's it. Look at that. Experience wide is always better. Yeah, yeah. So Philip asks, apologies if, this, if it's been asked before, why are they playing with the yellow jack? Regards Philip. Uh, Philip, good question. Um, they, they started the first day um, with the white jack and we actually got comments um, from people that were watching at home to say that when they went onto the bare surfaces they lost the, the jack they couldn't see the white jack so we've decided to change it to yellow and haven't had any comments other than your one but i think it's a good question um yeah all the other rinks are playing with white but because of the tv rink uh, we've decided to change it uh, because apparently some of the viewers were batting to so that you can see now just behind colleen um between the two meter spot and the mat you can see these lighter areas um, actually the bowl runs on nicely over there. there's nothing wrong with that it's a little bit of wear but uh, because when the white ball was getting onto that um, you know they said please try yellow jack uh, so yesterday the sun was, was baking baking and oh. it was clearing and and you couldn't see the white ball so hence nice glad oh. that you had the yellow jacks so i know that Amazingly, in Australia, they have blue and red jacks as well, yeah. which uh, adds a little bit of innovation yeah. to, to the game. I've seen them locally, but you just mm. never see them getting used. Yeah. Um, it seems as though Jerry and Matthews peeled the first set. So all to play for. Jerry Lyon, two good ones. Uh, Warren Stain won the first set, and Yorkies five feet, five feet up after six in the first set. As you watch Colleen deliver. Opening up with a superb front Good start. Puncher. Oh, well done. Got a free on the last end, just starting to apply the pressure. Asking the questions. Kevin, yeah, just I think the inexperience is costing him a little bit, I think. But he'll come back, he'll learn from it. Yeah, intelligent man, plays yeah. bridge, very good bridge player. And a dentist. As I, um, I've said before, um, thanks to. Cape Town Bowls talking heads on this innovation that we've got of the replay. Thanks, Cole, our technical director, for adding that in. There's an old friend yeah. of mine, Lynn Marnovic. Hello, Lynn. Uh, hello, Lynn. Lynn. Yeah, there we go. Keep it up, Colleen. How's Mike Lynn? Hope he's doing well. There we go. 
go. Zander Carlitz, go Colleen. Lot of, lot of fam, lot of fans for Colleen down Mus in Muscle the Bay. Muscle, Muscle Bay. Bay. to the home. Kevin. Oh, and there's that one, two, unlucky. We'll have to wait for Derek. Yeah, Derek, come on, Derek. Derek, double check in. He's going to go. Red. Red. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. So, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. On his forehand. On his forehand. Plays exactly yeah. the same. Just yeah. can just fall off Colin for two. I think he has to it's score a little tight a multiple. Yeah. yeah. He's a little tight. tight. I think he's. Yeah. His weight was good. Nothing wrong with the weight. weight yeah. Nothing wrong with the weight. Yeah. yeah. Just missed the line. Yeah. Be interesting as it gets later, how uh, these quantums will, how uh, the line will change because the green will get a bit slower. I don't know, Nick, your feelings on those straight line balls. Um, I think I'm right in saying that um, in potters, where you think on a, on a quicker surface running 16, 17, 18 seconds, they, uh, some of those top bowlers still tend to play with the, with the swinging balls. Yes. Yes. Well, there you go. Just oh, look, yeah. look in there, Lauren Webb, ah, that's Colleen's sister, giving her sister a bit of a good old cheer. It's amazing that when I went to Potters the first time, and I went with the South African coach, Tietz, you know, we were in the pairs together, we decided to play with the Tiger um, Dreamline, or Dreamline XG. And when we got there, we played against the Welsh Wizards in um, Jason Greenslade and Robert Wheel, and they were playing with... Drake's professionals, which blew our mind, yeah. and they were brilliant. Yeah. So when I went the second time, I played with the Tigers, and uh, uh, it was just natural. Colleen having a good, good go there. That's not a bad mood at all. Setting up if, yeah. for that. Yeah. So okay. you know, on, the, on that big swing, and you think, oh, you play tighter, but you know what? It's just like if you get the line, it's just consistent, and the wood would come right back. We saw Nicky Brett. You know, played that phenomenal shot <laughs> against the two Scottish lads. Unbelievable. Willie's Tiger came back yeah. 90 degrees. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, um, but outdoor is slightly different. That's why I like, you know, I was, I was very interested to see how you did it. Yeah, you may recall Jason Parkinson was um, here from the UK yeah, last year. Yeah. He was part of our commentary team and he was saying that that shot by Nick Brett, um, the amount of hits that it got on was yeah. more than any game ever yes. got, that yes. particular shot. Yes. Better, yeah. Why? Is he going to get back? No. Is I he going to get back? He might sell the shot, yeah. Oh, oh, he's trailed it for two, Kevin Smith. Oh. Great shot. Great shot, eh? That must be a, a replay. Here we, yeah, we go. Here we go. We're yeah. liking that. Thanks, Cole. Thanks, Cole. Keep it going. We could watch that again. And talking about Nicky Brett. Just shot of the day. day. Yeah. Could be shot of the, the day. day. Yeah. Colin could play shot of the day, you know, on this yeah. side of the green, on that coming down. Or will she stay on her hand? Will she come in having a little walk down? She's, I think she's played three on her backhand, so yeah. she'll more, more than likely stay on her backhand and see if she can get look, to the... And look at the line, it's right back in line, so it just drops a metre away, she might get back to it, and if she's a bit tight, she turns, turns her ball in. Yeah. Walks down, pensive, visualising the shot, thinking, yeah. this could be a, if she plays a great shot here, yeah, I think this could be a set winner. This keeps, um, this keeps... Uh, I think she's, uh, she's focused on the dawn she's going to have tonight with Johan Duplessis. <laughs> Oh, my mate Dupi. <laughs> well, we had we had old uh, Edwell doing the John Travolta jig this afternoon in the live game. You know what she's... Can she get... Ah, uh, that shot. That weight, that weight. It just holds yeah. it. Eh? Yeah. You, you think it's going to come and it doesn't. Eh? Uh, what's he going to do here? Draw a front toucher. Well, this takes it to 9-6 after eight, eight ends. ends. Yeah. That might not be enough. No, he's almost, he almost has to play. I think he has to. 9 6 with 2 to go. Yeah. And you look at 9 6, get 2 2. You win no, it 10 9. 9 7 is better than. Is he taking it? Taking the 2. He's back in his ability. He's back in his ability. I like that. I don't think that's the worst play. I think, I think if he, he has to score this end, though. I think if I've played a the amount of money, you know, it's not expensive to play this game. I don't, I don't uh, declare any balls. Two to go. I want my money's go. worth. Two to go. Gets a two and a one. Gets a peel. They'll be happy with that. Then it's a one. It's a, you know, it's a one set shooter for a semi-final spot in the world indoors. I think that's what he's. They're having a little chat. He's having a little chat. He's having a little chat to the crowd. 
Don't lose uh, focus, mate. Him, he's having a little chat to Johnny the Caesar and that good wood crowd. Oh, that's not a good thing. Maybe it is. Maybe it just takes you out of it. Let's have a look around the greens. For all oh, the good wood crowd, get excited. 30 hours has taken the lead. 6 5. To the play, come on, foods. Jerry Baker, Matthew Spurry, early doors, second set, trading blows, 2 1. Peeled uh, the first set, eh? Peeled the first set, eh? Yeah. How good is that? That's well done, Matthews. Matthews. Pushing the crowd, favourite. Here's a win getting to Jerry. That's a good line for Kevin. If his weight's good, he's close. His weight's good, Al. Very good. He's good, yeah, Al. Very good start. What a great well, well, Kevin. Played. Appreciative crowd again. Really enjoying the bowls. There's my mate. Paul McKeeman having a few ales. Got in sticking to that, Al. And she's played it. I think she's played it reasonably well, eh? A little bit under. Good weight. A little bit under line. Barney Walker from Port Natal, you know, big Barney. Hello, Barnes, good to see you watching, Pearl. Wish you were here. Striker FN, okay, wherever you may be. Excellent balls, thanks. Appreciate. Okay, very yeah. good, Kevin, uh, again, very good way to tuck in the wine. I'm keep liking the, that. Yeah, keep the comments coming. Inika Spannenberg, go yeah, Colleen. Yeah, yeah. In, 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 in Ica Spannenberg, yeah. an international for Holland. Yeah. Enjoying the bowls. Just come back from a successful tour B side, getting silver for Western Province. As Colleen responded, and she has what she was. And is she going to stay with it? Oh, the crowd groaning. Groaning. Not clapping, which is fair, you know, appreciative for yeah. that she was unlucky. Have a good shot. See in the crowd there we know there's DJ Quibber still there. He's on the teams last night. Kevin forced him to change his hand. I think it's an important hand for Kevin. Very important. If he scores, he's got to score. He's got to score, keeps him yeah. within striking distance. You know, he's playing well. Colleen Green management I think has been a little bit better than Kevin's at time. You know, she trailed the white for three early on. If he's round that he's brilliantly played yeah. all unlucky, his weight was good, Kevin. Now, Al, Colleen's going to do. She's just going to draw another one close, or is she going to play to box the white? No, joint control. Joint yeah. control. If only one win in the head, so maybe she gets another one close, she might look at it. She gets under the front ball, she's very close. Oh, she's going to run away. Or is she going to slide off her own? Mm. Question here for Kev. Um, you know, he must be turning, but uh, back position is not looking good as he comes for a little walk down, contemplating life, thinking, oh. His team. Yeah, I think it, uh, just to mention for those of you who are watching, um, you'll notice that the scoreboard um, actually reads seven ends, and you'll see on your screen it's eight, it's eight ends. Um, they are actually playing the eighth. Eight, eight, yeah. Yeah. Nicely, nicely poised the set, a good end to poise it. You know, Colleen can play the attacking shot. Trail it for for set, you know, she trails it for three, four, yeah, that's yeah, set. Yeah. But if she's narrow, she can whip her wood out and go nine all. You know, do you do you think that one for Kevin is good enough at this no, stage of the game? You know, if I was, Should he try and draw another I, one on the four? Another, I'll yeah. take my chances. Take a chance. You know, yeah. gambling man, turn his two Turn the bowl, you know, get through the port. If he's tight, he turns hers, you know. But Let's see what he does. Foot, so I think foot. he's going to... Yeah, he's he's going listening to, to us. Instead, yeah, there we go. Sure. He's on a wide, wide trajectory. Only thing is, he mustn't be short. It'll be criminal if he's short. Come on, Kev. Come on, Kevin. He's played a very That's good right. shot. Turns he's it. played a very good oh, shot. Very good, played, Kev. very good one. Very good one. That's a good shot. But you know what he said? Up the box in the wide. Yeah, I think. I think it's a duck or no dinner. Yeah. I, need, I think he needed to pick yeah. up two. He uh, gets two, and Colin, she can and, win the centre. And he's, he's a little bit unlucky because yep. he gets uh, outside yep. edge of that ball. He, he rolls it in front yep. of the yellow. Yep. Yes. And will Colleen stay on her hand and look to trail the white for set? Or will she go on the other side to get both woods? She, as she walks backwards. You, that, gentleman, that gentleman would not have been wearing that top 
yesterday. Yes, he would be. <laughs> you sweat him bullets. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's watching intently. Let's see, let's see what Connie's going to do. She's on her forehand. Okay. I think she's going to go she's for going the box. For, she's, she's going, going for, for it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine. Winning set or one up? She right. gets it. Oh, I think she's on a good line. She gets it. She's won this. She's this. on a good liner. What do you say? Al? Oh, she, I think she's played a ripper. She's got it. She's got it. Great oh, shot. Oh. Set over. Well played. Crowd goes wild. That makes it 11 6. First set to Colleen. What a great shot. There is the international experience coming through. Great shot. Great shot. Eh? We both called it. We taught her that. What a good shot. What a good shot, Colleen. Yeah, that's it. First set. Well played. Exciting set, very high, high standard sets. Very good. Is that right? That was another end. Is that right? But if it's more than four shots, they don't play it. That's two, that's 11, six, that's yeah, a They don't have to play it, yeah. Yeah, well played, Colleen. Well played, good shot. Yeah, during the course of the, the round robin, they, they had to complete all the. There's, all there's my favourite, Gillian Carlisle in the red umpire. Hello, Gillian! There we go. Appreciative crowd, knowledgeable crowd. Appreciating good bowls, although they support their man, they know when they see a good shot. It's all happening in the Owls. Uh, Owls, uh, Yorkie. Owls was 6 5 up, done to three to be two down play the loss. Okay, I'm going a bit solo. Owls just going for a little walk. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks, Jeffrey, for the comments, pal. <laughs> it's all Alan. He's the one that's getting me home. It's been a good game to commentate so far, Kevin. No, really turning his back. Not enjoying that one. Wait, superb. Just missed his line. I think it's important, uh, as Trish joins me back in the, in, in the commentary, that uh, it's important that um, Kevin maybe scores within the first two ends to keep his, um, mo his uh, motivation up. You know, if he lets it slip slightly, he might just drop. You know, because he was holding two, you know, to push the, 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 the set. Um, Colin played a great shot. Yeah, but the demoralised, because Colin has played some good ones. Well, she's played two great running shots where she's overturned it and turned it into three for herself, yes, twice. that's right, you know. And I'm surprised um, Kevin didn't think about putting in a back bowl just to protect well, the first one we dropped, you know, we, me and uh, Al thought that he might have tried to put it back on, but didn't quite get it away. This one now coming, mm. you know, he had to try to score two to, you know, give himself half a chance and, and put Colleen under pressure. And she, you know, like I said, we, he, asked her, he asked the question and she answered it superbly. Um, she's lying possibly two now and got good weight. Kevin must remember she's a damn good bowler and yep. he mustn't underestimate her. No, no, he, he certainly doesn't. Um, Kev, you know, it's, it's, it's the first time she's forced him to change his hand. It's the it's slow bender. The first one was a good, good correction. Uh, oh, he's on that outside line. Can he get back? No, that's not coming back. But an indifferent end from Kevin. She's probably shell shocked. Yeah, possibly, eh? Yeah. yeah, there we go. Maybe a trip to the loo might be a yeah. good yeah, call. Yeah, just a bit of water on the face, refocus, refresh. Okay, Colleen going to the back, just out, just outside. Colleen seems to be enjoying her bowls again, you know. Uh, maybe got a little bit of life back in her, you know, she went. But maybe, maybe a little bit in the doldrums. Uh, Past couple of years. Yeah, but uh, and she's also gone back to teaching. Yeah, so you know, something to look forward to, you know, to wake up in the morning, got something to look forward to, go have fun with the kids, you know. We've got a bit of a routine going again. So it's good to see. Good to see. Body language is positive. And she's smiling. Got a smile on her face, yeah. <laughs> so it's good. Let's see what Kevin can do here. Just he's just played a little bit of an indifferent end. Let's have a look a go around the greens. Oh, there we go. Alright. Yorkie has won the first set against Owls. 
we must apologise. Jerry won the first set. They put up the score, the little number very late. So, and he's 4-1 up in the second set. Um, Garth White lost the first set, but it's 4-0 up in the second set. So that could be heading for a tiebreaker. So I do apologise to the viewers on Jerry. That they did put, Audrey did put the little one up late. Must have forgotten. Oh. Kevin playing, yeah, he's got the quantums and not this a bad what, line. But I think it's running, way. isn't it? Oh, oh right. running away. How much is it running, Trish? Yeah. Well, it is. Fast start for Colleen, first in, second set. Once he gets onto those patches, it runs on a lot more. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Go, Kevin, Jackie. Yeah. Go, Kevin. Oh, we got a support for Kevin. Um, yeah. Nice to see some support for Kev. It's great, he's playing well. Just got him played two big conversions in that first set. Measuring for the third in the second of first end. Time to recover. Marking has been excellent. So that's two for Colleen. She goes into a 4 0 lead in the second set. Lovely crowd here at Durbanville. Very excited to see Kevin, who plays out of this club, playing in against Colleen Pickett. Just going to join you for a minute, uh, Trish. Well, uh here to run off, Nick here to run off. I haven't got my glasses. Uh. A message from Daphne Van Nurt from oh, England. Okay. Oh, she's saying, hi Trish and Lofty. Yeah. So I replied on your phone. Oh, thanks very much. Hi, hi. Daphne and Ant. How are you, Daphne? Colin got two on the first end, I see. And uh, two on the second. Oh, okay, so it hasn't, hasn't been up, gone, hasn't up, gone yeah. up yet. Okay. There was a measure for three. But I think Colleen has been playing brilliantly. Yeah, Running it? shots have been outstanding. Oh, the shot she played on the last end oh. to win it. Outstanding shot. And oh, uh, a great start here. Yeah. Nick and I were just saying how difficult it's been, um, having having watched, to play with that over the draw weight. It's, to get it, you've got to read it, that it holds its line, and she did it to absolute perfection. Well, she's played two amazing running shots that have really converted. Thanks, Trish. Enjoy the rest. Here's Nick. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Trish. We're playing a bit solo there in the middle of two. That was a start that Kevin didn't want. It was to drop a, a, a two, you know, just losing the first set. Mm -hmm. And Colleen opening up with a good one and, uh, and repeating it. I think she's found a line and length now. Yeah. So, let's see if Kevin can respond. This is where good singles players respond. Yeah, look at that. Very good weight. You know, turn that wood, half ball. Like you said, she's now settled on the line, settled on the weight. It's now for Kevin to to respond and to recover. He's holding this one. This could be a good ball. Is there a hole there, Trish? Is there oh, a hole there, oh, Trish? Just a little good. hole. Yeah, very good. Good recovery after his first one. Got second. Very good. Very good response from Kevin. <laughs> just, uh, just Colleen asking if Kevin's wood is level or if it's behind. 
Oh, look at the wine. Everybody's having a wonderful time with wine and beer. So I'm having a bit of coffee because it's a bit chilly out there. Is she on the line? She must be playing up to... She's not looking bad. Yeah, look at this. Playing very well here. Going to turn that foot again. Oh, oh, well done. What a good shot. You know, that's just tightening the head, you know. No, it's, it's not as open. Kevin plays exactly the same. He gets the result. And trails it for two. Trails it for two. Let's see what he can do. Yep. He's uh, walking after it. He's walking after it. Can he get down? Can he get down? Can oh. he get down? Oh, 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 oh. and the crowd. <laughs> Even a little. Mm, that's a jungle stats. Colleen would play here, right? Do you think she would go oh. cover the back, 2-0 up first hand? Would she cover the back? Would she try and sit I the think, wood for four? Oh, I, th I think she should just play and sit the wood. Uh, sit the wood for four? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Maybe turn one of her own round. And if she's slightly wise, she does finish at the mm -hmm. back. Yeah, let's see what she does. She's come to have a look. As big Jason Evans just walks past us into the semi-final of the Bears. Kevin having a two down. Two down, on the, two down on the scoreboard. Kevin's such an amazing sports person. He's played practically everything. I know he played hockey for defence with my husband Patrick. Yes. He plays golf and he's yeah. a very good bridge player too. Natural sportsman, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see it in his bottles, you know, he thinks his way through a game. Thinks every shot through. Let's see. Oh, she looks like she's coming to the, the back. back. Yeah, yeah. So she so we it. Yeah, yeah, she's played it well. Oh, uh, she's played a blinder. Oh, maybe a bit more. I had another meter onto that, but you can see the thinking, the, the game management, green management. All Kevin must do is just change his luck. He was unlucky, half, it, half an inch, and he. Well, twice got actually, three. he had very good balls. Well, okay, he got half a white and through the port with his second. Yeah, mm -hmm. recovering after a well, first one. But let's see. Takes his time. As well. What I like about Kevin, doesn't change his demeanor. You know? Takes his time. Ask the question. Licks his fingers. There we go. Just ask him. There we go. Focus gets his line. Not not hurried, is he? You know? No, not at all. Cool. So there we go. And here we go. I think it's a tighter line. Oh no, is it? No, it just made a bit of grass there. I think he's close. <coughs> I think he's close, Trish. I think he's oh. close, Trish. For oh, the shot, fun. well played, Kevin. Well done. Like his logo, he <coughs> played a cherry. What a cherry. Purple, well played, Kevin. What a good shot. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What a great response. Actually, in hindsight, Colleen could have played his shot. Yeah, in hindsight. Think about it, mm. yeah. But you know, line two, tight in mm. the head, you play in the hand, well, my change, well played, Ken. That's only, it looks like only one from here, and he's only asking Ooh. for the measure. Oh, oh no, one. one. Yeah, good shot, Kevin. That's a very good response, the crowd appreciates that, Kevin, the claps. Very partisan crowd, one has to say. Partisan? Oh, I think they've been pretty good, eh? They, they've, they're a knowledgeable crowd, they appreciate when they see a good shot. Beers are flowing, the wine is flowing, it's Sunday afternoon, here we are. Holiday tomorrow. Holiday tomorrow, you don't have to get up early. Johan talking to Brasler, talking about yesteryear's shots. <laughs> Again, well done to Braz, who's kept us informed. Competition's run very well. Let's have a quick run around the greens. 30 hours, two all with Wayne York, second set, second end. Uh, Jerry 5-2 up after 6 against Matthews Perry winning the first set Jerry after we were thinking it was pilt because uh, the market never put up the little one and then on read 4 all you Joburg fans Warren Stain is 5-1 down in the second set winning the first set Kevin nice change of length got a bit fuller I like this and he's open with a fairly good one just a small correction of a meter Good. Yeah, looking good. 
should run on, on the, from the patch. Can she hang around a bit? Don't yeah, she? there we go. She's really starting to dominate. Mm. Oh, the first oh, word is getting close. Well, she's such an experienced bowler, mm. really. Yeah. Uh, international, one is Commonwealth gold. How many masters has she won? Oh, mm. Plenty, you know. So... Coming from a bowling family. Yes, the Webbs. Uh, the Webbs. Clive Webb was... Clive and was, uh, Mother Brenda. Brenda was a very good player, Clive. So she's, you know, sure, they're watching down there in Mossel. Yeah, Mossel Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Very, I also like Jerry, very simple style, not, you know, not heavy footed, you know, very light or arm. And again, she's on a better line, maybe just added that job. I thought Kevin played quite well in the first set, especially his first word. Uh, the second set has just been a little bit scratchy. It's just the pressure of knowing that he's got to win the second set to stay in the contest. That's always hard when you've lost the first yep. and you know you've got to win the second. second yeah. You know, some people make some play better, other people just make some. Oh, this up. one's not a million miles away. Can you get here, Trish? Oh, goodness. Just pulled up. Just, just, just short. On the line, you hit the line. Colin asking how far she went through. A metre and a half, Derek. Oh, and there's Wayne walking down. Can yeah. you see what he's done there? It's, uh, what's he done? Well, I know he's two all off the two, won the first set. So, yeah. Oh, she's on the line again. She's if she gets on that patch, she should run on. Yeah. No, she's just going to pull up. Mm. Just overcorrected ever so slightly. Only the one. I think Kev should stay on his hand, turn his wood two yeah. rolls, drops inside, gets the shot. That's the shot to play. Yeah. Just makes a small correction. Can he make the correction? I love the colour of his woods. It's a beautiful purple. Kevin color. Campbell would love this. Oh, Purple's his favourite colour. Has he gone inside at all? He's oh, short. Oh, no. Got a good end by Kev. Ah, you one of these. I think that's the... That one's still Kev. second shot. Kev, can you ask him the question? I'll ask Clay, I'll stay on the hand, just come round. Why well, change hands? Well, either hand. Oh, Oh, Derek's saying it's one and a measure. Just uses a mat a little. Yeah, that's it, yes, there we go. Yeah, that one's a metre out. Bit of a poor start from Kevin in the second set. I think he needed to get off to a fast start, keep the keep, uh, good play that he had in the first set. Maybe is the, is the fitness, is the weekend starting to catch up to him? Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh. oh let's slow it down. No, no, no. 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 Okay. One in the measure. I think I like Colleen for two. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it's a measure. Why Derek don't get that? Yes, Colleen, just a bit heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaving a little letter to <laughs> Derek. Very good tactic. Try to get the umpire or the marker on your side. You know, this works well. Oh, they're looking at this back one as well. Oh, no, Derek's yep. getting down. Okay, uh, yep, there we go. Out come the false teeth. Let's see what's going on here. Matthews Berry keeping his game alive. It could be, let's not tell you now, they come into the dying embers of that game. Um, down after seven. I'll give you Jerry's score in a minute. Let's see what Derek says as he props and does his thing. You enjoyed the bowls this weekend, uh, Trish? I think it's been fabulous, really. It's just been so well organised. The bowls has been great. Have you been walking around looking at talent? At the woman? Uh, well, I think the ladies here we know very well. So. Yeah. Been impressed with their play? I have, I have. Yeah. There are, I have been a couple of young ladies who... Yeah. Oh, oh, no, Kevin. Only one, so okay, well. three, one after three. And I think a lot of the young ladies who are perhaps are not quite so experienced will have found this weekend very useful. Mm -hmm. and they'll have learnt a lot. 
Jerry is, uh, is 6 4 up against Matthews Perry, playing the last end. So Matthews has to win that set. And he's opened up with a toucher. Um, Matthews played so well yesterday, yeah. he really did. Oh, he's playing against Jerry. You know, he's, he's cunning, Jerry. Cunning around the green. Just knows when to play the right shots at the right time. And he's just played an uh, absolute back toucher. Making it difficult for Matthews. We'll keep you informed on what's going there. Well, Matthews um, needs three. Yeah, he needs three, and James put a back touch up. After, after Matthews had touched it and was an inch away, that could be an exciting finish. Mm -hmm. Colleen. <coughs> Staying on her hands. Oh, great opening she's ball. Yep, yeah, she's really starting to ping. She's pinging it. She's pinging that hand. She's really putting Jerry, uh, uh, Kevin under So pressure. he's pinging a new word as well pinging. as trundling? No, pinging. The Australians like, like to use that word because they say they ping the white. So, yeah, she's really pinging it. She's really getting close, you know. She's putting Kevin under pressure time and time again. And you can see Kevin's just starting to fade in so slightly. Uh, Doesn't look too bad to me. Yeah. It's like Jerry's gonna get through against Matthews. Oh, oh, can Kevin respond? Oh, well, that's interesting. I see Colleen's got a web on her bowls from when she was it's Colleen Webb. Web. Yeah, maybe she's gone back to her maiden name. Kevin's changed hand. Now that's very interesting. Why has he changed his hand? He's been playing that hand quite well. And now uh, mm, he's um, leaving himself in trouble. Is that the sign? Is that psych psychologically she's got him now? Got him thinking he's not as tight as what I used to be. That's that's the sign of a good singles player. Mm -hmm. I mean, she can oh, another break. great ball coming in. Giving at the moment he's giving her a free ride. Uh, I mean, the first lovely weight. Yeah. Oh, ran through a bit more than I thought. So Kevin now has to adjust his line. Was right for the first. Just to adjust that weight, you know. So he's only played that hand not often. Maybe he thinks he can rest on Colleen's balls. Mm. But you know, in the first set he was drawing within, with easily within that, but he's he's made a great play from all played Kevin. Thanks for oh, proving me yes. wrong, mate. What a good shot. Made that correction. To all oh, to the JBA fans up north. Jerry just beaten Matthews. Ed Coronelli versus JBA. JBA coming on top again. Well played, Jerry. Jerry marching on into the semi. That's our first semi final. Wow. Still life in Jerry. Still lots of good life in Jerry. And how's it going with Garth and Garth Warren? Is, let's watch Colleen. Oh, oh what a chance. What a chance. Great effort. Uh, Garth Waite is six feet up, playing the last end of that second set. So that's going to go to a tie break. Could go to a tie breaker, yeah. Yeah. Jerry winning in, in straight two. Oh, well done. It's very impressive. I think Matthew's played well, but I think Jerry's experience and uh, just got him through. Nice wide line from Kevin. Just not going to get back with good weight, so he stays in it. 3 2 after 4. 3 2 after 4. It's uh, sets building up nicely. Who can take control? I think this is the end where I think. Well, I think experience will tell. You tell, you gotta put your money, put in the smart money on Colleen? My money's on Colleen. Okay. Much as I love Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Now we all love Kevin, a hell of a nice guy, like you say. He's really making himself a, a big name here in Western Province. Silver medal in the um, inter district, uh, not silver medal, bronze medal in the Bronze inter medal, yeah. Bronze medal in the inter districts this year at Fern, making. Now making his debut in the back rank. I think and right. I think last year he was in the gold winning, medal was, winning side. He was. a front ranker, so he shows he's, at, you know, he's developing his game beautifully. Um, and Durbanville are top of, the, of our Premier League. Um, so with a couple of rounds to go. And he's in that mix. So, yeah. Let's see. What's, oh, he's staying. He's gone back to his hand. Right? He's gone back to his length. Come on. See if we can open with a good one. Let's, let's, let's start.
Scott asking questions. Doesn't look too it. shabby. No, he's well played. What a good opener, Kevin Smith. Oh, great ball. Kev, well played, Kev. That's a good opener. Shakoya will just build it up, get it something close. Tasty on look at this response oh, from Colleen. Great ball. Great response from Colleen. Getting a bit tasty on ring four. Hawk halfway six for up. Two down on the head. He's got a wood left. I'll let you know what's happening. What's golf doing? Uh, what might see? Well, I think Warren's got a chance for the bill to go through. Got a chance, I'll let you know what happens. Why has Kevin changed his hand, Trish? I have no idea. He's just played a perler on the forehand. Now he's gone back. Maybe he just wants to face no, Colleen's maybe. ball. But it's so different in weight. Why change? No, build it up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Back your ability. Look, okay, he's finished well at the back. It's not short. I think again he's giving Colleen a free ride to set the wood for two. Oh, is she slightly narrow? Oh, she's going to pick it up. Is she going to uh, stay with oh, her? Oh, what a try. Uh, there we go. Could be a that measure. Be Warren Stain is drawing for pills to get through to the semi final. And is he close? Is he close? Is he close? Is he close? Warren Stain has burgled the second set. That's your second semi finalist, Warren Stain, getting winning one and a half to half. So I'm guessing Warren will now play Jerry. I'm not quite sure what the draw is, but yeah, there we go. As they have, take a slow walk up. Have a look, Kevin getting down, Colleen getting in front of the camera. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm sure our cameraman will. Have a look. What would you play, uh, Trish? Would you go back on what Kevin played in his first? Well, you know, he could play the other hand, play up onto, yeah, he could turn his ball, play up, up onto yeah. Colleen. Or trail the white. Trail, he's got options. Same options. weight as when yeah. you do his second, yeah. Make options. Sure, yeah, I'm sure he's going to play. He's going to play his forehand. Nothing he can play. For, yes, don't, don't prove me wrong. There we go. It's, yeah, there we go. Forehand, yeah. Nice, no, just reaching weight. Not over. Just get on a good line. That hand's been hanging. Let's see, I think he's on Ooh, a good line, Trish. I think he is. Let's see, is he up? He's, he's up. He's definitely up. Is he up, Trish? Is he up? Oh, no. Is I he can't up? Believe he up. I can't be short. Come on, come on. Oh. That's the danger of chopping and changing your That's hands. Right. There we go. Yeah. Well, he set it up for the next one. I'm sure he won't be short. Now what will Colleen do? Will she come back to the forehand? I think she'll come back to the forehand. Turn her ball. Turn her or trail it. Take take her, take take his woods out of play. You know she won the first set, so she's in. You know she's in control. She has to be careful. She mustn't touch Kevin's ball, otherwise hers is going to go out of the head. Yeah, or she you know be wide oh, because then you sit oh. the back one, you're covering your options. Yeah, there we go. On her forehand. We need one of those magic pens so yeah. we can make notes on the screen. Marks. Maybe Noel will do that next year. She does. She definitely went back to the forehand. Turn hers is good inside, trailing the one. Ooh, it's all on a weight. I think she's well played it. Honestly. Yep, there's a good one. Uh -oh. There's a good one. Oh. There's a very good one. That's well played. That's the way Kevin should be playing with. Come on, Kevin. Come on, lad. You've got a chance here. As he takes a slow walk down, just visualizing the shot. Crowd oh, I've got there, holding their breath. They all look very excited. Yeah, yeah, packing them in here. I think tomorrow we're going to see a great crowd. We're going to have the Goodwood draw because we've got uh, Adam and A. Simon and uh, Sandra Hasselman in oh, the semi-final. Oh, there there's Mishka, the ah, dog. The, the dog, Mish Mishka's there come to watch. Oh, sure, right. there we go. Kevin's and on being the mat. scratched by Jenny Jones. Kevin's on the mat. Come on, Kev, play is a good one, lad. Give us something to shout about. He's gone to the back end. No, it's fine. It's still on his forehand. Oh, he's got it away better. Oh, is no. he tight? Can't but be if tight, he... Kev. He is. And he's short. Kevin, you're short, pal. Oh. 
He really wasted that, that one. That one here, perfect opportunity. Okay. Oh, if if he just call. arrived onto his ball, yes. Collins that's that's would have gone out of the it. head. Now Collins got an opportunity to move it three foot oh, for four. Oh, she's also narrow. Oh, she can't be narrow. Isn't she? Oh, hopefully she's short. Hopefully she's short. Oh, 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 what do you do with Colleen? Oh. And turns it in for two. <laughs> what do we know about the game? I don't think there's two there. <laughs> maybe one. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe the reason why Maybe she's short. even turned it out. Uh, so giving Kevin maybe the shot. shot. Uh, I don't know. You know, maybe Kevin was lying shot. I like, I fancy Colleen's. Uh, yeah, the side one now before, but before oh. that... Um, it's oh. a measure all round. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I still think a bit of negative play from Kev. I still say I should have been yes. shooting woods, you know, giving yourself a chance. Oh, hands across his chest. Yes. Yeah, good sign that he's. Oh, that's interesting, eh? Hey. Any news from the other rinks? Uh, like I said, yeah, it's only, it's only the two games left. There's the televised game, and Owls and uh, Yorkie from the Southern Free State is game. Good guns. Owls is 4-3 up after 5. Um, line shots. To, uh, we're both players playing 2. So yeah, let's see. Oh, hey, we got my favourite umpire, Gillian Carlisle on the green. Nice to see you. Gosh, you know, I've known Gillian ever since I started uh, Bowls way back in yeah. 86. An absolute stalwart in Durban. Yeah. Ball, you know? She was a good coach, good mentor to Lydia Moritz. Just got silver medal in the Western Province, Western Province side that played in the districts, you know. That's and she won the Western Province fours this year. There we go. Yes, with so Gillian Young at third. Yeah, there we go. And Gillian's playing here, so that's good. Owls drawing a good one on ring two. Maybe he might be taking control of the second set. That might be heading for Ted uh, for a tiebreaker. Got his good friend Jao D'Souza behind there supporting. Yeah. Very and tight measure. Going back, might have a no shot. Might be the first no shot on TV this week. Let's have a look. But you've got to get a shot, eh, hey, surely, on that distance. Rocky drawing the second shot. There we go. That must be tight. She's oh, really, very tight. Really getting into it. Let's see what Owls does with this whilst we just watch the umpire going round in circles. What's that record? Do you spin me round like a record player? Is that song from the 80s? Oh, I think it might be Kevin. Yeah, looks like it, eh? Looks like it. And Kevin's got the shot. Okay, apologies, Kevin. Maybe you maybe didn't want to be too attacking if you were lying, if you were confident in lying. Yeah. So, three all. Three all. Off the five. Who's going to take control of the set? Who wants to take control of the set? This is, the, this is where it happens. Yes. And um, the bowl just it's moved out. out. Yeah. But, you know, she got a bit more mm. fun as she would have turned it closer to the white. But unlucky. But unlucky. So, yeah. She'll forget about it and she'll play again. You know, top, you know, you top international players, that's gone. They can't do anything more about it. And you continue, carry on. Waiting for them to set up, and away we go. Kevin staying on his favourite on the, that side of the green. He's gone one change in a row, so he's going to settle back on his weight. This, uh, Colin has been just slightly dominating him in the set, but it's three all still in it. That's the beauty about sets. Is it going to make the trip? I didn't like the way he put that one I didn't. Down. I thought he bumped it he a bit. Bounced a yeah. bit yeah, that, yeah. That took off that the weight. That yeah. weight, yeah. Leaving the door open for Colleen, and she's been binging this hand. So let's see. Yeah, obviously, sometimes when bowlers get nervous, they tend to jump up. Yes, because they're too anxious to look to see yeah, where it's going. Yeah. yeah, And Colleen has opened up with a very good wood. Very good. Yeah, well, she's got that weight to her teeth. 
secret to a good delivery is just to stay down and follow through. Process, process. Says she, who's the worst one for jumping up. <laughs> and I'm uh, exactly the same. <laughs> uh, that was a much better delivery from Kevin. And look at this, he's responded well. I think oh. he has responded well. And he's got the shot back. Yes, oh, he has. Kev, Kev, Ah, see my mate, Salvatore Sabati is in the house with his son, Mark. Western Province selector enjoying the festivities. Oh, Colleen is trying here. See, she's just con stuck and she's consistently getting it in the air. Oh, and a nice smattering of applause yeah. from the... There we go, yeah. Appreci a knowledgeable crowd. They appreciate when they see a good shot. That was a very good shot. Oh. Look at that glass of red wine, Nick. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Kev on the draw, he's on a better line here. And he's got good weight. I think if he gets this, we might hear... Is there a hole? No, I think he's got the white, oh. Kevin Smith, and the crowd goes wild. The crowd appreciating that. Gentleman with his red wine almost spilling it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, there's a great there. And then, and then the response from Kevin Smith. Ah, the, the dentist extracting another beautiful shot. Okay. Colleen, I think she's a bit tight. Oh, she hasn't got the weight. Is she to hold up? No, I don't think, so. I think she's tight. Oh, oh, oh. Is this the turning point in the set? Mm. Will Kevin stay on the hand or will he change his hand? I actually fancy Colleen to change her hand. and. Kev's staying on the back end. Good play, Kevin. He's backing, his, he's backing himself here. Backing himself here. No, he's changed. Sorry. Delivery's deceptive. He's gone onto the, the forehand, onto his forehand, slower. A slow bender. Oh, it's coming down nicely. And he's well played. What a good end, Kevin Smith. What a good end. Well played, Kevin. And the Terminal crowd appreciating that. Colleen standing. Just focusing. Making sure she gets a line. Giving herself a chance. And give herself a chance of a third wood. It's just under the line ever so oh, slightly. Sticking to her forehand. Yeah, I should think so. Will she trundle it? She's playing Oh, it. with weight. Yeah, but she's got two Is she seconds. narrow? She's oh, close. No, she's, she's close. She's got a the hole. Oh. oh! Did it burn? Did it burn? That's the question. And then Kevin is, if it burnt, then it Kevin glides. Goes, goes back. No, it's in play. What a great shot from Colleen. What a good shot. I think that's a momentum shift shot in the set. Her running shots are super. What a good shot. Played at the right time. Gets both which she, she gets one. Puts the white to the box for two. Uh, for one. So what a good shot. To her. She obviously enjoyed it too. Look, yeah. she's smiling. Oh, no, hang on. It's, uh, it's on the line. So it's umpire's call. This should be exciting. Oh, okay. oh, they're bringing the mirror out. Uh, let's have a look. They're having a little natter. Having a little natter. There's the pick. There's the one. Oh, no. Hello. No, he's locked it out. <laughs> Good sportsmanship, Kev. <laughs> yeah, we got that on TV, pal. Good shot, Colleen. Is that a momentum shift in the set? Takes a uh, commanding 4 3 lead after seconds. What a good shot. Trish. Oh, uh, Cole's running shots are amazing. Like She's got aggressive play, you know. Well, when you're an international player, you've got to play all the shots. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the Australians are, the Australian women are, are aggressive. Let's just give you a little look on rink number two. 30 owls uh, taking command there at 6 v after 6. It could be heading to a tiebreaker, but that's what I said about ring four and Warren <laughs> Stane burgled a free to get the half to get free. Come on, this is a good game. It's a game that's a game of nutrition. Uh, one staying on one side and the other one staying on the other one. I think it's who blinks first. Oh, this is in a the good set. Spot. And uh, Colleen's opened after a full drive. Look at that weight control. Perfect. Back look to, at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. That's, what a superb. Mm. Can Kevin can Kevin respond? Can he respond? The terminal crowd goes quiet. There's a hush around the green. Let's do it go. Likes it, looks like a good delivery, huh? He's on the line. He's on the Has line. He got the weight to oh, he's, oh, he's got, trying hard he's got, here. He's got to get back. He's got oh, to get back. He's got what a response, oh, Kevin Smith. Brilliant. And the crowd loved it. <laughs> oh, the crowd are now starting to get into this game. A little bit of natters and chatters in the crowd. Look at that smiling. 
homeboy favourite. But Colleen's not letting the home crowd uh, get away with this one. What a good shot, Kevin Smith. Oh, and there's Tony, the new vice president oh, of Western Province. He's got a funny blue shirt on, Man City. Oh, oh. oh he has, oh, yes. yes. Oh. They in the title race. That's what Scotting did. Oh, Can she hang around? Can she hang around? Oh, what a try. Oh, oh, good effort. Like the play, like the aggressive play. Maybe thinking, okay, I can go. Got the lead, got the first set. You know, so she can. She can be a bit gun home. She, I would like her to see her get a second shot. I wonder why Kevin's changed. He's got a metre half to draw for a second. Why change, man? Yeah, and he's carrying a toucher. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is he that confident? <laughs> well, he's not looking he's, bad. He's not far off, eh, Trish? Look, Look at that. He's touch toucher. And he's going to touch it again. Is he going to touch it again? Kevin Smith to Superb. I don't think we're going to see a blocker from Colleen. Oh, what a great talk. Oh, Kevin Smith, you've proven me wrong here this afternoon, mate. What a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So there we go. Derek just acknowledging that there is a toucher that's not a toucher. He's not going to take it off. Will Colleen, Will Colleen, will she be charging? Yes, she is charging. I don't think she's got nothing else on. Oh, she's I think, narrow. I think she's tight, she's narrow. can she get a little flick off? No. Oh. Oh. Wasn't far out. Oh, well, oh, two sighters. Two sighters, yeah. She was unlucky with a second, you know. She could have got that with square. The crowd. Oh, the crowd. What a saw people in the oh. crowd. Saw heads. Look at that. Oh. What's Kevin going to do? What would no, you do surely you he's going to put one on the two meter. I don't think so. I would try and mix it up. I'll draw another one. Let's ask the question. He's got caught twice. Yeah, true. That. True, true, true. Oh, and one ball sat down. Oh, okay. Yes. That makes a bit if that had sat down I don't know. beforehand, that Colleen would have hit it. I would, you know what? I would try to draw. I'll try to draw a third one just to move the wide 18 inches behind. Um, then ask the question of Colleen. Uh, oh, he's really. Yeah, okay. even at like that. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> mind the pun, but th those are two cherries, and he's got cherries on his on his wood. He like does. Oaks. He does. So I would. Um, uh, I would I would try to draw another and just try to turn the wood over. Let's uh, see what he's going to do. No, he's playing his forehand. Okay, he's going to, I think, going to cover the two meter. Is he going to put it backward? Maybe take it into context to set. I think he's going to like that. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to go cover. No. Mm -hmm. Not the worst player. Sensible choice. Yeah, sensible choice. Don't get too greedy. Ooh. Is he running? Where is he running? To? Is, he, is he going he's to stop? Is, is he going to stop? He's not going to no. stop. Oh. Mm. oh dear. That's a wasted wood, Kev. I like, I like his thinking. Is Colin going to take a chance? He can get, get the white in the box for two. Just small correction. I don't think line. she's going to be short. Put it that way. She's gonna, I don't think she'll be short. I think just small correction on line. What's happening with the York? Of the Yorkie, uh, oh, it's, oh, it's all excitement there. Seven, six after seven. Uh, down, Al's is in, uh, uh, he's actually up again. He must have got a three again. That, that's a seesaw game. Yorkie, seven, six up. Won the first set. Colleen's oh. on the charge. Oh, oh, oh she's, she's close, she's close, she's, she's close. Got it. She's got oh. one, she's got one. Okay, leaving, leaving, uh, leaving Kevin. Meter to draw for a bonus. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, Yorkie's lying one. Maybe two, thirty. Contemplating as we look at the replay. She did correct the line. Very unlucky. You know, she doesn't get it as fat or as solid. She gets it off and off. She gets a good result. Kevin. It's on the draw. What's he doing here? He has. Going into the last end, 30 owls is 6 8 down against. Oh, that's a real seesaw oh, game. Yeah. Very much a seesaw. Well played, Kevin. Well, what a very good end from Kevin. Yes. He played it superbly well. Takes a 5 4 lead. Playing the 8th of the 7th. So, yeah, this is this has been some class balls played here. Yeah. And at this stage of the tournament, you expect this, eh, Trish? I guess there have been so many balls put down by the players. 
They've got used to the conditions, yeah. the run of the greens. And like I said, it's been a good singles match because Colleen has, has dominated her side of the green. Kevin has responded well on his side of the green, so it's been a good seesaw battle. I mean, the first set, although Colleen won it comfortably, it wasn't a comfortable victory. You know, she had to play her shot. She played two good turnovers in the first set. As we watch the crowd, oh, Claire there, enjoying it. Claire, yes, and Julia. Julia in all yellow. Hello, Julia. There we go. I love that outfit, eh? Oh, and look at the nails. And look at the nails. Oh, look at that, eh? Lovely nails. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Enjoying some top quality bobs. Kevin playing. Just in foolish, foolish length. I'll try to keep you up to date on what's happening in the Owls York game. Uh, last end, Ferdy needs a free to extend the match. York has opened up level, level, about half a foot, half a metre level. As you watch Kevin put his one down. There's Owls, what's Owls doing? Oh, Owls left himself a mountain to climb. He's dropped his meter oh, half short. And Kevin just, 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 just running past. Leaving it open for uh, Colleen, I think, there. It's a good open, it's only, what, about half a meter, 500 mils behind. But it's meat and drink to yeah. Colleen. Well, she's been playing it, she should be getting in the zone. It's a bit of a longer length. What's a weight looking like? Looking good, eh? King excellent. Yeah, Might yeah. run through a bit. There we go. Oh, that oh. changed length. Right. Also, good response. Good response. Ah. So, to this evening, like I said, uh, we've got a bit of entertainment. The fleas are playing at Durban, so you want to come for some live music. <laughs> should be should be a good evening. Good evening last night with DJ Purvis on, 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 the, on the spins. Oh. Has he got it? Well played. Well played. Well played, Kev. Yeah, very good. Very good. But he else has drawn the shots on rink number two. It's not going to help him though, is it? He oh. needs a three. He's still got two left. Oh, he's going to wait. He needs to make his next one count. Let's see if uh, Colleen. Colleen's wider. On that wider length, has she got that extra yard? Oh, she's she looking had, so good here. Yeah. Oh no! Trish, no. has she got the weight? Trish, no, just watching through the weekend. Why don't you go off the running track? It's a bit slower. Oh, and there's Raceford. Craig oh, Vaughan, yeah, very interested. In the, just lost in the quarter in the quarterfinals of the pairs. Had a good tour. Yeah. Can Kev consolidate his his position here? Let's see what's going on here. Owls, oh, owls. Oh, oh Collins, oh, oh, he's played a lovely. Oh, well well done, Kevin. Shot, Kev. Well played, Kev. My change of force a hand. I game. think so. That's certainly what I'd be doing. Yeah, this could be a little, could be a little shift here. I've been saying it. I think. Let's see what Colleen. This is the wood. This is the wood that decides what happens in this set. I feel. Yep, it's forced a change of hand. No, not a bad line, Trish. Mm. It might be a bit wide. Oh, I think the white. The, oh, it might be the weight. He's holding her up. Holding her out. Yes, that's the main thing. No. Uh, Kevin, up in his place in the walk. Now, what is Kevin going to do? He'll draw another. Do you think so? Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't think he'll look for the, no. something at the back. No, it's in his favour. She's all her woods are to the left. The jack can only go to the right. Um, I think he would draw, try draw next to it or get to his back, would you? You know, all the woods here and the white can oh. only go that side. If he, if he wants to draw to the, there's a white dot, maybe draw to that one. But I think he'll just draw another. Maybe just tighten up the head ever so slightly. Let me see what's happening. Owls of his last wood has to, has to draw the white. Uh, he has to get half wood, half white to extend the game. He's, he's let it go. He's watching it intently as we watch Kevin let his go. I'm going to just talk you down on Owls. And he's chosen his Wayne York through to the semi finals. So that's another Springbok. Oh. Well done, Wayne. Well done. Yorkie, very proud of you, mate. Uh, good friend Salvatore Sabati jumping up. He's happy about that. Good friends of Wayne York. And has that made a little funnel for Connie? No, not a very good shot there from. Um, Unless he was trying Ken. to muddy the water yeah, to stop so. Colleen from so. having a little run. Why muddy the Take an 8-4 lead into the set. Ask the questions, you're playing well. <clears throat> uh, 
Now let's see if Queen, let's see what she, uh, let's see what she can do. First one was a side turn. She's staring it down intently. She likes it. She's got the uh, sideways. Is it narrow? Drop. No, is she's it narrow? close. She's close. She's close. Oh. Oh. And Karen takes a command in 7 4 lead, playing the last. So we could be potentially heading for the first tiebreaker in the quarterfinals. All Looks other, like it. All the other three games uh, oh. have been won one and a half or 2 0. Jerry winning 2 0, Wayne York winning 2 0, and Warren Stein winning one and a half half. I uh, expected this type of game. Um, <clears throat> uh, very uh, thoroughly enjoying this, this singles match. Balls has been good, always in the area. Oh, it's Mishka again. Uh, there we go. Yeah, she's. Uh, she's always around the greens. Yeah, well, yeah, she doesn't run off the ball. No. So she's well trained. What's the lady's name from Mowbray? Always goes with it everywhere. But interestingly, mm -hmm. her father went to school with my husband. All right, there we go. Kevin, he's open up the door. He's always playing shorter length. That's interesting. And the longer length, he's been good. If he opens up with a front touch. Oh, he's, uh, he's. Well, well played, Kevin Smith. Well played, Kevin Smith. That's a good opener. 18 inch. centimeters short for the South African girls. Loving it. Can Colleen, can all Colleen needs is a three for appeal. And she gets through. Uh, good response. Yeah, good, uh, good, yeah, response. good reply. Good, good response. Just, just behind. Thinking ball for Ken. Oh, Kevin's changing. Changing, change. Why change? Why change, Kevin? Maybe he wants to get in Colleen's way. No, turn yours over once if you slip your matching. Come on, Kev. Oh, I think he's a bit tight, Trish. I think he's a bit tight, Trish. Oh, it's holding. He's got the quantum, that's all. Can he get to his turn it up once? Oh. Oh, I just find as soon as the ball seems to hit those patches, mm -hmm. it kind of walks a little. Holds so the line. This is interesting. I think Colleen would keep her weight, just tighten the line, trail it for two, puts the pressure on Kev. Oh, and there's Lara and Wayne looking yeah. intently. Oh, yeah, a bit unlucky in the pairs, the pair of them. Oh, you see what I said? She tightened the line, looking for... She got the running. Oh, yeah, she, she got, got the running. Oh, she it's got gonna... the running. Oh. Head setting up, interestingly. Clara gives a little bit of a clap. As head setting up. Kevin back, you see now? Kevin going back to his forehand. Why? Hey, Kevin, you make me go grey, pal. <laughs> there we go. That's on a good line. And he's on the charge. He's on the charge. Oh, he's oh, looking good. good. Can he turn half ball here? Yeah, well, well played, Kevin oh. Smith. Well played, Kevin Smith. That's worth a clap. What's the questions of Colleen? I think she should play her forehand up onto that ball. Try turn her, yes. Into that one. Does Kevin lie two or does he lie one? Looks like it could be two to me. Let's see if Derek Keely. I'm just watch Derek. Sorry, I don't watch him too intently. Let's see. Oh, she's playing with a bit of weight, giving herself a chance. I think she's on a fair track. Is it going to bend? Oh, is it going to get that? Is it going to bend? Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. That's oh, nice. she's got a shot up on so the backhand. 100% to sit the take, for take game. Take the ball. But let's see, Kevin's still got one left, and if Kevin plays mm. a front toucher, that takes that, equa that shot out of the equation. Let's just see. Well, it can there's be, options, there's options. Yeah, there can, it can be any hand, eh? They can, you know what, I think, the, well, he's got to try to kill two birds with one stone here. Because if she sets the wood for, for, for three, that's good. Even if she trails the white for three, what's Kevin well, going to do? I, I like it on the backhand you for like her. Kevin to play but, uh, back? Well, let's see what Kevin's going to do. Know, he's going to his forehand. Forehand, yeah. He's got to be he's gotta get close. She swung that head right back into her favour. Okay, he's on a good line, I think. All he has to be is not be short. Is he narrow? He's narrow and short. He's short. He can't be short. Oh, Kevin. Okay. He's, he's short. short. Well, he's given a free ride to Colleen. So all he needs, all she needs to do is... Backhand. You like the backhand? I like the backhand. I like the forehand. Just well, the wood for three, trails the white for three. Well, if she, if she doesn't catch the ball right, then... Sure. It might sure. come in for a shot. Sure. She's got to so, sit it clean. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I 
You like the backhand? I think she'll play the forehand. I think the percentages are on the forehand. Okay, winner, winner buys the drinks. There we go. She's going forehand. Ah, backhand. Are you a drink? There we go. There we go. <laughs> I know my customers. Playing it. Playing it. She's got a oh, line. she's... Oh, it's going to bend away. Oh, there oh. we go. There we go. Into oh. the tiebreaker we go. Kevin, I think you got away with one there, pal. Well, that can appreciates that. It's all tension here. At Durbanville, Cape Town. Um, what the fine, you know the fine, uh, a couple of options, but anyway, but they know the ring, they yep. know the shots. Yep. We always play our best balls from yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, we never play a, we never play a bad never shot. Never play a bad ball. Um, so nice to see all the youngsters around. Yeah, what are all the youngsters? little toddlers. I've seen a couple of the uh, Western Province juniors. Uh, Come back from Bloemfontein, coming to support, watching there, watching on that big screen in 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 the in the lounge, enjoying the balls, they lads, Armand and Devon. Watch Armand, I bet he's blushing now. He won't have heard it because it's a bit of a delay oh, before it gets it? to oh, there. All right. <laughs> in fact, I found it quite useful for yes. when a shot was played and yes. I saw it, then I could rush to the TV oh, and okay. check no. the check yeah. it because it was on a delay. There's oh, there's Audrey, Audrey yes. There's Grey Collier having a good chat. There's Fred Werther in the semi-final of the, of the Bears. He and Stoffel did well last year, if I recall. Oh, I think they got to the semi-final. I'm under oh. correction. I know they were in the latter stages. Slow hand Luke Stoffel Lamprecht. There we go, you see, you can see in the background. <coughs> yeah. So, there we go. Oh, Colleen's still smiling. I once had a coach who said you should, when you bowl, you should smile. Now I always thought, well, I've got far too much to think about to even <laughs> think about smiling. That's it's right. actually well, and she's opened up with Simon Boerter. Oh, Dr. Simon Boerter, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. How can I smile and concentrate? Oh. Colleen opened up a very good one in the, in the first end of the set. It's coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back. Can the quantum oh. get back? He's oh. on the outside. Very good response though. Very good small correction online. Come on, Cole. As they say, you need the muscle by here. Um, show sure mum and dad are sitting on the edge of the tee. On the, on the city. Oh, another uh, great ball. Well done, Cole. Well What's the response? Kevin sticking to his backhand. Very good. Very good. Just gets one close. Let's build it up and then we go from there. That's a, not a bad line for the quantum. They might just be inside with good weight. There it goes. Yeah, his weight is superb, Trish. Lovely weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the narrow bowls, Nick? Yeah. yeah. I've always preferred a bender, hey. Um, I've never been a fan of the straight to, straight to wood, because you've always got to try and get round. Mm -mm. You know, if you go play in Australia, 100%. But oh, no, I agree, when you're playing on the really fast surfaces. Yeah, but here in South Africa, you know, I don't think it's conducive. Although, um, Joel Rebeer, who's in Scotland now, he played with, with a Dreamline for many years. And had, he did, he and did. And had lots of good success. But mainly at singles. Yeah, but still, you know, he managed it. Oh, I, I, I. Uh, if, he's, if he's got the weight, he is very close, yeah. Oh. He is very close, yeah. Kevin Smith, has he done oh. it? Oh, and fell back in the crowd and got the oohs and ahs this afternoon. It doesn't no matter about how many shots you get, you've just got to get the shot to get the end. Shots don't count. What a good response from Kevin. He set it up beautifully for his next one. Hey, where was that extra half a yeah, foot? Mm, that's all he needed. Yeah. What's Colleen going to do? Here, eh? Do you try draw close? Do you try block it? You got the best back. Oh, Kevin getting in the way. Yeah, the cameraman. Jungles, taking a slow walk down, wood in hand. 
thinking about it? That used to be illegal a few years ago. Okay. And then they changed the law so that you could walk down with your wood. But the problem is, if you put Joyce, you stay, uh, stay on for him, or she's going to go maybe best back. No? No? Yeah, ah, looks like she is. Oh, no, Colleen, that was a wasted bomb. I don't think so. Even yeah. if she'd played a... Here we What's Kevin going to do? Is he gonna well, he's going to play exactly the same as he played before. But you know, if he gets a little bit of movement on the white, he's still shot down. Mm -hmm. So he has to play the perfect shot tip. Will you play the forehand to look for the took a train shot? Will you play a train onto his wood to charge his out? Uh, we'll so know in a few seconds. seconds. As he gets on the mat. I think he's going to stay on his back end and play the perfect shot. Let's have a look. Or is he going to prove me wrong? Will his third play come into no? Well, he's looking. He's looking at the forehand. No, he's going to stay on his back end looking at playing the perfect shot. Push the wood through the port. Let's see. And as the crowd hushes. Oh, he's playing his forehand. He's playing nice. the forehand. Oh, before you play the chukka train shot. And, and he's inside. And oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, he's got it through the port. The crowd are going wild. <laughs> Just inside, he got it, got it oh. through the port. Oh my golly gosh. Oh, it's all excitement at Durban, all in South Africa. One has to say a trifle lucky. Yeah, try, you, you try for lucky on the follow through, but on the shot, yeah, okay. And everybody now talking about it, having a good laugh. There's your lady in pink, enjoying the bowl. Joan was on her way home, she's obviously oh, decided to stay. Who are you watching? Quality bowls, yeah. Where are you gonna get money? Getting money for jam here, come on. Good shot, Kev. I think uh, the back rank play there. Play with the right weight. No, oh, Mishka's good. very interested. Look. Oh, is that as well? Crowd again, excited. I honestly thought that was advantage, Colleen, but Kevin's proved me wrong again. It's almost taking his time. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Looking very good. Kevin opening up with a corker. After playing a corker to be 1 0 up. There's one in the bit. It's a hard swing, I think, for Colleen. Colleen she's needs to nail it. Yeah, but she has. She's, been, she's really been playing some good stuff. Colleen, is she a bit tight? Is she a bit tight? Nope, she's not playing. Have you noticed, as soon as it hits the rough that's stuff, right. it yeah. holds. Yeah, that's right. yeah, attacking the white. She attacked the white. Crowd enjoying it. Jolene and Angela from Goodwood appreciating a good shot. There's my mate, Salvatore. Giving a word of advice to Wayne for tomorrow's semi final. Kevin changing his hand. Changing his hand. Why are you changing your hand, Kevin? It's on that line, it's on its down, it's on its way down. Oh, she's not short, Trish. He's definitely not short. But do you see what I mean about yep. it holding? Yeah, he's in the ditch. Oh. oh okay. Not gonna pick up a fall this end. Don't need, just needs to just needs to pick an end, just needs to get the shot. Oh, there's Megan Ferreira. Oh, it's Colleen Narrow. It's a bit tight, yeah. 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 Goodness. Lovely um, weight then. Can Kev correct? I think his line was good. Just asking the market to move. Is he going back? You know, staying on his forehand? No, staying on his back end? Sorry. Just having a little practice swing like in golf. Just settles himself. Oh, Aeroplane flies over. He's on a, I don't think he's on a better track here for the quantum. And on a better weight, I think. Or is it running still? I think he's, he's still running. charging. I think he's no, still, still charging. Running. Is it in the ditch? That's too white. Okay. Right. He's got the line, just hasn't got the weight. Advantage, advantage pickup. Well, she's taken better grass. Much better line, eh? Hey? So let's see what she can do. And she's getting in the area. 
will get draw will he play to box the walls? This is so exciting. Obviously, yeah, could be going to a next, next another end. To the final end, yes. And all we need then is a no shot. Wow, that would make <laughs> it fantastic. Sean Adenor maintains there is no such thing as a no shot. What's Kevin playing there? Is he really? Has he changed? He has played. He's playing. Yeah, he's always. He's playing for the white in the box. He's got the one on the on the net. And he's not looking silly. He's got to get back, oh. Trish. He's got to get back on that end. Oh. And we're going to a third end of the tie break. Oh. <sighs> is he that, actually didn't need all that weight. Uh, is that pressure? Is that pressure? You know? You've got, you know, you got one hand in the semi because you won the first end. Is that pressure? That's it. And that, that hand especially has been holding with that type of weight. No, I, I've got to slightly disagree with Sean because you're going to have two woods touching. Yes, well, that's true. That's true. You know, so that, that is a no shot. Just for the viewers, I know that uh, Potter's, uh, Potter's Resort, if you have, if you both want an end and you have a no shot, then you go to a one end, one wood shootout. That's what they do there. there. I don't know what they'll do here. That will be quite interesting. Oh, he's giving it away to him now. Okay. Colleen has uh, given the mat away. Uh, oh, it gives her the last ball. Oh, but, you know, again, you know, the guys had the debate yesterday. You know, Kevin's playing this length while he played a very good shot coming down this way. So, <laughs> let's see if it will work in Colleen's favour. Does she play a last one? Does she have to play the last one? Would Kevin get close? My preference is to... Nail it with the first. Yes. And put the pressure on, on your opponent. That's right. <laughs> Bit of movement in the background. Sweaty palms. Uh, semi final. This is for a place in the semi final. And into the prize money. Into the prize money. Once you yeah, into yeah. the semi final. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's great. Thousand Randy, Chay, you play. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a bit heavy. Maybe oh. the last end spooked him ever so slightly. Good line, Kevin. Give Ken. Colleen a chance here. Colleen, uh, she, and she's been playing that forehand of her super. Oh, no, nope, she's on a good line. She's on a good time. Uh, she, she got the running. I think she is. Is this a bit of nerves? Oh. Is this a bit of nerves? Is this a bit of nerves on both parts of the players? Kev never, oh, Kev's, oh, he's changed to the form, Kev. Come on, Kev, take your time. Yep, it's on its way. I think he's a bit wide for the quantum. And he's into the shadow. Yeah, he's a bit wide for the quantum, but he's coming back. And oh, wow, look at that. He's come back, a very good way. That's the shot. Nothing for Colleen. That's nothing for Colleen. for the pro. That's a good line for the pro. It's all on weight. It's all on weight. Oh, you, she's looking good. Can you she's looking, in the looking crowd? good. She's can looking good. Yes, Colleen. Oh. Well, bold. Ask him the question. Kevin has to respond. He has to respond or it's good night, Irene. Oh, there's Annika. There's Harman and Sandra in the background. Enjoying a few, few refreshments. It's a good line for Kevin. It's all on the way, Kevin. He's got, He's got a lot of weight. He's oh, got a lot bending. of weight. It's not bending. It's not bending. He's got too much weight. And there's a groan in the crowd. Advantage, Colleen. One wood to go. She's in the semi. She's in the semi. Flying the flag for the ladies. For Eden. For Eden. Yeah, and for the ladies. There we go, Trish. Oh, she's on a good road again. Trish likes it. What's her weight like? One wood to go. Come on, Kev. Oh, oh. Good line, Kev. Just needs to correct the weight by a metre. He's got, he's got no pressure. He's I can't got, bear to look. He's got the whole of Durbanville on his shoulders. Look at him. Takes time, little practice. All watching, all sitting on the edge of their chairs. The nails are gone. Come on, Kev. He's put it on a good line again. That's all on weight. 
Ooh, it's all on weight, Trish. Can he get back? No, he can't. Can he get back? He, he can't. can't. He Colleen, can't. Colleen, Colleen has done it. To the semi -final. Well done, Colleen. Well, played, well Colleen. done. Great game, Kevin Swift. I think they, they both played so well. Green management got Kevin through. I got Colleen through to the semi final. I think she plays Wayne York from Southern Free State. And we got an old JBA semi final of Warren Stain against Jerry Baker, the crowd. So favorite. exciting. Exciting stuff. Uh, we're going to go to the post-match interviews with Colleen. One has to say well done to Derek. I think he marked beautifully. He did a very good job. Yep, there we go. Kev knew it when he put it down. Colleen got a little, little give himself a high five. Game played in good spirits. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tune in, 9 o'clock. Yes, actually, and you're going to buy me that drink. Yeah, for getting the hand, hand wrong. So why don't I take it? Yeah. Hope Thank you. Okay, Kev, Cole. Hello, one, two. Right, we live here at Durbanville. Um, I think you'll agree with me, um, viewers, that that was a terrific game of bowls, uh, an exceptional game of bowls, and an exceptional display of weight control from both of you. Kevy, how much do you think the conditions, uh, home ground advantage, home crowd uh, assisted you? Because you were absolutely brilliant. Uh, I don't know, it's difficult to, you try and actually block that out, because you, you're actually playing the person in the green. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't really think it's that much an advantage. Once the two of us get to know the green, we, we just focused on what's going on over there and we try and block everything out. So, uh, yeah, I play uh, quite a bit, but uh, Colleen's played all over the world. She adapts very quickly. You can see that. She, she, that's the sign of a really, really good player is, is their weight control, uh, adaption of weight control very quickly during the game. And, and she was brilliant. Thank you, uh, Kevin, and, and once again, exceptionally well done. It was, uh, it was great game. I, I, I really enjoyed the game. I'm sure, the audience loved it. Thank you, and <laughs> thanks very much. And wishing you the best. Thank you, again. Well played, Colleen. Colleen? Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, Can I have a wine now? <laughs> that, that was a tremendous display. Your weight control was sublime. Um, you opted for the the truer hand, I would imagine. Uh, you settled down, your weight control was great, especially coming down back to the score, uh, the, uh, the grandstand. Um, you've started finding your weight beautifully yeah. and uh, I think it played out nicely. The last uh, end of the tiebreaker coming back, I think you backed yourself yeah. knowing that yeah. uh, uh, you, yeah, could, you could basically clo close your eyes and, yeah. and uh, to draw the yeah. shot. I think early in the second, uh, in the first set, once I decided I'm going to play this, then then my mind was made up, and then I, I plugged it, you know, because it, I, f I wasn't too bad on that other hand, but it just got halfway up the green, and then it kicks. So you're playing with that little extra, and then it just holds, you know. So I thought, no, just get onto the side, and I was finding it, you know, the other way. So I thought, well, stick to it, and 
Colleen, you played some terrific attacking shots earlier in that set on the yeah. forehand to get a beautiful result. Yeah, uh, yeah you, were, you were on the number with your uh, attacking shots. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was a bit suspect over the weekend, but it came right today. So It's almost like uh, it was the old Colleen. Colleen, you're up against next uh, against uh, Wayne York. Uh, have you played him before? You know much about him? Just he's a provincial bowler from the Free State, and I know him from, from there, you know. So, yeah, awesome. never played against him. Again, well done, a great display of bowls, and it's, a, it's really a, a privilege and an honour to have you out here. And have a good night's sleep. Thank you, will do. <laughs> Thanks.